Deep here, and we are watching, or oh, we're gonna play actually, the Dungeon of Nahelbuk. I'm kind of having trouble pronouncing this for now. I hope they will kind of pronounce it in the game for me. It is gonna be the hardest difficulty run uh, there is, so I'm very much looking forward to this. I will have fun with this. It looks like a very solid game overall, so yeah. Here is a pain. Perfect, we have some people coming in already. We're very much excited to see this game, guys. I think that the audio might be a bit too loud, but I'm not really sure about it. So can you zap in tell me if the sound is um, kind of too loud or something? Yeah, it's looking pretty cool indeed. Yeah, I'm, I'm very much um, thrilled to see this. Okay, so first of all, it's going to be the profile. I'm going to just pick it quickly. So enemies have more HP, more Yeah, we're just gonna go for the hardest difficulty there is. Party ends less gold. Many many additional enemies, that's basically my jam. So I'm gonna go for it. Mail, narration, whatever, I don't think I care about this too much. Uh tutorial is very much welcome because this is I think a DD based system. So yeah, it's, it, I think I think we need to, to go through this. Okay, profile name. Okay, wait, wait. What do you mean Iron Man? Where is the Iron Man there? Now there are just three settings here. I don't want Iron Man now. So, okay, uh, yeah. Okay, that sounds perfect. So, here we go. I think so. I, I don't know, man. I don't know. It's like uh, I think it is a D and D based system. That's what Oroshi said. Uh, so yep, I think my D and D knowledge should come to some fruition as well. Plus, I know I've, I've been playing a lot of those tactical RPGs, so I think we'll be good. We, we should be good here. I hope this game isn't garbage anyway, because it looks very promising by the trailers. It looks very promising by the screenshots. You know, it takes kind of this humorous approach overall. And it's French, and I think like French games, generally speaking, do very well. So that's our party just dying. Perfect. First chapter: A feeling of deja vu. The party advances. A steely-eyed ranger, a brutal barbarian, a ruthless ogre, a wizard with that. fiery hair, an agile elf, a wily thief, a dwarf, well, you know, just a dwarf. Together they have just crossed into the terrible dungeon of Nahelbuk. This dungeon's nothing to write home about. Don't know what we'll find inside here, but it stinks. That's easy. The ogre just took a dump five feet from the door. <laughs> I've got a strange feeling of deja vu. Because of the ogre shit? Have you been here before? I feel like I'd know if I had. Probably not. No one's ever got in here before. By the way, what is our quest? We must find the 12th statuette of Gladalfura. A statuette? It's written in the Tablets of Skellis that only a one-legged gnome from the northern forest, dancing by the moonlight in the middle of 12 statuettes wrapped in hair. <laughs> As I was saying. Only a one-legged gnome shall open the gates of Zaralbak and thus accomplish the prophecy. But what is this strange prophecy? No idea. We're only in it for the gold. That's why we came here. Yeah, and I knocked before coming in. And I called you a half-wit. Okay, ah. let's all get along, okay? Let's focus on the statuette. Do we have any idea where it's located? Like every statuette, it's in a treasure room, guarded by a powerful warlock. Battle! Hmm, maybe his powers are even greater than mine. Sounds a bit right. What kind of monsters live here? So, if you look at the random encounter table, these are the monsters in this dungeon. Several kinds of undead, giant spiders, orcs, and goblins. Hey, goblins! Underground trolls, warlocks, <laughs> cursed knights, mutant rats, a bottle of oil, some toilet paper, two sponges, and ravioli. I think you're also reading your shopping list. So no dragons, right? Nah, well above our level, Cap. Anyway, let us go forth. Okay, so move party. And uh, we can just kind of hold it to... Okay, perfect. I'm just going to up the volume since the pin told me it was it was a bit off. So we're just going to fix it very quickly, guys. Uh, going off like this. Uh, confirm. Guys, if there is something wrong with the quality of the stream, perhaps. If you see anything wrong, really, just let me know, okay? That's very important. 
uh, that you kind of keep me posted on this because I don't want this kind of full video to go um, haywire here. So, yeah. Halt! You arrived at a junction and must face three choices. Hmm. hmm. All those doors are closed and blocked off by a strange glowing seal. Weird. And I'm having another deja vu. Oh, shiny, pretty. Probably some kind of magic lock we have to dispel. Okay, we are not taking the elf anywhere, I think. Goddamn door. My cousin Jesus. Grimley always says, if it's magic, hit it harder. No. Wait. Mm -hmm. Oh my oh, shit. You fucking more. Where are they? Shit. Hey, dwarf, elf. Dang it. Did everybody get lost but me? What was that noise? I actually like this game already. French games rock, guys. Okay, we have a passage here, so we have to find the party members. There is an enemy, Damn I guess. An orc, and I'm alone, of course, I'm alone! This is the perfect opportunity to discuss the matter of combat, a crucial subject when adventuring in mysterious dungeons. Lovely. Open door! Gotta go! Me eat bad, go tripe! I can't. No, I I'm not done! Go mm. away, you meanie! Well, sounds like an elf. Anyway, be cool. He's alone. This shouldn't be a problem. Okay, there's two action points. They can perform an action and they move once per turn. You can also move further by using both action points, sacrifices, it's kind of a sprint. Okay, it works. Order is not a problem, this means you can move, then attack, or the opposite. Well, some actions will end your turn if a character still has uh, two action points. Okay, so like guard, for instance, I guess, right? Defensive stance. This is not DD, by the way, I think. This is not DD. So, it's just their own system. Homebrew! We are homebrew. Okay, so. It's distracted, so we move behind because there's gonna be like a. Orientation of the characters is important. There's an arrow here that shows the orientation. Backstabbing gives higher precision, it will do more damage. Orient yourself towards the orc to back him. Okay, yeah. Right. Oh, you, you choose it here on this. Like, I see this now. Perfect. Really nice. Um, so, that's very important. As a kind of, this allows you to position yourself after the turn, right? Kind of important as well when you plan your attacks. Here we go for the melee attack. And bob this guy on the back. Okay. We find the afflictions and status effects. Okay, here. Uh, you can also check in this box their dodge value, their protection value, their level, and their threat level. So, yeah, garbage level, I guess. Means the orc is suffering from a penalty to his characteristics for two turns. Okay, that's a minor debuff then. The precision uh, is very important. As you can see, you have a positioning bonus because you're standing behind your enemy. Perfect. However, if your attack succeeds, your enemy may still dodge or parry or blow. This is not just about having high precision, okay. Okay, we kick his ass as the game says. 17 damage. I like the like the way this is presented graphically, very clean overall. It's not laggy for you guys, right? It should be okay. The orc is not feeling good. I or middle mouse button on him to say the status is. So he's weakened. Um He's all, so the more damage you do, so actually it's kind of cool mechanic that's not implemented in a lot of games. So the more hurt someone is, the more crippled they are naturally. That's pretty cool. His precision, physical resistance, and magical resistance are worse. There are three weakness thresholds depending on the character's health. Hey there, Maddie Perel, and hey there, Adosov. Nice to see you guys. This game looks very nice so far. Every character's health bar changes color. This means they're weakened. Okay, so we have like three three kind of states, three conditions you can be in. It's like 10%, 25, and 50. This panel just shows you, just allows you to see the detailed afflictions. Okay, cool. So we can minus 5 precision, minus fizz res, minus magical res, and minus movement. So can, they can't run after me. Perfect. Okay, so can we move? I, I think we can move, right? This is an attack of opportunity. If I move, I get like additional bit of damage uh, kind of dropped on me. So I don't really want that to happen. So I just knock this bitch out. Guys, it's not laggy, perfect. Okay. Welcome everybody, nice to see you. Lovely, lovely. It should be, I hope it is gonna be worth it. Okay, so there is like nice a nice combat interface afterwards. 
It's looking good. Guys, if you're new to this stream, remember follow, subscribe, right? Depending on the platform, it's free. It allows you to follow me throughout the streams. I'm going to be streaming the full game, like from the start to the very end. Okay, so just keep that in mind. Okay, so they get a baseline share just for having participating, and depending on their actions and luck, they get additional bonuses. Okay, perfect. A character who is uh, who goes unconscious during combat will suffer a small penalty to their experience gain. Okay. And he has lost some HP. I can heal him by giving the potion or just use the party heal button here. He health does not regenerate between the battles, so you'll have to make sure you heal your wounds after combat. Okay, that's kind of scary actually. There's a that's a pretty scary prospect. Should I no, I can't, right? I can just kind of skip it, so. Well, it tastes bad. Might yeah. be my granny's soup. Okay, perfect. So we have a healed ranger, we do get the elf back. Hooray! You saved me! Uh this is uh... There were more than one? So many I couldn't even count them. But I killed one, which sent them all running. Are you alright? It was because of that moronic dwarf it must have triggered a magic trap. The whole party's been scattered around this floor. We need to find them. Um, how about we don't Man, find I, the I don't like the elf at all. Exactly. If I can drop out, I'll drop out, I think. You could handle them by yourself? Yeah, that's even the greatest heroes have their limits. Anyway, let's not hang around here. So we go explore a bit, I guess. We can try to find some treasure, perhaps, if there is any in here. Looks, looks kind of, uh, I think this is kind of a scripted tutorial, so you just have to follow the, the path and that's going to be all right. Yeah, the voice is very annoying. It's, it's done on purpose, right? It's not like, Yippee! Jesus. Not yeah, Elf is a moron. You'll get us spotted. <laughs> there are orcs in this room and they've got bows and arrows. We need to devise a plan. Okay, I got yeah. a plan. You attack them while I stand guard, just in case somebody ambushes us. Nope. Yeah, sounds like something a coward would say to avoid a fight. Absolutely not. It's very rational behavior. <laughs> I've got a bow too. I can shoot arrows. My God. Yeah, we're dropping the elf. Reason to take cover. We, yeah, we're dropping the elf, guys. You're less likely to get hit, even by friendly fire. Now well, I've got no choice if we want to move ahead. We got to get rid of those orcs. You see one of them right now. But the others must be close. I got you. A group of one. I hate people who make a fuss over nothing. When fighting alone, charging head on is fine. But when in a group, a battle must be planned. Careful position. Okay, yeah. So the plan is we just charge forward into an arch for perfect. So plan okay, you have a planning phase. So you can deploy your units. Movement doesn't cost action points during the planning phase. You can take as long as you want to. Okay. So we can kind of position our team here. Uh, so we move her. Can I please move her? Okay, uh, alright, it just forces me here. Perfect. Uh, range, uh, alright, it just kind of, it, it is set for now, so no decisions here. The thief goes in this position as well. Initiative looks like that. It's a kind of humorous game, so I think, it, 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 I guess that's the reason, man. That's the reason. It's kind of a graphical approach, right? It's, it's a bit cartoonish, you could say. You could say it is. Initiative is rank, ranked depending on the character's courage. If your courage is equivalent, uh, the higher agility is prioritized. Okay. And then the level of the characters. Okay, then it's random. Okay, perfect. So, um, here we go. Fire, right? You just have to press fight to begin uh, or initiate the encounter. Okay. The orc is now in. Oh, there is Overwatch in this game. So he's keeping out an eye on the areas. He has not moved uh, before going to Overwatch. He can make two Overwatch shots. Oh shit, that's bad. There is Overwatch button here as well. Alright, so it's kind of... Uh, it is kind of XCOM-ish then. And comical at the same time. Perfect. There is not going to be Heroes of Might and Magic 5. I hate the game Omni. I like 4... No, no. I like 3, 6 and 7 more than 5. I think I like 4 more than 5, which is kind of... Really bad for five. I really dislike the the design of five very much. It was very obnoxious to play. The ranger could move forward, but this would get him shot. So too dangerous. You can delay my, your turn. Okay. So instead of just walking, which will kill us because he has overwatch over this entire area, I can just delay my turn. So you can just click wherever the hell this is. Delay my turn. Okay. And the thief is not the toughest or even the bravest. He can dish out a lot of damage. Interfere. Uh, so you can just move behind this asshole now, I guess. No. So mouse over to make... Okay, we see the Overwatch area. Okay, 
confirm. Perfect. And during the movement, you can set some waypoints. Okay, that's cool. So you can set waypoints like around here, I guess. All right. So we. Oh, he cannot overwatch like in front of himself. Okay, so you can kind of control, control, and control. The root area becomes orange. This means you will sprint. Uh, it didn't become orange, right? So you can just move up and just smash him in the face. Maybe get like an interruption going as well. Um, you can also press Alt to see all the. Okay, perfect. Control, 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 and we go. And we orient him towards the opponent here. He runs, skips. Okay, so uh, this interrupts the Overwatch. Okay. Oh, she actually moved for the for, for all his movement points. Some support skills. The least bad of the boat. I like it. I like the wording here. Oh, we, we, might, we might do the DOS with the viewers at some point. Maybe you could do Baldur's Gate with the viewers as well. So aiming arcs enable you to preview which targets you can reach by mousing over a tile. Usually archers cannot shoot if an enemy is at melee range unless the latter is knocked over, stunned or frozen. All right. I like this game. It looks very, very decent. Yeah, it's, it's like... Um, it's the same as XCOM or Gears Tactics as well, they had Overwatch as well. Where you just kind of prepare an attack and just kind of, you know, guard an area so you can kind of block passage with that. That's very cool. Okay, we move a here, we choose the direction, select the standard range attack, then mouse over the org to ready your shot. Uh, your range is highlighted in red. Um, it, we have a chance of actually hitting our ally as well, collateral here. Confirm, okay. Attack the orc with your ranged attack, it's gonna miss, or it's gonna hit the, the poor rogue. Okay, it didn't. Though the arrow went right for the guy. Okay, so we can now actually go here and yeah, get ready for the uh, for the attack as well. Perfect. I like this game already, like it looks super well done so far. Oh, support! Crucial mechanic, when, you, when an ally is oriented towards your target, like the thief here, they provide you with support. Usually support will grant a 5% bonus to precision. You can stack multiple supports, but only with melee attacks. Okay, cool. Characters with high charis charisma will gain a higher bonus to their precision for every supporting character. Here, the ranger has 9% bonus to his precision instead of 5 thanks to his charisma. Finally, as support does not require a character, an action a character can support an attack even if um, even if they have already taken their turn for this round. Keep that in mind when orienting your characters. Looks very, very cool, guys. And music is good as well. That's that's a winner for me. Okay, so we attack with support. Yeah, we can just smash the orc. So all this reading just for the smash here. Okay, the orc now, he has to escape our melee range. There's attack of opportunity uh, that he procs. Perfect, so there are, there are those as well. So if you are fleeing melee range, um, you control three times in front of you, okay? If the en enemy leaves this area, they will be hit by... That's so much they can... That's, that's very good. Oh, this... I love this game already, guys. There's gonna be... This is, like, the breadwinner, I think, for this company. They made, like, such a good game overall. He took... Okay. He was squatting in the meantime, but did you see this, guys? Uh, okay, so we have two actions here. Okay. Uh, and combat to move on. Okay, so we can move behind him, right? That's that's okay. And now I can either move. I mean, oh, I didn't choose the direction, right? I think I didn't choose the uh, the facing. Uh, okay, that's a backstab. Perfect. So the range is kind of the melee uh, slash ranged combo. So far, the rogue is a purely melee assassin, and the thief is. Uh, sorry, the thief is that. Uh, and the elf is like purely ranged. You have lame ass longbow, perfect. Like who thought we were gonna find something like this? Okay, we take everything. We don't need healing, do we? So I can just kind of skip on this. Uh, we, we won. We did. Okay. Uh, we get five hundred sixty experience. We cannot open inventory yet. Um, I'm gonna kind of check it out here. If there is anything. Doesn't seem to be the case, guys. We're gonna move through the door. I am super hyped about this game. I'm, I really am. Looks very well done overall. I hope it's not gonna be garbage in the end. So far, so good. We have the wizard as well, and 
our uh, our ogre. Perfect. So the bruiser and the wizard. We have no steady melees yet, though. Yeah. Yeah. You're losing me. I have no idea. I don't know Zappi. We'll see. He says he's stuck and can't open the gate. It looks like some kind of pantry, but it's empty. He says he only had a small bite. Oh, she's the translator, right? She's the translator for the ogre. You gotta love the wizard. Uh, maybe, yeah. It's definitely in French. It's available in French, in Spanish, I think. Uh, in quite a few European languages. In German as well. Uh... I am Originate. Thank you for the follow, my man. Guys, if you haven't followed yet, do so now. Let's continue. So, investigate the room. We need to find a lever here. Uh, or we can tap to find interactable objects. So there is Lootsies. Let's get the, let's get the drops here. Okay, we, we found a leg of something. We can activate the lever, open the door over there. And we have thus acquired the wizard and the orc. I am so hyped for this, guys. Looks very, very solid in my uh, eyes. He was too anxious to be on his own. Ogres are very sensitive. All the cumbersome stuff the party finds usually ends up stashed in the ogre's bag because he's the strongest. Since it's rather impractical to rummage through, we've come up with an interface for you. <laughs> okay, I love this. Seriously, this is so nicely done. Like the the humorous touches are extremely, extremely good. So the ogre carries all the inventory, there is a weight limit on your inventory, so you can't just carry everything with you. Uh, so we can equip the item here. You can read about characteristics of a weapon in the highlighted area below. All weapons share the same full stats, but also have additional magical properties. Okay, damage, precision, so accuracy bonus, um, and crit chance and crit damage, so the multiplier, perfect. And we have so many inventory slots, look at this. So we have like something here, maybe like a trinket. There's some baubles over here, the forearm, forearm slot, the armor, a uh, hat and helmet, secondary weapon, and a shield slot as well. Man, this is super cool. Each character can be equipped with a main and secondary weapon with the exception of the ogre and the wizard dress. You can only have one weapon slot. The ranger can equip a, a bow as a secondary weapon. Equip the bow you just found with uh, this. Okay, we drag it over. Uh, look at the portrait of the ogre, it's red. Uh, his injury, uh, a character gets injured when they become unconscious during combat, so when you get knocked out, you get, okay. Uh, so you move the cursor over the ogre's injury to get more. Oh, there's the injury window, okay. I thought this was like a trinket, there's gonna be the injury. Okay, so injuries are permanent attribute penalties. They can be healed with specific, they're not really permanent, they can be healed though. Bandages and first aid kit or by resting in a tavern. You'll suffer the penalty associated with the injury as long as it's not healed. If a character falls in combat again while she's wounded, the injury will get worse. But okay, so that's cool. Uh, use a bandage from your inventory to heal this nasty looking wound. To use a bandage, you... Uh, okay. I can just bandage like this. Perfect. Okay, then. Escape when you're ready. Okay, so you can just kind of, you know, marvel our inventories or just get back into the action. You have some garbage items here. Um, you have the main weapons here, the daggers. You can also use a bow, by the way. What a mess. Okay, perfect. Very cool. Cool, 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 guys. Looks really solid. You know, why I kind of expected that this might be a refund. Apparently, it's not going to be a refund. Perfect. The wizardess keeps the map updated. It's usually best to act as if you know where you're going, although I'm pretty used to most players f***ing around by <laughs> clicking haphazardly. Yep. Okay, the wizardress is, is in charge of the dungeon and the quest journal, open it to learn more. Going in circles. So we have some um, markers, I guess. Oh, we have to just find our allies here, I guess, you're right. Um, map is on the right. Okay, perfect. So... Someone's coming. Go yeah. check it out. Why should it be me? <laughs> Rangers are usually scouts. <laughs> oh, okay, lovely, yes. man. It, it's, a it's so meta. It's so meta. I actually like it. Like a shaka, yeah. Time for lunch, guys. Come on, grab time. Intruders. 
<laughs> oh, that's so nicely done. Maybe I could go back to the inn. Man, I told I'm telling you, French games don't disappoint, guys. If you have never played Walkthrough or Dofus before, I sh you probably should actually, because they they just look really solid. Those are really solid games, and this one looks very solid. It's okay, I, I need to kind of get people. They have a ranger. They have two melees. Uh, zero protection load. This guy can kind of go down fast. Guess he has very little defense, and also the the arch obviously needs kind of to be taken down. Uh, Previous will defeat the orcs. Begin combat by pressing fight. Yeah, can I move my guys? I can't. Actually, I'm not allowed to because this is in our tutorial section. Okay, we fight. The ranger is the jack of all trades. He has melee and ranged attacks. He has some uh, tactics he can choose. One of his tactical skills to learn more. Okay, so you have uh, the charge, which raises precision of all allies. Oh, you can tact you can activate a tactic here. Perfect. And here, um, you gain some parry and dodge across the board. I think we could go defensive here, I guess, because, you know. Only one tactic can be used. Okay, so either precision bonus or DU. I'm just going to go for defense. Of all allies, this is very important. You can find uh, useful information about your skills, your stamina. Um, where the hell is... Okay, there's a stamina. I haven't seen stamina. Okay, there's stamina as well. Holy shit. At the beginning of your turn, you can check the region value by moving the cursor over the stamina bar. Uh, that's actually nasty. So you have like, a lot of resources to manage. Because, yeah. The ranger can... Uh, at level 1, you can use... Uh, okay. You can use tactics. These skills can influence all your allies no matter where they are on the map. Once activated, a tactic will stay active until the end of combat or until the ranger dies. Only one tactic can be active at any time. If you choose to use another, it will cancel the effects of the first one. Um, is an offensive buff. Uh, select and use a tactic that you wish to have during the battle. Okay, I just did I? And no, I didn't. Uh, if precision appears in this color in blue, it means it cannot miss. I'm just gonna go defensive here. Oh, and I have to actually use it. Hold your ground. Okay, we just move forward, I guess, right? So we get like the precision bonus for our for our ogre later, I guess. He is not um, right. There is no Overwatch yet. I'm gonna aim at this bitch as well then. Okay, perfect. And now we have the ogre. He's your most brutal character. He's not that accurate. Uh, that's why he could use some support from other characters. Oh, and he doesn't really like wearing armor. Yeah, I figured as much. Okay, we move here, this is going to be the support uh, tile, and we can... Please mind my personal space, perfect, okay. So this might be a knockback, right? Yeah. I can push an enemy back two tiles, since the ranger is oriented towards the orc, will be targeted an opportunity attack if he is pushed back. Oh, that's cool, so you like a combo as well, that's really, really good. Yeah, I think so. That's very likely that Ankama did, yeah. Because it's it's just... I, I love the humor already. Yeah, the Ogre hits his target with his punch, dealing damage and pushing. Guys, I'm not gonna go to sleep tonight, I think. <laughs> this is gonna be a long ass stream. Okay, we get like bonus damage, look at this. Okay, so that knockback triggers the opportunity attack. That's so cool, holy shit. And it, look at the tutorial as well, guys. It's, it's just so in-depth, like, it's just very, very pleasant to see a game like this. Because it just does everything. Holy shit. Like, I think, like, Baldur's Gate 3 has, like, a lot of competition right now. Honestly, it just has so much competition. At level 1, the Wizardess has two spells. A Cure ma Minor Wounds and the formidable Wazar's Whirlwind. Spells cost Astral Energy and also have cooldown period. Okay. Uh, you'll get some astral and oh she has a, another resource okay um select the whirlwind and let's check it out so it creates a whirlwind this is an aoe attack and the animations are clean as by the way this is so beautiful look at those animations holy shit okay sneaky strike i love the fantasy here already this attack can dish out a lot of damage, but only if your target is facing away from you. Okay. Um, so, since there are no orcs in range, you can wait. Yeah, yeah. Perfect. So, we can just press it here, delay the turn. 
She's exposed. She is a frail character and each 27 HP. She is the weakest one. Look at this. They have 40, 30 HP each. The wizard has 40 and she has 28. That's ridiculously low. We face here. We take cover. If the elven ricochet. Sophisticated technique which will randomly hit up. Very, very sophisticated, right? Uh, select the ricochet. It might also hit your friends. It's an elven technique after all, as we know, elves are, yeah, they are what they are. So we go for the ricochet here, it does bounce and almost, almost, almost kills this. Ah, uh, we are exposed here to a backstab that's gonna kind of hurt, I guess. Poor, poor ogre, like you hate to see it, you hate to be an ogre in those fights, I guess. I mean, getting bandages is going to be really hard. Okay, we can move behind now and get the dark stab. I mean, the back stab, the sneaky strike. We're going to call this the dark stab, right? We have disarm traps as well here. Okay, sneaky strike it is. Whoa, okay, that's very smooth. That's super clean, by the way. Okay, he has no overwatch, right? Uh, so we can just move in and attack. I think that the only thing that, that we are kind of missing here is a visual indicator for that. Mm, I could have actually used healing during combat as I could have waited, just kind of used the healing there. My bad. So kind of, yeah, to heal during combat, right? Because you can't do it alright. So we have the chair, K, N, armbands, which give me protection and impact. Oh, it's like, I think it's like impact bonus, right? We take all there is, and there is some money experience to be found. Uh, we're not healing yet. I think we don't need that. Still, those orcs weren't in fighting shape. I think they were running from something. If that's the case, so should we. Mend the thief. Let's go. We still have to find the dwarf and the barbarian. Uh, we, we still have two characters missing. Look at this. It's gonna be super complex, like in terms of fight, uh, in terms of combat, right? I have the tab as well to check the loot here. Can I save the game? Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna save. Also, I need to check the, the hotkeys because I think it, it would be way, ple way more pleasant to see if there are like uh, the ability hotkeys there. So the auto attack. Okay, so begin battle is space. Mm, I'm gonna I'm gonna do a tilde here or how about why? Randomia kill me. So the freaking hell is that? Belt, con there are consumables as well, okay, hero skills, there are like, there's a long list of hero skills, huh? I, I want the space for melee attacks though, so... Oh no. Uh, can I please get something here? Okay, it's gonna be a minus, because I don't care. And I do want to get like, the auto attack on space, because I'm used to this. It's already used by faster enemy turn. Oh my god. Okay, we're just gonna go back. I'm gonna get used to this then. Yeah, no. It's, it's gonna be Zed for melee attack. Per that's fine. Let's cancel the change. It's fine. I'm okay with Zed. Mm -hmm. Alright, so that there is a room exit here. This game looks very good, guys. I'm not gonna lie, it looks very, very good. Um... Oh, that's a dwarf. There's one dwarf yet in this dungeon who still draws bread. Yes, we'll kick your face in. You're lucky we're here. You're in over your head. Nothing's over my head. I'm told for a dwarf. <laughs> oh, there. Okay. So, can I set up anybody now? Yeah, I can. The rogue, they're in trouble actually, they're in so much trouble here, look at this, so I think I need to kind of get someone to say, to salvage this situation over here. Um, so we kind of, we have to kind of divide and conquer I guess, so we can, we could switch these guys around, uh, I guess, yeah. Uh, I can move her I guess. No, I can only move those guys. They're kind of these are fixed. 
Maybe I can just use this to move the furniture later or something, I suppose. I don't know. No. So, yeah, let's fight. I'm kind of convinced as well that, you know, buying it wasn't a bad idea, so... Mm. Okay, we can drop the um, the defensive bonus first. I guess everybody needs theirs, so... If it keeps everybody alive a bit longer, then I'm all up for it. I, was an, I, I use both an action and an attack. Okay, the Barbarian is a powerful, nimble fighter. His protection is though his precision is not that good. Uh, straightforward. Steel Barrage. Nice skill name. Um, it's a linear attack, I guess. Yeah, it is. It's kind of a cleavy one, although. Like, it can kind of also arc. That's very nice. Okay, we wait, because... That's the end of turn, okay. So we are here, so if there is any dis displacement happening, that's fine. Okay, that's a lot of damage. Oh, I got knocked down, okay. The dwarf is a noble descendant of Gurdil Shiny Ass, and as such was predestined to an adventurous life. He has enough hit points to endure the charge of a rabbit troll, but is rather slow. He loves heavy armor, shields, and gold coins. Very nice. He is in trouble, weakened, and surrounded. He might well, very well die. You can use... The, uh, okay, defensive stance. You get 8 protection, immune to crits, uh, very good, okay, so you can just use this on a tank. Raises the protection, lowers the precision of any enemy attacking you, or always protects you from the crits. Uh, characters on defensive cannot perform any opportunity attacks. Defensive stance can be cancelled if the character gets stunned, knocked over, or scared. Uh, selected to use it on the dwarf to protect him from those, okay. Okay, yeah. You have to confirm. Okay, some elements of the environment can be destroyed. Very cool. Cool, cool. So, it takes two hits to break them, but the ogre is so brutal, you can destroy them in one. Plus, you cannot miss an attack. Attack the crate to open up. Okay. So, you get a path open. Uh, this is melee, right? Yeah. So, I mean... The ogre does need HP as well, so it's kind of the scary part here. I could, however, like move up here for 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 a push. Though these two guys are kind of gonna handle the same thing, so I'm just gonna get this uh, this ogre moving forward. Ouch. Okay, so he's unconscious. He's not fully out of action yet, but you have a limited number of turns to rescue him with a healing spell or potion. Uh, so if his fine unconscious in battle will suffer from an injury, you're right. Healing battle, so select cure minor wounds. It's a long ranged uh, ability, in fact. Okay, you can use this on the barbarian to heal it. Let's see if this works as in divinity, so maybe he regains an action this turn. No, he doesn't. Okay, so that's that's something to remember. I could kind of, I, I don't know how much range she has on this. Five, one, two, three, four, five. And this is AoE, so I think it's, it's a better idea. It's like, since he's active now, I think it's a better idea to just move up here and just kind of set up for the uh, for the AoE storm. Yeah, the dwarf is okay. <laughs> he took one damage. Immobilize with a crippling strike, cannot move. Okay. They're easier to hit as well. That's important to notice. Uh, so I think these three can easily handle this this part of the fight, so I can just kind of move here with the shadow. Um, I really don't want to expose myself though, so these guys can move up here. Uh, obviously he has a decent HP pool, so I think I can just do it. Yeah, 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 absolutely. But actually in Divinity it was like that you could die, and after your action resurrect and get another action. We have a miss here, very good, very good solid stuff. You can ricochet now, right? You can just go for for a ricochet on this. There's a ranger, though. I, I pre prefer to kind of stay, keep my cover here, I suppose. Um, I kind of, I kind of fucked myself in this as well. Mm. And this guy is gonna shoot as well. I think I can, I, I can take the risk here, though. 
Hey there, Luton B. Nice to see you, man. Nice to see you. Okay, so either a ricochet drops or we just go for a regular auto attack. I think that... Mm. If I target this, does it still bounce? Yeah, it does. Look at this. I think it does bounce, yeah. It was better than, than nothing, right? Because this means that I did not have a chance of hitting my own ally. That, that's very important. Okay, she dodged. Perfect. Whew. Okay, this is very cool. This this game is really, really good. I, I am not gonna lie, this game works really nicely. Uh, so do I open myself up? Because there is like a guy here. Did, okay, that's far away though, so I, I can probably just go for damage. Uh, I can either move into melee here and just kind of start delivering swift death to those idiots. Uh, oh. Okay, this is... Wait, what the... Oh, that's, oh, that's my base movement range. That's the problem. Okay, so I'm probably just going to move into ranged. Just drop the secondary attack and go for it. Mm. I don't know if Dwarf has any AoE, so I'm just gonna go for like the basic attack, just finish at least one opponent, it's very important, I suppose, to get rid of this. I think the impact could be done better in terms of animations, but other than that, it's pretty good over game. Okay, that's just a basic attack material. Because this one goes next, right, so it's, it's good to kill it if I can. I can't, and we... <laughs> I have to just end the turn, I guess. I can't defend anymore. That's, I should have defended, I, I think, initially. It takes 17 damage. Not good. Okay, this that's good. I, I can just kind of knock it down at least. It's not knocked down, is it? No, and oh, I'm also weak. I, I can't move. Mm-hmm, I can move here and just get a damage, uh, damaging blow on this. And this will trigger the opportunity attack as well, because he is in, yeah. Perfect, okay, out of action, very good. There is a single opponent here, I can just auto-attack, I guess, with the magic attack, boom. Because you can use staff as a lane, as a ranged as a, and as a melee, but apparently it just doesn't work here for me at all. I think there are more opponents on the other side, so I'm just gonna move. Okay, this does miss, that's very solid. And the row can actually set up for a, for a nice flank over here now, which is obviously good, so I can just... What was it? Control, I think? Just to get a nice, uh, juicy backstab on this. He Does he have Overwatch now? Okay. And we get the auto attack. I remember this is the Z button. That's looking very sweet. Okay, so far so good. They have the ranger here. Um, you know, I can actually take cover, right? But that lowers my accuracy on this on this asshole here. I guess you can still kind of ignore the cover if he tries. Sixty percent. I'm gonna take that. Ah, it does land. Okay, this guy just stands there and doesn't take damage. It's very good for me. Mm, okay, so again, like there is very little movement I have here, so I just have to move up, I guess. Does mm. okay. that's, that's connect? So retreat. Your enemies are fleeing. They tried to run to a yellow area that just appeared. Uh, if they make it, uh, you will earn less experience. In some battles, there won't be a retreat area, and they'll just have to fight into their uh, to their last breath. Stop them before they reach the area. Okay, there is a retreat stage of the fight of the fight, done perfect. But yeah, okay, I just can kill this though. I think. Okay, we have this guy here. Uh, I can only attack him though, so 65% chance. That's shit, but he gets it. Okay. Uh, I guess I can just kind of block it off at least partially, right? So there's, there's the nice part for this. Uh, I can just move that wolf all... I think I can sprint him. No, I can't sprint him, actually. Uh, 
I can I think I almost block it off this way if I go like this and then just get the ogre forward. Yeah, I do, I think, right? Um And I'm just gonna move in melee with the rogue. And this should mean that I you know if he tries to escape he's gonna get just smashed and I think I, atta I can attack and move, right? So it's gonna, it's gonna be way more beneficial. Yeah, this over though. Okay, sweet, sweet loot, guys. Sweet, sweet loot. Dodgy part, so it's a hat, and that's just for the ogre, I think. And those are boots of strategic retreat, and this gives me max stamina and astral energy bonus. Very good. The antidote. Uh, Easy dungeon, healing potions, perfect, and those, that's really cool. Look out, it's a weirdo. Oh, <laughs> staff. A wizard. I love this game, guys. I love this game. Uh, hello. Hey, pay no attention to me. In fact, you shouldn't even be able to see me. It's just my invisibility ring acting up again. He's a wizard. He looks more like a janitor. That's very reductive. I'm the head cleaning operative of this dungeon's mortuary. <laughs> head cleaning operative, Jesus. I deal with the corpses left behind by adventurers. The smell. Guys, if you're French and you see a, like a pun or something, just let me know. Just explain just this. If you do speak French well enough to explain puns. As long as the floor stays clean, and it means less work for me. Ew, I'm gonna be sick. We're looking for a way to the next floor. Usually, people like to take the stairs. Yes, but there are some magic locks. Really? Didn't notice them. I must be immune thanks to a spell of my Hey! Chimere, thank you. Kimmery, thank you for the follow. Yes, take us with you. No, ah, no yes, lovely. Got work to do. Welcome to Dungeon, my man. Welcome to Dungeon. It suits because we usually play Darkest Dungeon in the stream. So saying welcome to dungeon is a darkest dungeon thing, but at the very same time it works here. Consumables that you can equip. Uh, okay, we can probably just lo look for loot Z's. There is a chest here. Okay, there is this thing here then. Perfect. Let's open it up. We take the minor boots. Uh, there is a doorway as well, which I probably might want to explore. That looks very cool. So we have some gear we can use now. We have the armbands, which are, which are ranger exclusive, so it's kind of a no-brainer really. No, we, the, actually, the, those items appear. Like visually, they appear. It's my boots. No way I'm giving it away. It's kind of a shame there are, there are class restrictions on items. I'm not, not not a big fan of that. Uh, obviously, other than that, it looks very good so far. And there is nothing that mods can solve, right? Okay, we can put the potions on those guys. It's kind of a good idea, I suppose. Where's the belt? Oh, here. Uh, I guess the melees want that. I drag this over here. Oh, he doesn't have the belt. He does? We can equip it here. Oh, why not? Light, what does light be it though? Okay, gives you strength, courage, and removes agility. Okay, cool. And we have this bronze vase. You could use it as a flower pot or spice up your martial disputes. Okay, it's kind of a, uh, uh, I guess just a piece of loot, right? That you can sell. I do want to have like a quick save. Guys, I, I, you don't know this about me because I haven't been playing games that have save games yet. Uh, but I have like this save game disorder. I have to save the game every now and then. Like I probably have to set, check out, probably F5 or F6 does it here as well. But I do need to be kind of uh, abusing the quick save button. It's F1, it's just F1. Okay. 
and yeah, game saved. I see, I'm using that as it is already. Can I see the map, please? So there is a doorway here. There is something here, I have no idea what this is. Ring falls, oh, this is the door that we kind of uh, were supposed to cross but didn't cross in the end. There's another like section of the hallway over there that we have not explored either. Did you see this? Uh, perfect. There is a combat encounter as, as well, I think, here. Oh, no. Okay, nope. Um, I could actually change the active characters as well, which is pretty... Uh, it looks useless, I guess. Let's see. There's a chest. So, history of orcish culture. Uh, ogre stuff. And, yeah. That's all. So, we're just gonna take all those... Little bits and pieces, I guess. Collect it and move on. A pot does look very good indeed. Yeah, it looks pretty sweet. Okay, so we have explored this section. I think there was like another section there, but this might have been the prison I just left uh, behind, so... Not really 100% sure. Yeah, this is just the prison cell, right? It's just, just it. There's nothing else here. It's just kind of a mini-map uh, being funky then. Update the map. No, never mind. There is a section of a dungeon there. In fact, I, I missed it, I think. We're just gonna kind of slowly backtrack there, check if there is anything, if there isn't. Oh, although this might be like an iron magical door or something, because it looks like. Okay, there, you see, there is something here. Okay, the save game disorder comes into play. Oh, there is just a. Improved bandages, that's very good. Okay, so some high quality loot Z's. Mm. And there is a chest here as well. Uh, bracelets with more arcane energy region, very good. So it's good that we actually did, did kind of backtrack here. There's a lever as well, I did not see this. And it makes you wonder what it does. Okay, it actually opens up this chest here. Yeah, that's good. So we have explored this part too. We can just move from here to the core uh, section of the dungeon, I guess. There, there's some delay here. It's kind of annoying, uh, at least a little bit. So those are not character specific. This gives you precision. It's very nice. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Mm, okay, so we just kind of move through this. I don't know why this onwards thing is there, by the way. I don't know why this is still here. I could just kind of get rid of this, but nope. Okay. Oh, there is a, a, a weapon stand here, so I should probably just equip all those items as I move as well. That's Brocoli, I have no idea. Oh, it just gives you HP region. Okay. I think I should kind of heal those guys as well, because they're, they're wounded, right? So... Just gonna do a little bit of uh, okay. Movement is a bit wonky at times when you kind of have to cross the borders because it, you're just meant to be holding the mouse button instead of clicking all the time. That seemed to work way way better. Okay, there's another room. So before we go, uh, I'm just gonna just I'm just gonna get to some of the items equipped. So this is the wizard. Equip. Uh, there is a an ogre item here, and finally the elf as well. It. Uh, we're gonna eat the food so that these guys don't die by mistake. What do you mean equip? Can I just eat it? No. Apparently between fights you can't. And I can only... I'm gonna use... because I don't want this ogre to just die randomly. Uh, that would be very unfortunate. This heals two injuries, so I think we're just gonna kind of live with one here. Those healing potions as well, I think I'm just gonna use them to to heal my boys. Uh, there is also a ring that I have, I guess, like, intelligence scales uh, well on the mages. That's kind of a staple RPG thing, where, uh, where there's just those things just work the way they do. And this being said, we are pretty much ready to go. So there is an objective here. We have explored the entire thing. So guys, I'm a, I'm a major completionist, by the way. So 
you know, get ready for that. So we do open this passage, which means that, you know, we could potentially just go back where we were. Yeah, I think it's too quiet. This room might be trapped. Beware. We should find some other way. I don't listen to you anymore. You're a downer and you bum me out. I just have a survival instinct. <laughs> the thief. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's with all the shit talking? Yeah, that's my League of Legends game, guys. That's that's how they work. Okay. <laughs> oh, dang it! A trap! I told you so. You should have detected this trap. No one asked me to. What? You? Well, it's official. I'm going to ignore the thief now. <laughs> anyway, now we're asking you. Would you mind looking out for traps, please? Well. Oh, that's so D and D. wasting our time with this guy. Neutralizing a trap is a risky endeavor, which could bring one to a gruesome end. Hey, the Shepherd! Okay, you can choose the thief as the leader. He has detection. Okay, so every character might have some special ability, depending on who, you know who is selected, basically, right? I guess this might be the case. Looks like a secret passage as well. Like it really is shining, isn't it? But maybe just kind of. There's just oh, there's just, okay. This is just a window. Never mind. It's just we're in the castle. Okay, so. I wish I hadn't healed my boys, by the way, because they all took damage. Yeah, we have explosive bomb. Okay. And we can just use it as kind of as a ranged attack, I suppose, right? Consumables here. We equip it, we can use it in combat. So that part is over, can just probably... No, this looks like another trap, actually. Man, do I really have to run with this feed? That's annoying. It's over, this section is over, so you can run. Okay. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. What the f*** is going on now? <laughs> Welcome to the fabulous contestants of our show, The Wheel of Misfortune, hosted by our sponsor, Durandil Swords. <laughs> yes, Durandil right. Swords, Lord of Friend the Rings references. Huh. You must be half goblin. Yeah, but what species could look at a goblin and want to have its babies? Mix violence and alcohol and bam! Anything can happen. Agreed. Perfect. Welcome, guys. Welcome to everybody who's new to the stream. Hey there, Chimera no Noir. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome, all the new viewers. Remember, follow if you haven't yet. We're playing this game through. Welcome, dear contestants. Have a go at our wheel and discover your destiny. With our sponsor, Gut Helm Helmets. With a Gut Helm Helmet, you can ransack an entire kingdom. If there's loot to be made, Lovely. Everyone is welcome, even if you're French. Obviously kidding. Wait, wait, wait. Be careful. This game... I'm, you're welcome. That, that's, the, that's the true part. Our friendly contestants just won 5,000 gold coins, courtesy of our sponsor, Gorzine Detergent. Gorzine, to scrub Gorin Jesus. Epic. Yeah! And since we're not stingy, we'll throw in some healing for the entire party. Uh, I do have some split ends. Hmm, it sounds too good to be true. This won't end well. I'm sure <laughs> yeah. of it. We'll take another spin. More. No, 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 no. <laughs> No, okay, I see where this is going. Strong spin. You can never lose with our sponsor, Lorleanne's shampoos. That is a good shampoo. Yeah, but I'm not sure it can help us untangle this mess. Oh, we indeed got five thousand gold coins. I, I can see this not ending well, but I just say like, do, do we want to spin the wheel, guys? Do we spin this wheel? No, I don't want to leave. I want more gold coins. <laughs> oh no. I actually wanted to spin this, but yeah. Okay, he did this. It's gonna be dragon or something now. It's just, it's just gonna be really bad. Okay, spin that. Oh no! What a stroke of bad luck! You um, just yeah. lost all your previous winnings. Obviously. Did we lose everything? Rob Scallion. The skin you alive. Give it more <laughs> Don't fret. You can decide to stop yeah. playing now or go for one last spin. 
but I must warn you. Thank you, camera. I will enjoy it for sure. It's, it's lovely. This seems to be rigged. No, just one more. I'm gonna win it. I can feel it. Good coins. They're calling to me. Calling to me. He's totally lost it. Come on. It's like the Black Eye for the uh, right. It's like the Black Eye series for the Germans. The same deal, really. Okay, let's spin that that wheel. It's gonna be bad. It's gonna end up really bad for us. I swear. I am pretty confident it is. Great! Our brilliant contestants win the highest prize on the wheel of misfortune: a formidable magic amulet. Uh oh. Hey, magic item. That's useful. Well, that's it. Is it made of gold at least? Can we sell it? Give it. Whoa, whoa, whoa! But you'll have to earn such a coveted prize. It comes with a <laughs> fight to death, obviously. Courtesy of our sponsor, the Decorative <laughs> Caskets Factory. Yes, obviously, Decorative Caskets. Oh, crap. oh, shit. Well, I'm signing off, but let's hope to meet again soon. Now back to the studio with our sponsor, Easy Dungeon. With Easy Dungeon, we'll be home for lunch. <laughs> yeah, lovely, okay, love it. That's, that's so quirky, okay, the, the Wheel of Fortune is gone. You have a bunch of fucking goblins to fight, okay, lovely, lovely. Okay, so really don't want to get anybody exposed here, do we, right? So, maybe the ogre could, right? The ogre is kind of alright being here, I guess, because he can also punch his way through a lot. I guess I can use him as a meat shield of sorts, too, so that's that's kind of fine. The dwarf also can be at the front, right, front line, so that's fine. Okay, we move him out. Man, this feels a lot like uh, a lot like Dofus, honestly, in terms of, like, the, the humor. Thank you for the follow. Little... Thank you, Little. Nice to have you. Welcome to Dungeon, man. Hey, this game is getting viewership for some reason. It's lovely. It's time for real. This battle is going to be a tough one. As from now, the difficulty setting you chose is going to be taken into account. You can still access your inventory during the planning phase to equip items or pick consumables. Consumables, right? That's, that's cool. So, do we have the amulet? Oh, no, we're just gonna get shafted here, guys. Let's, let's prepare for this. Let's prepare for the ultimate shafting test. I can't wait, it's gonna be so cool. Okay, there is also the Barbarian. Actually, don't I don't want the Barbarian there. So they have, what? Well, they have, like, a rifle... Uh, rifle Goblins. We can start calling them Joblins as well, just for the rules. Mm. I mean, the Thief... I think I could use Thief for, like, a, a stabby stab from the back... Uh, of the back row. Maybe so you can just kind of... Also just use the Barbarian to hide behind. Uh, I don't think they can target from behind, so it's, it's kind of... Gonna be okay. So we drop the defensive status here, the, the maneuver. Yeah, I feel like this is very useful, right? Getting like those high defense characters, a little bit of a of a boost to start with, uh, is is gonna be big. Okay, who is hyped for this fight, guys? If some demons, yeah, demon joblins. And who doesn't love joblins? Here I am. Okay, so the barbarian. The Barbarian could potentially wait. Um, I think we guard this so they don't kill us here. Because... Uh, yeah, I think we can just... Since they have like two riflemen, I don't think I want to charge into them yet. I think we'll just wait for that to, to kind of happen first. Uh, the Ogre could also just delay. I think... They are like, they're flanking me though, so I could probably try to take them out. There is nobody in reach though, so either I we I kind of wait here or I just I think I have to I have to defend now because uh, I have no setup yet and yeah. Ouch! No minus one slash tendons. This is rather nasty one. Uh, okay, you can also raise your physical resistance and this is in effect you should move as little as possible to avoid hurting us. This I kind of. Okay, it's so a kind of moving bleed. Okay, perfect. So good to know that this is indeed the case. Uh, so that's a really heavy threat opponent as well. Lesser demon here on the right. We can, this is kind of a boss, right? So we could kind of leave it for the last. Uh, I think like, I have single target magic attacks that I could just use. This guy is actually fairly exposed, so we could either wait. Maybe these guys will move up and because I can't target them yet. I'm just going to wait as well. So, yeah, we just make use of this. And this guy is defending. Um, I'm gonna wait with everybody, because I feel like if... I get, like, a lot of benefits if I kind of delay my turn now, and just wait for it. Uh, I could obviously just drop some AoE here, that's that's always desirable. 
Mm, 60. That's gonna that's that's gonna be a nice ricochet though. So this kind of lines up for us. It does hit like multiple targets as well. This is very good. And we can just we can just end the turn here. She has cover after all. Mm. We have three turns available afterwards. If they move up for AoE, we just AoE those bastards down, right? It's kind of a good good thing to do. Also kind of Allows me to get some attacks of opportunity done, perhaps. Um, it's not looking bad overall. Okay, did... Oh, fuck. I didn't know this was AoE. But are kind of lining up for a very big AoE shot here by the wizard. That, that's good, right? That's good. But that's that's super fucking nasty. So we have to actually... They, are, they just became priority. Uh, those those guys over here. Uh, that's really nasty. That's very bad. Actually, it's, that's kind of bad. We had, like, a lot of assistance here, but she still misses, actually. Jesus. 48% accuracy is bad. Uh, he is very hard, actually. We'll get a lot of opponents down to those uh, red HP bars, which is obviously good. We drop this. Uh, was it in French? Did she spell cast in French? What a wild fucking game it is, right? Uh, and we... I, I don't know why he doesn't have attack of opportunity, but I can just safely move back here, which I'm gonna do. Welcome everybody who is new by the way. Hey people, remember to follow and subscribe. Welcome to the channel. This is Minefield's Dungeon. We stream. There is a link to our community Discord below as well. I hope you guys enjoy uh, yourselves in here. So, this game involves much more strategy than the original audio series. Yeah. I don't, I don't really know the original series, but I hope you're enjoying this anyway. I very much am anyway. Alright, so... What can we strike? I can actually go for this guy here. Just get a Derek stab on the back of his... Um, we killed one, by the way. We killed one opponent. Uh, so it's, it's looking kind of okay. We can also just use the bomb that we have, right? The pipe bomb. Uh, just to remove a bit of, of a threat and just kind of... No, I, I really probably should be fo focusing this guy here. And, you know, the rogue is fairly safe. Uh, so, yeah. We just go for a stabby stab. Look at this. This can do up to 30 toe damage if it doesn't miss... 28 this is. Very good. This is very solid. Oh, no, there are reinforcements. The red zone indicates where they'll come in. Uh, you see they appear on the board of the combat. Of course, you could occupy the zone, but then they'll just position themselves right, right next to it. Okay, fuck. So, I actually am happy that I didn't use that. Uh, I didn't use that... Uh, shit. That thing. Okay, I didn't use that... Uh, the bomb. So, that I can actually use it later. It's got like this is getting very nasty all, all of a sudden, right? So uh, I guess I have to just use a ranged attack. Especially I need to kite away from this. The, this this one here is actually going to attack me. Okay, um, I could actually just use Overwatch here on this because if they enter this area, then they'll just uh, they'll just uh, walk into me. Then this looks as a valid strategic choice anyway, right? So. I can't leave this because I am in melee, so I have to attack this now as well. So we're just gonna go for an for an auto attack here. Ha! And I see miss. Shit, fuck you, Barbarian, you're really useless. Ah, finding some easy adversaries. <laughs> uh, I think. Yeah, that's looking very bad. I think we might have to redo this fight and just kind of learn as we go. Okay, this guy is full HP, so knocking him over would probably be a good idea. And there is there are two goblins more. The shooter who is away, like he won't act this turn because he, he's probably gonna die. Okay, we just go for this. And we, we just try to take this this thing down first. Eleven damage and knockdown is very decent. Okay, we can also reposition now. I'm just gonna set my my direction to this guy here so I don't get any backstabs. He has to wait, or he's gonna get shot twice. Look at this, Overwatch. Take this, chicken shit. Ah, okay, this actually cancels it. Oh, shoot, it actually gets a backstab on my elf as well. That's not good. Hmm. Yeah. Ouch. Okay, that's uh, resisted. That's not looking too hot, though. We have to admit it, this is not looking good as a, as a fight. I would really love to move around. I can't leave the melee range of those guys, though. That's the problem. Uh, can I knock him around, though? No, he's gonna fly all the way there. Not really, not, not really a solid option, then. I could just use a basic attack, then. 
Um, this does a fuckload of damage. Look at this. This does up to 37 damage. I don't want him to get into the range, by the way, of the um, of the rogue, because I really don't want to lose the rogue so soon. Okay, this is very heavy hit. I like it. That's very good. Okay, so we can just wait now. If he tries to move out, he's just going to trigger an attack. He gets a bonus to, to hit from, uh, from his ally, obviously. This is still within the realm of acceptable, though. All right, we have two enemies here. Now, this one is going to act soon. We do have a rogue as well. We need to heal someone very soon as well because there's there are reinforcements coming in. You know the rogue is in a very dire spot too, so probably I'd like to to kind of kind of help him at least to to some extent, right? Um, so there is a lot of lots a lot of stuff going. On. I might actually have to ditch him as well. Mm. It's like those are very low accuracy attacks across the board. Like no matter where I go or what I do, that's not looking great. I think we just go all in on this because we need to eliminate this before the ogres arrive. Um, and such low accuracy as well, that's very annoying. Mm. Also, I really don't want to take AoE beating from this rifle uh, asshole, so probably we'll try to eliminate him first. We do. Okay, the rogue. I could have actually, that's, that was a mistake from me, I guess. Uh, he will proc the... I could have just used the rogue to eliminate that. Mm, yeah, that's not good. I'm, I'm just gonna have to stay here like this, just tank him and, you know, accept the punishment. Uh, same for the for the archer, really. I can either take defensive stance. That's gonna be such a tough, tough nut to crack here. No, I don't... Oh my god, she's so squishy. She's so ridiculously squishy. I need to get her out, though, but... She, or, or she might just die. I'm gonna move her out, like, tr tr I'm gonna risk this. That's a backstab as well, fuck. I, I just have to move her out of this, uh, this situation as well. Th this also means I can actually shoot things, right? Which obviously does give me a bit of a, uh, of an advantage here. And uh, I could try to, uh... This is the most likely thing I can hit. 14 to 20, this, I'm just gonna get this. Uh, fuck you, elf. Ouch. Okay, flank doesn't hit me though. It is a very tough fight, yeah. Okay, we have four orcs in the battlefield as well. Man, that's so tough. I love squashing goblins. Yeah. When does he go? Uh, I think I'm just gonna stand. Uh, I'm gonna stand guard here because I can't move out or he'll. Oh, he doesn't have the attack bonus. Okay, so I think I, I can move back, uh, like up, at least a little bit, right? So that he doesn't reach me. If I, since I can do it now, I just need to move out of the reach. So I'm gonna wait. How far can he go? He can go here. So if I if I move here, no, I think I can just move all the way back then. Actually, just make sure that you know nobody gets backstabbed or anything nasty. That's probably uh, the optimal uh, course of action here. So I'm just gonna move him out and and make sure he is all right. Um, the barbarian here, maybe he can take this this thing out. It'd be very good if I could actually get rid of this guy. Finally, all right. So this works. I do want to move uh, move the barbarian out as well. There is still a boss here that we have to kill though. Here's they're, they're like uh, the orc warrior who's gonna be nasty. Well, those are tibia vibes by the way. <laughs> the orc warrior, you know, those are definitely tibia vibes. This is such a tough fight, by the way. Really, really tough. I love it. I like the difficulty. If we get smashed, it's okay, I guess. Oh, no, he killed the... Oh, no, he killed the ogre. We need to resurrect this, then. See, that's why you kind of keep the healing abilities available, I guess. Mm. So, 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 so. Uh, I can move behind this now, I guess. Uh, there is a Berserker here, though, and there is a Warrior. I don't really want to move into his melee range as long as possible, right? Because it's going to be super nasty if I do this. Oh, that's a kill as well. Very good. Okay, we are eliminating them slowly. Hmm. How far can you go now, right? That's the problem, because I probably need to kind of tank this for, for the team. So this Goblin here, I really need to absorb the, uh, the some of the pressure coming in, so... I'm just gonna set myself up here, just hope the ogre can take this later as well. 
Oh, he has Ratchet Tendon as well, that's not good, right? So, yeah, he attacks you, that's fine. That's not a backstab. <laughs> Partial parry, okay, cool, cool, cool. We get the parry done. Oh my god, the rogue might die. <sighs> okay. So, here we go, that's uh, that's quite decent. This parry was good, obviously. Uh, I, I can heal this now, right? Probably have to heal this as well, because losing the ogre so soon would be absolutely trouble for me. 57 heal, but it's such a long cooldown. Five, what, how, how many turns? Four. And I do need to kite back with this as well. I do need to get someone in front of this bitch. Because otherwise he might just start killing me. So probably the rogue, I mean the ranger just has to move in and, and absorb some of the pressure. Also, they are pretty squishy, so I'm just going to move them back. My turn. Man, this is such a hard fight, actually. I didn't expect this to get so hard so quickly. Please don't hit. Yes, okay. See, that's why you probably want to be buffing the uh, the defense here. Okay, we can kill this soon. I, I think the Barbarian and the Rogue just kind of dispose of this guy. Uh, which means I can uh, just eliminate him now. You, we can start disposing of these as well. I mean, I could just drop the Overwatch so they kind of think twice before they go for, for the backline of mine. I think that's reasonable, just dropping the Overwatch since, he, since she does have two moves. At the same time, they're kind of tied up in in combat, so it probably doesn't make that much sense. They have to enter it, right? So it means that I, I just can shoot. I think I just I'm just gonna try to kill this, kind of mitigate some damage at least. We get a crit, very good. Uh, and I'm gonna move her back because she's so squishy. She'll, she's already very very hurt, right? So that's something I really don't want to have happen. Like I have no healing available, so losing her would be absolutely a a tragedy. I don't think I don't think they have range to to reach me either. Uh, I can move into belly with my ranger actually and just go for the for the guard mode as well. That's something I should probably do. Yeah, the tank is positioned very well here. He can absorb a lot of pressure. Man, I really like this fight. It's such a good one. He sprints up. Uh, yeah. So now I can't actually do this. I can't absorb this part of pressure anyway. I can't leave the melee range because he's just gonna smash me. Uh, I guess I just have to attack him and that's it. He, he can't attack me though, so I can just kind of... Uh, at least for now, right? So uh, I imagine like this guy is gonna try to attack me. So I'm gonna kind of turn my back on this one. Just wait for the warrior to go in. Uh, I do need to kill this as well. That's another part of trouble. 53, huh? We are assisted. We get this kill as well. Very nice, okay. So that's working slowly in our favor. So this fight is kind of going going better than it was. Uh, I don't want to enter into melee with anything yet, because mm, I can actually punch this guy into the wall here just to get, like, I think this does bonus uh, bonus stuff to enemies. And I'm just going to get in position here, just, yeah, there's nothing else I can do really with this Barbarian now. Because if I move him in melee too soon, he's just going to take a lot of damage, which we obviously don't want to happen. Oh no, there are two orcs though, that's going to be a lot of beating that we take. So this guy here can also go for the, okay, he can't actually go for the ogre. No. He procs the attack opportunity, he goes for the ogre anyway, he tries to kill him, and he misses. Okay, that's very good. Uh, we get like double attack opportunity now, that's that's pretty solid actually. We need to kill this, uh, this little shit as well. Uh, we do get this, I think. I don't really want to turn my back onto this, so I'm gonna face this way. Um, so I can knock this guy out, and this is gonna proc double opportunity attack, I think that's good. I can knock him out. This is the this is the uh, high threat opponent. He, he does go last, so he, this might actually mean that uh, he gets untied from this and just goes for someone squishy, which obviously I don't want to happen. Oh my god. I need to kind of position myself like this then. Now that's going that's gonna be very bad for the ogre, I think. Um right, so range the PT. How far can he run? He can run far enough. Yeah, there's a problem. I can go here. I think I'm safe here, right? Yeah. So we're just gonna go here, uh, position like this, and just go for a shot again. And that's such a sweet game, guys. I like it so much. Boom! Magic attack. Twenty-two damage on the back. That's very solid. Oh no 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 no! He goes for the range. No, oh, he actually moved just to get the backstab off. That's ah, uh, that's acceptable. Now we're in a bit of a pickle, but I can just drop this somewhere, like drop the AoE. 
This does finish off an enemy though, so I can just actually risk taking some damage, I think. Just moving up and doing this, right? That's, that's probably okay. Uh, just dropping the bomb 9 to 13, so this absolutely kills one one opponent there. Oh no, the dwarf has so little HP though, my god, that's actually bad. Hmm. Yeah, the dwarf might die for this, so that's actually bad. Uh, I, I can't back, I can't go back on this action as well, so I could have probably moved back and stabbed this guy, but yeah. I'm just gonna drop defensive stance here. I have nothing better to do. Uh, obviously, like since they move in melee a lot, I could actually have been uh, doing the Overwatch because I didn't know that you know I didn't know the AI in this game that well. I assumed they wouldn't be moving in melee at all, which they absolutely fucking do. So I need to move her back as well. So Overwatch is important here. Like apparently, like you can just use it in fights if you have two movement points and this works. He moves out. See, they keep moving in melee. Maybe over does prevent this. Oh my god, this is a dead dwarf, isn't it? Okay, it's not a dead dwarf so far. So good. I I just have to go for an attack here, I guess, now. Just try to eliminate this before it actually does something really nasty to me. Oh, they're behind, so I can actually move as well. I can reposition myself a bit, which is good. Uh, I mean, they're tied up here. I really kind of want to keep them like this. The problem is with the Barbarian, for instance, he can't really come into melee now. Uh, he can actually he can get a backstab on this bitch here. That's very good. Uh, that should be high accuracy, relatively high accuracy anyway. Okay, that's bad. Please just get the. Oh, he gets the kill. Crit. My God, Conan gets it. Conan for the win, guys. Conan for the win. Oh, we do lose the. I think we do lose the ogre again. Yeah. I, I kind of saw that coming though. But we did eliminate the uh, the second elite of that fight, so that's pretty decent, right? I have no potion though, so. It's a bit of a pickle. Um, how much damage do I do? So, this is a 55% hit or 60% hit. Mm. I have two chances of killing this. I'm just gonna go for this, just a regular attack. Yeah, okay, this works. Uh, obviously the ogre being unconscious not the best thing in the world, but the, yeah, whatever. It is what it is. So this guy here can actually reach me now. He can reach a lot of my characters and just one-shot anybody he wants, really. Obviously not a good thing either, but we have three moves now to eliminate this. So I guess we just move up and try to DPT him down before he gets to act again. Which is kind of feasible, I know, I, I guess, right? Because it looks like... I think he's just going from bad to worse. It is, this, this is guaranteed to hit, so I'm just gonna move and drop the Vortex on him. Because th this one is just gonna hit 100% of the time. And we got this though, that's very, very kind of pleasant, right? I don't know if I don't kill the corpse this way, so... Um, I, I, I don't think I care though. No, I don't. Oh, I do! Oh no, I do hit the corpse. If I do hit the corpse, I actually trigger that. That's suboptimal. Okay, so that's 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 not great. Um, yeah. We execute the move command. This is not, I'm not behind him though, right? Am I? Uh, position gives me an advantage. Maybe I'm behind. Yeah. Okay, I am. Twenty nine dead. Perfect. The ranger leveled up. Oh, we have the level up. Perfect. So, we have a lot of loot as well, look at this. Where's our amulet? I really want the amulet. Where's my amulet? You shit. Where's my amulet? Okay, there's, there are some stuff. The bandana for the for the barbarian. Ah, oh, this looks kind of okay. The potions, heal everyone. Yeah, I, I think I have to heal everyone here. Oh, that was a mistake. We used nine potions on this. Shit. Okay, I should probably have not done this. I didn't know this. I thought this was like a single potion use. I'm gonna heal him. Hey, let's, let's just do it. Fuck it. I'm not. I'm. I'm not too frugal with those supplies. I think because I tend to. Be, I tend. I tend to be way more frugal than per usual. Oh, he's gone, and so is his wheel. Yeah, this is looking okay. The only thing left of him is that amulet. It has the same symbol as that weird magic seal. Who gives a shit? It's made of gold. It's mine. 
Wait, magic items can be very dangerous. Who gives a shit? <laughs> feel so good. <laughs> Help me. No! Oh god again. Hmm. Hey, dwarf! Get back here, you make the elf happy. <laughs> We've got to get that moron back and continue on our quest. Guys, how do like the quality of the stream and the sound by the way? How is the game sound going for you? Is it too loud, too quiet? Let me know, right? Let me know in the chat. And tell me if you're enjoying yourselves as well. Uh, okay, we do have a skill tree available. We did lose the dwarf. Unfortunately. Okay, we have agility and strength and constitution, intelligence and charisma. With passive skills, this, is, this looks very complex. Very nice. Okay, perfect. Um... So, agility, precision, and dodge parry, strength, damage, constitution, health, potions, and physical resistance, intelligence, power of spells, courage, is initiative, uh, and resistance, charisma, how much you support, how much support you can get. That's a lot of attributes, that's cool, that's, that's very good. But they kind of are all explained, we already know what they do. So, impact, damage bonus linked to your strength or other attributes, precision, critical chance, stamina, astral energy protection, dodging, parrying, physical and magical resistance, max support, value, and movement. And active and passive skills, uh, when you level, you get one point each, apparently. And you have to unlock uh, the tier before to unlock the tier tiers, like the lower tiers, uh, basically. Okay. Allocate your attri your attribute points, choose your skills, and confirm the leveling process. No changes will be saved until your process until you press the button. Okay. So just like a full uh, full leveling uh, system here. So kind of you have to level everything, then make those choices, and finally you, you can just end that. Okay. Heals at melee range by applying chicken medicine. Yeah, useful as fuck. Okay. More powerful by raising intelligence. Oh, the the ability scale with with stats as well. Can I level this up now? There are no ranks to those skills. That is kind of unfortunate. I, I wish I, there were ranks. First blood. A naive hopeful strike that does double damage on targets with full HP. That looks very solid. Uh, but I feel like we need support, right? I feel like we do need the support first and foremost. So probably we'll invest into one of those. We need to unlock more. Okay, I think that the aid is better because I just need some healing available. This and is this is... He just provides... Chairs. Provides a lot of healing. Okay, heavy leather armor. So we kind of unlock some uh, some possible gear this way. Uh, right, here. He gains full courage if he's adjacent to the elf. And finally, your ranger is adjacent to the thief. He gains 10% crit chances. This is a ranged uh, ranger, and this is a melee ranger. And this is just an ultimate ranger who gains a lot of bonuses. I think he should be getting up and close, because we have like two solid ranged characters available as it is. I was only just getting this is gonna be better overall. Mm. And because like this is decent, right? You get like 10% crit chance when you're next to the thief. That's not terrible. Thank you for the follow, uh Flabbing Rushing. Welcome to the dungeon, man. Welcome to the dungeon. Nice to have ya. Uh so we're just gonna go with first aid, I think. A real leader needs real skills. Alright, so if you unlock the... Wait, wait, wait. Now you have to unlock two points in this tier to unlock the second tier then. Alright, perfect. And this is like a lot of cool things like the shield. Um, we can go like melee tanky ranger, I think. Uh, yeah, I think we'll try to go melee ranger here. Like, we go for shields and we try to kind of get the shield bash line here. I feel like taking another, in this game especially, like how powerful the attacks of opportunity are, taking that bonus uh, is, is going to be quite quite important. So, whoa, the stat points still are very important for us. So, plus two per agility is going to be precision and dodge and parry. I think we just, since we go melee, agility is more important. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna confirm this. So you go for like this kind of defensive play style then, and nobody else can level, can they? They're all level one noobs. Okay. 
my god. Okay, so we're just gonna save the game now. Hey, this was a good first fight. Like, th that was a real fight. Like, I didn't expect it to be this uh, much, you know what I mean? Like, the first fights usually are kind of like, when you're left on your own, are usually quite simplistic. This one was really hard. I'm very happy about this, because this means that we might be getting a lot of really hard combat overall in this game. Uh, we have the Chek Chekainer Tunic, which works on the Ranger. Uh, I don't know what Kainer is, by the way. If someone can in enlighten me there, it would be very nice to, to learn this. So the Elf could use the boots, I guess. This is Protection Stamina. Stamina, just Stamina. And then the... The bandana goes on the Barbarian, that's kind of a no-brainer again. And finally, this is a Ranger item with Protection 0 and 1 Courage. So basically garbage again. It, it gave us like the shoulder pads, right? So quite sweet indeed, there are no weapons available. And that amulet apparently just disappeared, so fucking hell that doesn't work for us either that well. Uh, the leather belt goes on to someone. Who, who by far is your favorite character, by the way, guys? Who, who by far is your favorite character? We're missing the belt only on this big boy, so we're just gonna give it to him now. We're gonna put some... I think bombs are okay, actually. Okay, bomb and potion it is for him. Um, she has no bomb, like, she has nothing here. Get a potion, and yeah, we're good to go, guys. We're good to go. We're good to continue the adventure. Thank you for the follow, Tsumate. Welcome to the dungeon, my man. Welcome to the dungeon. Cool to have you people. So many new faces today. Uh, I'm just going to kind of advertise a little bit as far as the Discord goes. Uh, so first of all, there is a link to our YouTube channel uh, right below. I am a YouTuber primarily. I stream as well, obviously, on, on Twitch. But I primarily am a YouTuber indeed, guys. So if you would like to check out my YouTube channel, there's a lot of cool stuff in there. Uh, I, I'm sure you'll enjoy yourselves. Uh, there is a link to my YouTube there, the Discord link. I'm just gonna post it in a second. Just need to get this from my Discord actually. Um, so let me just get the link. Uh, this is a community Discord for everybody. You can just join it with like a lot of cool things happening there, like you know, Darkest Dungeon, uh, PvP and PvE. Obviously, other games like the Dungeon here uh, of. Uh, Nahel Buick. I don't know how to pronounce it by the way, still I have no idea how to pronounce this. But I play a lot of different games. We are like primarily Darkest Dungeon focused uh, in terms of, uh, you know, just what we stream. We do tournaments of Darkest Dungeon as well. So, just keep that in mind, but I, I do stream a ton of other games. Would you be interested in some magic? We do Starcraft 2, you know, a lot of cool games really. So I invite you to join the, the community. I'd never. I'm a farm magician. Pirin. Toby Aspirin, at your service. Aspirin, okay, that's... What is that exactly? Uh, to Toby Aspirin. Perfect, that's Dofus for you again. specialized in magic pharmacopoeia, called Pharmagic. Pharmagic. Well, what's it for? Does it actually work, or is it bullshit? For example, I have amazing preparations for people who quit drinking, or to get rid of hangovers. Advent this is a rather unlikely place for a show. Well, it's cheap. <laughs> yeah, I unlikely place for this. Peanuts. I'm currently just settling in. Come back later. I'll show you some interesting magications at very affordable rates. Huh. I thought that no one had ever entered this dungeon before. Oh, quite the contrary. It's very popular. Who told you such things? Our sponsor. Some hooded guy we met at Twisted Veil. Vale. Yes, yeah, typical hiring procedure for a party of beginners. Uh, say, by any chance have you seen a dwarf? He's sort of dwarf-like. Why are we looking for him? We're doing fine without him. No, I didn't see him. But if he's small, he could be sneaking by right under our noses. We're also looking for the third statuette of Gradual Fulcrum. No, the statuette of Gladradulfa. Oh, <laughs> the of Rapadulfra. No, that's not it. It's... Oh, wait, our sponsor wrote it down on a piece of paper. Ah, the twelfth statuette of Gladulfra. Never heard of it, sorry. But you should ask around at the inn. Maybe someone will know about it. Okay, lovely. <laughs> yeah, right. Inn in a dungeon, yeah, obviously. In a dungeon? Come. An inn. Do they have ale? Some areas are open to the public. Take the stairs. You'll see for yourself. This is all a bit unnerving. Our victorious party travels forth in its quest for the statuette and their vertically challenged companion. <laughs> vertically challenged, after perfect. Taking hold of a mysterious amulet. I love it, guys. So seriously, this is so good. Okay, we explore the dungeon. We try to find the freaking dwarf, uh, if possible. Obviously, there, this is the farm magician, I guess. There, there's some lootsies. 
Can we just take it from underneath, uh, from under his nose, and hope he doesn't notice? Darkest secrets of chicken, Jesus. Bottle of laurel, yeah, obviously. Laurel, laurelin. Ah, that's a tongue twist, indeed, huh? The farm magician. What do you have for us, man? Shop. Give me items. Hey, the Dark Sluggins! We're streaming a new game! It's excellent! It's really solid. Really, really, really solid. I'm surprised, actually, but this is very good. It is extremely, extremely well done tactically so far. I mean, I have not seen the full, uh, the full of it yet, but so far, I'm really impressed by, by how cool it is, really. We are not too rich, though. Do we want to spend on bandages? Probably not, really. Health potions are expensive as fuck as well. My god, okay. Uh, can I sell something to you? I don't think I have anything I, that's kind of worth selling. Maybe some... Yeah, the bronze vase. Yeah, and this bottle of shampoo. I guess those are just miscellaneous things that we can uh, we can just uh, vendor away. But Dark Slugins, this is such a good game. I do. Yeah, I, it's, it's very strategic. Uh, very deep in terms of this, you know, combat as well. Uh, feels a bit like the XCOM situated in the fantasy Middle Ages. That's, that's very good. Like, it has really good humor as well. It's a French game, so you'd expect this kind of quirky thing to it, and it has a quirky thing to it. And I'm very happy about it, I'm not gonna lie. I'm very, very happy about it. Can we just leave the dungeon? Holy shit. I don't know, it, it just doesn't open, does it? It won't budge. Okay, so... It is very good. It is very, very, very good, guys. I am really baffled by this. I think there's if there is a monster face on the door, it means that there, you know, there, this, this is uh, no. Okay, this is just a reinforced door. I thought this was like a combat, uh, sorry, a combat encounter. Oh, the ogre can smash it, though, right? The ogre can smash it. Nope. Knock harder. Knock harder. Mm. Maybe the barbarian then? Braduka took a slog. I have a very good French friend, so she might just help me later with that. No, I didn't switch the hero. Okay, that's probably pointless. I should not be doing this. So I, I suppose you just have to, this is like a door that, you, that only opens with a lever, so you have to just kind of walk around. I, I would wager this is indeed the case here, but no, this is blocked. So how the hell do I solve this now? Is this unsolvable, guys, or is it just me? The MO, right? I think it's just me being a monkey here. This garden is not accessible yet, I think. I couldn't open the door, so we just we should we might we might as well just kind of return uh, to the dwarf. I mean, sorry, no, we have to return to the inn first, and then we'll try to explore from there. What the hell is this? Is this an elevator? But no, let's just go to the inn first because this was kind of advert sort of advertised to us. So I'm not gonna lie, I'm curious what's there. Okay, has sure, sure. Okay, thank you. So I'll, I'll obviously, if you guys want to backseat game here, it's all welcome unless you get very annoying. At which point, I will tell you that you're getting annoying and you should stop. Okay, so if if you kind of want to kind of give me advice or you know talk about the game, it's all welcome here. We are a relatively friendly community. In by rel relatively friendly, Second I mean chapter, pretty a beer, uh, friendly two curses, base. Three companions. After a pretty erratic start in the dungeon of Nahobuk, our adventurers end up in a rather strange bar, with a thirst for fresh glory and honorable ale. Or is it the other way around? Yeah. Yep, it's an actual tavern. Open to the public. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. This dungeon is so weird. This is we so weird. Around. Maybe someone's seen the dwarf. Remind me why we would want to look for him? Because in our party, no one gets left behind. Oh, there's a paladin! Oh god, there's a paladin! Maybe. Nope. The 
which one do I listen to? The scruffy half pint or the dimwit and flip flops here? Indeed, we have a dwarf companion. He's gone missing. I've been I'm gonna take the pile of paladin design in game, so we just got here. Never mind that. Who hired you? The dungeon master? As if with the co-op running this dungeon. There's an evil dwarf stealing stuff, mostly gold and ale. They want him dead. Oh, that's our dwarf. Oh, this just keeps getting weirder. And what's this about an evil dwarf? Ours isn't evil. Let's forget this weirdo and a rant about dwarves. Spin your head, son. No, 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 you can backseat, like Kimra. Do backseat. Please backseat, I'm fine with this. Down and we'll split the loot. You can spoil. Spoilers are welcome. Yeah, just admit your Please though. Forgot your book. Indulge, man, indulge. A pair of pants. I remembered everything. We even have a lighter. In any case, this could be interesting. Might be linked to our dwarf. Uh, why do you say our dwarf? He's not mine. I'm not sure we can trust her. This one seems to be a paladin of Judge Judy. Those guys only serve justice, thus they cannot lie. Okay, enough yapping, dumbasses. We'll set up an ambush in the basin room. It's in the west wing. Now move it. Hey, I'm the one who says that stuff. I'm the leader and... Oh, shit. Um, what's this about a leader? A tavern. Oh, we have a follow. I guess we have a follow. Uh, puke in the eye, Shrey. Welcome to the dungeon. Thank you for the follow, my man. Guys, remember, follow, subscribe if you haven't yet. It's a streaming party after all. So you're all welcome to, to join the dungeon. We do have the Paladin indeed, that's cool. Uh, what can I click? I want the Bard, I would like the Bard. I think that they said it was like a, a, a Bard character you can recruit. I always like having Bards on team. Okay, Lou the Evil Dwarf. I guess that's what we got to do then. That was, I, I need to save and we... Please save the game, okay? You can't save when you're moving, that's the deal. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Help the paladin. Yeah, we're, we're gonna lure the evil dwarf then. Oh! Something uh, a French-speaking person would know. I love it then. So it's good to have a French person on uh, the job here, uh, you know, and kind of talking me through those nooks and crannies of this. Okay, this is a must have all the books of the collection to put them in the book. To put them in the bookshelf. Okay, this probably unlocks something. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. No problem. I do read. It's like. I don't read French per se, but I, I do understand, you know, uh, most of the European language, languages to some extent. So I should be fine if you write something in French, especially that this one was kind of obvious. La, la musique de la taverne, it's, it's kind of, yeah. Self explanatory, really. You have some garbage loot here. Shrimp, you, I have no idea what the, what the hell that is. I could have done the icon design for all items. I kind of surprised they didn't do that. Uh, that's kind of sloppy, but you know it's not it's not hard to make icons. I uh, I can make icons even so. There is a chest and a lever there. Yep, it is. Absolutely, it is. Yep. So can read one, can read the other as well to some extent at the very least, which I can do here. There is a statue that freaking you hell is this. You always note your escape routes on a map. Okay, this does open. And once again, intellect triumphs. Hmm. Okay, we're just gonna run and loot everything. That's the way games work i think overall just run loot light armbands for the faith we still have not leveled across the board that's kind of worrying mm. okay so there is nothing here we just see the other side of the dungeon i think like the other side of this um of the corridor there so we're just gonna move through and 
and here we are. So, oh, what a pretty drawing! What is it? How the power didn't huh? That's gonna be not. That's gonna be rough, I think. That's a large area. I didn't expect this to be this large of an area, to be honest. Hi, we're looking for a statuette. Why? No, no, that's not so oh, right. A souvenir. That's right. We do have a gift. Okay. Hold on to some kind of administrative center. Hello, are you here for your accounting balance? No, we are not. If you exert a commercial activity, what's and... this about a co-op? I was expecting. There isn't. In lieu of your typical autocratic, <laughs> unfounded system based on nepotism, we have a co-op self-managed by the dungeon's employees. Thus, executive decisions are made. Sounds very specific. And all activities are notified to the central administration to undergo a performance investigation and an accounting audit. He's a warlock. He's multi I don't think we'll let you get back to work. Yeah, I wonder if there is like another caster, like spellcaster archetype available, like a healer maybe, right? Because we have a, we have a classic. Uh, this is another bookshelf, by the way. Barbarians, all books needed. We have the classic um, mage, so probably there's a, there's gonna be like this um, classic priest at the same time. I would expect no less from a game like this. So I wonder like how much of, of a party you can customize here and how much it's gonna be. Oh, this is a pyre, isn't it? It's this way. There are more dwarves here than there are pretzel sticks. Wow! Does that mean there are pretzel trees? We'll bait them out. We just need to set some gold or ale. Okay, so, evil dwarf, come on, we want some fights, we want some combat. Good, now we wait. Ready up your weapons and spells. Is it our dwarf? Yes, it is our dwarf, obviously it is. It's just cursed, lovely, lovely to see this. The axe that strikes back, Durandil, do 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 Hey, finders keepers! I love how how they kind of hid Buddy, in plain sight. Exactly like his evil twin. Hey, you bastards! You abandoned me here. Left me to die like a fly in Yakak Strong. What is he talking about? I don't know. Looks like he's dead. <gasps> Maybe it's Oh no no no! Please don't lose that wolf. I like the I like that wolf. Hmm. Deception is the better part of valor. You're not dropping that wolf out of the party, that's for sure. Enough talk, take him out! Do you think it'd be that easy? <laughs> Vengeance! Yep, 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 yep. Seriously? Seven of these swarms now? And they all stick? Yep. Anyone calls me Snow White, they get a smack in the head. Uh, now, I wish I could highlight the things that could I can attack, like the uh, obstacles that could be attacked. I don't think, I feel like this should be attackable, but I really am not sure. Like, maybe those small crates here should be possible to attack. They have, what, two crossbow guys, three crossbow guys, one at the very flank of ours here. Very high HP, all across, look at this, they have so much health. 79, 79, 54, 79, those are really, really hard opponents. Should I be higher level for this fight or something? I don't know. Mm. I also don't know what the Paladin does. Maybe she's gonna be like a better version of the other thing. Okay, I'm just gonna bank on the fact that I potentially can bash this through. I hope I can. Uh, if I can't, I'm gonna be kind of screwed. Uh, or we could just push them, right? We could push some of the some side of this, uh, and just use the ranged characters to eliminate the foes here. Looks pretty nasty, though. Like, I think I should be able to try to reach those melees um, with all my with all me all sorry with all means necessary. 
That doesn't look like an easy task. I kind of try to bunker myself as well, like behind the walls or something. Just try to wait for them to come in. Mm. That's a really interesting combat map in terms of like, I, it, there is no clear cut way of solving this fight, like instantaneously anyway. So the, the question really is, uh, who goes when? This is the evil dwarf, this is the boss, I guess, in a sense. Mm. Okay, I'm just gonna move her back a bit so that they can't reach her. Look, this guy can't walk up to me anyway, so that's the good part. Mm. I could honestly just set Overwatch as well over this and hope they they kind of run into me. That's that's another possibility. Yeah, that's tough. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna move the elf here actually. Maybe I'm exposing myself a bit. I was, I'm also, uh, sorry, I'm also gonna try to set up a perimeter and maybe, maybe get something done this way. The seven dwarves shall have their revenge. Randomia. You have access to Randomia Gauge. Randomia Influence Gauge fills up during battles with every unlucky event or failure. As it fills up, the gauge will unlock four tiers, which can be used to ask fate for leg up during the turn of one of your characters. So this is an anti-RNG mechanic, guys. This is so good. This is so good, actually. So, this character currently playing their turn gains an additional action point up to the limit of three. He is all injuries and gives health points back to the target. Instantly teleports the current character to a tile of your choice. And finally, five range, very, very long range teleport. And finally, heals one injury and gives health back to six random characters of the party. Well, this is ridiculously good. So we have an, like very solid like RNG, anti-RNG mechanic in, in play. That's really good. Now, if he wants to move into me, now he'll have to move by through, by two spots, right? Which is very good, obviously. Uh, again, the barbarian here. This is not distractible, is it? This doesn't look distractible. It's very unfortunate. I'm just gonna wait. We're just gonna wait for you. Okay, we have the Lawful Retaliation, which gives a huge parry chance. Any melee attack she parries triggers a repost. Uh, how long does it work? There is no duration here, right? There is just a cooldown. Jejudi Saka. A prior to Jejudi, that slightly raises the protection of all allies, all allies in the area of effect. That's important, right? I think we're just gonna buff up first. Uh, obviously, like, not the perfect set. I didn't know she had this ability. This is just released, you. yes. Puke in the ice tray. This is, this is just been released. Yep. I have no clue how this game works. No, those are destructible, look. Oh, no, 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 no. I didn't mean to do this, actually. Shit. Oh, this didn't crack even. This didn't either. I thought, actually, this was going to crack it. Oh no, that's a problem then. Ah oh, shit, that's not great. Mm. I, they have to walk up to me, like most of them have to walk up to me, so I can just kind of try to set up a defensive perimeter here. So oh, I should not have moved then, I think, to if I want to set up the uh, the overwatch zones. I think I should just not be moving at all. Uh, he's got to wait as well, I don't think they can reach him. I mean, the archer can, but that's kind of uh, something I have to, I have to accept. Okay, he's gonna get sh shredded really hard by all the overwatches. He has two shots on this. He, he has to move twice. Yeah, and second sh sh second shot now by the rank. No. Oh, I made a mistake then. That was very big positional mistake for me. That's gonna be a rough fight now. Hold there are no reinforcements here actually. Okay, I'm gonna get the overwatch down. And the ogre might just die. Shite. And Paladin! Nine damage taken, that's nothing. Ouch. Ouch, yeah. Okay, but he did set himself up for, for damage, so that's not bad, right? Oh, he has Overwatch, though. Oh, no.
Hmm. I can throw the bomb here, but honestly, I think this might just break the Overwatch, right? Because attacks don't. I don't think attacks in this game trigger Overwatch. Also, did did remove this? Do we have Overwatch still? No. See. So that was actually very good for me, because this did actually remove the overwatch. I can go in melee with this guy now, which is also good. I didn't know the bomb would actually do all this. I would have already used it like 10 times if I, if I had known. We do have a trigger again, so he shoots. That's very good. She lost the overwatch, by the way, from the uh, crossbow and uh, that's not great. Obviously not great, so... Uh... I have two choices here, really. I can just try to walk up here and try to do damage to this guy. And I'm still taking cover in this case, or I could just kind of walk up there. But I think I'm just going to try to damage this one here. Especially that that does this act, sorry, that this does indeed lock him down in place. That's quite important to me, in fact. I hope he doesn't stun me here. No, he actually just locked her down, but I, I can move her, right? I can just use, use this to move her. Okay, so the Overwatch is basically uh, not really that useful anymore. I think I'm just going to heal. No, I think I shouldn't be healing. I think I could either delay the turn of this guy. Uh, how far can you move? Not really far. Uh, damn it. Alright, I think we just want to remove this guy from the fight if possible. Like the... Um, yeah, that's a solid um, position. If the ogre dies to this, I can always just try to protect him with the... Um... Actually, I should just drop this. I should just drop the defensive buff again. Just get everybody... A little uh, mathematical edge, I think that's gonna work quite well for me. This does 18 to 26 at 48 accuracy, and this does. That's even. That's actually very good. This is so much damage. And since he's ranged, I can just move behind him and just backstab his ass, which obviously just does very decent things for me. So we just go for. Oh no, barbarian, you stupid shit. Oh, he knocked himself down. <laughs> No, okay. Lethal Hammer of Justice. Uh, yeah, we go We go for it, I think. We have to just do it. Uh, so, I mean, she's tied up by two opponents and flanked. No, she. I, this is better, because she's going to be attacked now. So she does have the repose. I just end the turn, I'm fine. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wait now. Man, this is such a good complex game, though. Holy shit, I didn't expect this to be so good. Uh, since he's kind of under a lot of um, pressure, I think I'm just going to turn around first. Like, face my adversary here, and then I'm just going to drop the defensive stance. There's eight protections, a lot of damage reduction overall. And I'm just going to attack this now. I mean, I'm just going to attack this now. Yeah, this is indeed that. This is so good. This game actually just... Is just ridiculously good. Yeah, this is a CRPG, like isometric RPG plus, you know, turn based combat, like solid turn based combat. Okay, I can just go back behind this asshole now and just stabby stab him in the. What is he facing? I think he's facing that way. I can just easily go there, especially that this kind of keeps the rogue uh, safe. I am loving the hell out of this game, actually. Dagger, stabby stab. Okay, love it. Oh, there, that's gonna be the. Oh no! Whoa! Okay, 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 okay. That's not good. Oh yeah, that's not good. We're oh, we're getting shafted by those melees here. I thought they were just. Did you take me for a fool? I thought they were gonna focus the paladin, but they just kind of moved around. He he crit fails as well. Oh my god. Yeah, he kicks my Barbarian. Mm. That's gonna be rough though. That's such a rough fight actually. I, I mispositioned super heavily. I, I know what I'm supposed to do now though. Because I should just kind of destroy those and just kind of fortify my position there. Maybe use the Rogue as a... Uh... Yeah, kind of take some attention of the, of the enemies of the Rogue. Just kind of use him as a uh, deception here. Maybe he had, no, he didn't attack me. See, this kind of prevented the attacks from coming down. That's kind of bad, actually, for me. 
Uh, right, so we can attack this now, I guess. I mean, I do have that. I can I can heal her now. That's also important to just kind of get her back up on her feet. But um, yeah, this thing just acts before, so I think I might just. Um, I'm just gonna attack this. Take this chicken shit. Mm. He's gonna take multiple attacks of opportunity if he does move. So this doesn't make sense. I wish I could teleport him now. This that's such a bad position for the man. So I'm just gonna face forward. Like I, I have to take a backstab from one of them. That's basically all I have. Man, this crit fail was really annoying. He doesn't lose the turn on this though. That's okay. So this is fine. He didn't lose the turn. Which I was really afraid he was gonna, so that that's actually fine. Oh yeah, that, was, that 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 was so annoying though. That crit fail was really annoying. Uh, we do get a smash now on this. I need to invest in precision on this guy because he's just so so hit and miss. Uh, okay, the pal the paladin doesn't have any energy left. Okay, that's curious as well. I didn't expect this to be the case, but she has no energy at all. Okay, there's gonna be a lot of. All right, that was a mistake. I didn't know. He... Okay, that was a very big mistake actually. Two attacks of. Oh, that's really bad. I'm also gonna. I think I'm gonna just die here then. And she gets this damage, but that's just not enough. And yeah, does she have this? No. Repose. Oh, she gets critical parry. And she gets a lot of damage back. Okay, that's a very good repose. Pretty freaking solid. Now, okay, we can try. Because he has a lot of damage with very low accuracy, so this is not a good idea to hit this. I can just try to hit this, though. Good. The okay, lunch perfect. Is the whips. Um, I could actually activate this again. Hmm. Okay, we can just end turn and wait, though, I think. That's, I have nothing better to do here, honestly. Um... I could delay this as well. I don't know if this is smart because I could try to eliminate one of the opponents using. Uh, I, can, I think I should just wait. Because if I wait, I potentially could just resurrect the arch and just use her to kill something. No, she's gonna miss out on the turn this way. That's the, so I have no real good option here. So I can either attack here now. Ah, there's nothing good I can attack. Though. This is kind of meh. It's a meh, meh target, guys. Uh, the rogue is gonna kill this, right? So that's kind of sorted. Like that part of combat is kind of solved, but this part isn't. This this part is really on the rope still. Mm. I have no bombs on her either, so I feel I feel like healing might be a very bad decision here overall. I'm gonna take cover first of all because this is like the best position she can be in. And I'm just gonna use the healing ability, because the ranger is healthy, like, if someone dies, your ranger can kind of bring them back. I'd really prefer to have her alive as well, if possible, so we go for a stabby stab now. And this is a takedown as well, and we can just go, uh, maybe take cover again here, just kind of, you know, try to use the assassin to do the assassin-y things. So, yeah, it's probably reasonable. Okay, so probably the Paladin dies now, that's a very big problem for this party. She, she gets those parries, because she got like a lot of parry from the from that skill I activated. So actually like they're trying to kill her and it's paying dividends, like she she smashed everybody. Oh no, no, the Ogre is dead again, fuck. But as I said, Ranger can bring him back, so that's not a big problem. And that's, that's just gonna work. If she lives now, which I think she does, I can't use ranged attacks with her because she is in melee with three freaking guys. Uh, yeah, the, this is just not gonna work. I wish I could. T oh, there is only one thing that there is one one opponent that can actually hit her now. So that's fine. Thank you for the follow, Warpster. Welcome to the dungeon, my man. Welcome to the dungeon. So there is one attack of opportunity on her. So I can potentially just do it. Right? I can just try to wiggle my way out of this. Please don't take a hit. Dodge. Oh yes. Okay, she did it. She did it. Our. My friend Elf. Okay, we get the ricochet two kills now. Watch out. Oh, she hit the fucking wizard, but she didn't kill the dwarf. That's bad. That's actually bad. Oh my god, no. No, 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 no. Okay, she's fine, she's fine. Oh, that's, that's kind of getting frisky now. 
Uh, right, but... No, wizard is dead. Fuck. Dodge. Miss. Yikes, that's bad. This is unequivocally bad. Okay, so we need to bring someone back here. Uh, but I have to bring up, bring back the ogre, because if I bring back somebody else, it's just gonna be a lot of trouble for me. Like, I can't run here, because I, I do take way too much punishment for, for that action. And now the barbarian, Conan, go for it. Just get it done, please. Um... I mean, I can try to bring her back, can't I? Okay, so this works. So this actually brings back allies as well, so this is okay. I can just uh, move around and just get like a little smash on this guy now. 58%, please just get this done. Okay, nice. So this is nice. So we can get a stun down as well now. And maybe on the, on the boss. Oh, never mind. She has no mana. I think I'm just gonna... Add the buff is gone, but this is a two-turn buff. Uh, uh, right, so I think I should just defend this. I, d I have no means of healing for a while, so I'm just gonna defend for for a while. Uh, I think this was a correct call. She would have died for sure now she's alive, uh, at least for a bit longer, which obviously is a good thing, right? Uh, I can knock this guy into this guy as well. That's gonna be very good. Look at this. No, it's not gonna be a good thing. It's gonna be a garbage thing because he just fucking missed. I didn't fill up. Where's my Randomia bar? Okay, I didn't get much from this, huh? Okay, so we have a chance to get multiple kills by just dropping this AoE here. I mean, multiple. You can get a single kill on this uh, if I if I drop the AoE. Or I can just kind of harm everybody and, you know, finish one opponent off. And no, uh, that's a bad idea, right? So I, probably this is the best, although I could just try to finish this guy off as well because he's going to be a pain in the ass later. Man, that miss was so annoying. Like, I really need to invest in accuracy for those bo for those boys. Um, I, mean, I could just hit everybody, but it's, that kills the paladin, so probably a very bad idea overall. I'm just gonna go for it like this. I'm just gonna drop the AoE here. Toga, swala, bozwaza! Entropy at work here. What happened with stealth? Yuck. Oh my jord. Okay, that was bad. That was crippling bad luck. Seriously, oh god, I'm so frustrated. I have no idea how frustrated I am. Yeah, we can go for a stabby stab. That, that kind of gave, gave us a lot of randomia influence now, though. Now, we, we actually, when we play D&D, like, we, okay, we play, like, the pen and paper RPG, we have a very same system of cards. Like, if you get super unlucky, you kind of turn a card around and it kind of gives you a buffer for... That kind of allows you to re-roll, and then the game master can re-roll for for himself as well later, just kind of alleviating that bad luck. So you can kind of play with luck. Here. They're doing this very nicely. This system is super sweet. I like it so much. The the fact that you can kind of alleviate bad luck using uh, using this. Okay, so I'm just gonna move around and get my my assassin in position. No. Ouch. This is fine, right? I don't know why this is fine, but this apparently is fine. Uh, so you move him here, we go, we go for this, because this is like an yeah. easy kill uh, for us, and this also means like we don't take any bonus damage. Bingo! Okay, bingo indeed. Okay, so this is a dead wolf, and there is another one here that's almost dead. Uh, obviously this is gonna be a bit punishing. Very punishing. We go for very punishing, right? That was very punishing. Uh, and now the elf is also kind of exposed. I, I, don't, I really don't want to move her around too much. Uh, I probably should move her out of anything. Can anybody reach me here? Yeah. Nobody can reach me here though. So I'm just gonna move back all the way here and I'm going to just shoot. I think that's the, the only reasonable thing I can do. I mean, this Arbalest hit me this, or the Arbalest, the, sorry, Darkest Dungeon speaks here. Uh, this crossbow unit here is really annoying. So I'm just gonna keep him uh, in check. Okay, we get smashed a little bit here by this crossbow man. And uh, no, 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 no. Okay, he's alive. Okay, that's that's good. Cause like I'm kind of struggling for position here. If I can just keep these guys alive for a little longer, I'm just gonna win the fight by you know sheer attrition. But yeah, that's that's basically the deal. Um. So 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 so. Have I not activated a stance? I think I did. The maneuver was up. 
Now, I really don't want to leave those guys, right? Because this is really on, on knife's edge here. So I probably should be attacking, if anything. Because uh, the Barbarian can dispose of this. I'm pretty... No, I'm not confident at all she, that he can do it, but he should be able to dispose of that. So he is flanked by four characters. Partial parry, that's shit. Um... Maybe this blocks something at least. Also, maybe attracts this enemy to, to target me here. Uh, no. He has been trying to smash this for a long time, by the way. This has been a long run for him, and he still hasn't been able to do anything. Okay, so we can stun someone. Uh, I think this is reasonable to go for this. This is 100% stun. Uh, sounds okay. It does go down, and she is on 1 HP in melee. But this guy is stunned, right? He's stunned. No, he isn't. He's weakened. Fuck, I thought he was gonna get stunned, so he has like some resistance to this. I hate to see it though. So I'm gonna move out, I guess, like so that. Oh no, 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 this guy actually triggers attack, so I, I just have to enter now. Oh, no. That's not a random game, though. It's a new game. It's very famous now uh, in France, I think. So you have a lot of people who kind of got by the advertisement. I'm very happy, though. Like, this is the second game ever that gets a lot of viewers. Oh, but he has so little. I'm just gonna drink a potion, I think. This was a whirlwind attack, by the way. This actually killed a lot. So that's not a random game by any means. I would say this is the opposite of a random game, actually. Oh, the accuracy was low because he was on low HP. That's why. Okay, 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 okay. So I could try killing this, I guess. 49% to hit. Man, that's shit. Uh, that's, a, that's an old time French classic, so that's not a random game. I think we might have better luck with this than with Baldur's Gate 3 because there are not so many streamers. And yeah. Uh. I just like these games as well, so I think like people just stay because they enjoy themselves, at least to some extent. Guys, if you are enjoying yourselves, please remember follow, subscribe, also join our Discord, which I'm providing here uh, on the chat right now. You should be able to have the link uh, in front of you right now. You should be able to see it. Follow, join the community. We have a lot of cool stuff going on in the community itself. So... Um, 54%. I'm gonna take my chances here. She gets this, she gets this, because this animation means she's gonna get the kill. Now, I think Elf just, uh... In your dreams. Uh, uh, so you have, like, I have a very good bow on the Ranger, I think. He got an upgrade before, so I think I'm just gonna keep that one on him. Uh, okay. How likely is it to hit? 82%. I'm just gonna use this. So she gets like additional action this way. Action economy, guys. Action economy. So we kill the evil dwarf. I wonder if this actually wasn't a big mistake. Maybe there's like kind of a plot armor here. Or like the kind of an uh, you know event that triggers, you know, we can actually the procs meaning that she Oh no, she missed. You know, you kill the dwarf and like the entire fight just goes away. Maybe that's the case, I don't know. Man, I'm actually losing this fight, I think. Fuck, I'm losing this, ain't I? Ah, okay, he is alive, he's alive. That's the, that's the important bit, because I really needed him to just stick around for, for a bit longer. Uh, okay, so... He has a healing potion, we can just bring back the rogue now. Or just heal himself, right? That's another very solid option, really. But this is like another turn that I get this way, at least. And he's alive, so I, 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 take, I absorb a single attack. And I can just hide somewhere, even. Um, where do I fucking hide, though? I can't. I, I can just go here. But he'll reach me here, so I can just go behind this, this dwarf at best. As a sad part, really. Uh, I have no healing available on the uh, on the barbarian either, but I can just go ha go melee now. Finally, can just use the ability uh, in melee. I've been missing so many attacks, though. Oh, no, it was a mistake. I didn't know... Oh, fuck. I thought this was still my movement thing. Oh my god, he died for that. I thought this was still my movement range. It obviously wasn't, right? So, Oh, that's so sad. Please, just get this. Okay, he gets the kill. He gets the bop now. 
Okay, so this didn't end the fight. That's unfortunate. Okay, I'm gonna pass now. Yeah, because I need to keep this guy tied up in the in melee. That would be fucking optimal. Oh, we win this now. It's fine. No. That's a hard fucking. Go this game is so hard. Actually, I'm surprised by how hard it is. Okay, so yeah, obviously orange means that I can't. Um, can't move an attack. Orange is a sprint range, and blue is a normal normal movement range. You just kind of didn't. Um... What the fuck? Oh, he's not. Oh, we're not behind him now. Fuck! I thought I was gonna be behind this. Oh, this is crit. Beautiful. Twenty-seven damage. Very good. Very good. Very good. Okay. Now, yeah, that's just gonna be Olga taking some punishment. I have a heal coming up soon on the wizard, though, so it's gonna be okay, I think. Uh, obviously, cannot ricochet this anymore. And I'm just gonna go and try. It has to kill, by the way. It just has to kill now. 82% very likely to get this. Oh, that's. Oh, that's what you mean, Dexy. Okay, this is actually possibly the case. Yeah, I might have just actually wanted to switch those items around. That's true, then. Yeah, you're, you're absolutely correct on that. I could have used that for sure. Man. Oh, no, she missed. Okay, we have this guy here. And I think I can just absorb damage here, just, you know. We have 22 HP, so I should probably just guard this now. So that, you know, he just tanks. Uh, yeah. I go up and I'm gonna resurrect the uh, the Paladin because she's more useful than the Barbarian. I have really mixed feelings about the Barbarian, by the way. She, like, she has quite decent damage, sure, but his accuracy is just atrociously bad. Like, this is beyond any bad expectations I would have had. Like, it's just terrible. It's just plain trash. Yeah, this is confident. Like, 83% is good. And he gets it. Like, he did so much work this fight. And it's a miss because he's guarding as well. That's very solid. Okay, so we got this finally. The, man, this game. Look at this. This is like the intro zone. Like, this is the act number two. It's so hard. Actually, this is such a hard game. Yep. And the misses. I feel like they, they could have given a bit more impact on animations. That's the only thing, like, graphically that I mind. Uh, so, yeah, the animations could have had, like, a bit more, you know, the oomph to them. But other than that, it's just such a good product. I'm so happy that I, I bought this game, actually. It is a really good, guys. Really good game. Okay, he crashes with terrain this way. Man, he missed this for the second time in this fight. Again, he needs accuracy as hell. Like, really hard. I just need to get him some accuracy. That's really painful. Like, he might just die for this as well. Okay, we go behind him now. Oh my god, he, this guy just dodged every attack. Like, literally every attack. I think there's a button to speed up the combat as well. I think I can just do it after this fight. There should be like all games, like all turn based games have this. So I'm just gonna try to speed up the combat, speed like the animation speed a bit, because I think, I think it's just gonna be better this way. Okay, I like the Paladin very much. I'm not a big fan of the Ogre so far, honestly. So if I could drop him, I probably would, right? I probably would drop the Ogre there. I, I don't think that's, that's on the cards, though. So we just go for, for an attack. And it's 28 damage. And I can just... I think she has decent accuracy. So I'm just going to speed up and go for another strike here. Take this thing down. Wow, alright, perfect, perfect. Victory it is, we made it through this fight. This was a really hard one. We have a crossbow. Oh, Paladins can use crossbows, and the Rogue can use a crossbow as well. I didn't know that he had a ranged uh, weapon available. And we have mining armbands, that's good for dwarves, I guess. Take all it is. And that's a lot of XP. Look, every no, the Elf has leveled up, the... A pilot has leveled up to three, I think. She was two only before this. And these guys are like shit still. They're really far behind. I can't heal everyone. That's the that's biggest deal. Like, I have no potions? And it's like really sketchy. Well, congrats, morons. Justice has been dealt. <laughs> Jesus. Didn't think you could pull your weight. Thought I'd just be using you as meat shields. Hey, that's mean. We could 
been hurt. What the hell is going on? It's like going through a troll's latrine. I've been through the ringer. Ah, you must have lifted the curse by destroying those abominations. <laughs> That'll do He's just gonna go for it again. Look. See? Look, look. I wasn't bullshitting. He's just gonna go for the amulet again. Well, Absolutely, he's gonna go for it. Up. We're looking for a cursed it. statuette. Not right now. Gotta collect the bounty. I'll find you as soon as I have the gold. We'll talk about your statuette then. In the meantime, go to the VIP room at the inn. Always full of wizards and money bags. Wizards, huh? Do you think they could give us some intel? Never know if you don't ask, right? Worst case, they don't talk. You go take for a dwarf. Faces in. You have it in you. Nope. Go for the amulet again. Dorks. I that that's such an edgy paladin, by the way. Us. I think she'll keep her word. Paladins can't go around breaking oaths, especially when they serve justice. What yeah, sure. Life. How do they ever manage to stay true to their word? Yeah, better elaborate on that one. Later, maybe. Pinky swear. <laughs> the amulet is still on the Go way. for a dwarf. Go for it. VIP room. Maybe they'll be poets and musicians. That's a decent ill. We can plunder. We'll see about that. But try not to be so dead. <laughs> Jesus, yes. Everyone ready? Let's go for Plundering is it. Plundering it is. He's got oh the, the row goes for it now. No, please. Oh Jesus. No. I know what they're doing, so they're like some side heroes that you can take. And they just did this so that I uh, the player would be forced to take more heroes on the run, so they kind of ex kind of can experience all those multiple characters first before making up their mind. That's that's kind of a good uh, good idea design wise, because like people tend to stick to, stick to the first characters they say, and they never experience the full game that way. So what she do, what, what they did here obviously is that they kind of pivoted here they they force you to take some different characters on those short encounters like to those short scenarios uh which indeed means that you kind of experience more of the game overall altogether bushy huh hey book off we're busy we who's we me and my astral double what strange way? so good not surprising for an what kind of astral double perfect parries I can dodge every attack thanks to my ethereal double. So you're. So I'm well above all that. What I'm doing is called innovative sensory. So you wave your arms around and act all high and mighty. Nothing can touch me, even high-level <laughs> attacks. Okay, you go. Haha, <laughs> nice work, bud. You got him good. And how? Please don't be a combat encounter. No, it's not. Okay, we can just loot the arms room now. That's very good. Bandana of, of charismatic leadership. Mm, precision only. I thought this is gonna be more than this. Limp Great Hammer. Like uh, this can go on the Paladin app apparently. Okay, that's a riddle, obviously as well. Let's see the room. Maybe there is some hint here. There are three. There are those. Uh, I don't know. Maybe this is just a because those are ballista type. No, never mind. There's a guy who's. Uh, He's crying. No, they're all like that. They're all the same. Oh, those are ballista. Those, those are just tails, actually. Maybe just kind of make them face the... The inside of the room would do something. No, not really, huh? The outside of the room? Um... Maybe this one can kind of face the other one, other way around though. Nope. Hmm. Curious. Any ideas, guys, as to what I should be doing with this? Open the suggestions. Also, I think I should close the window because it's getting cold, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Okay. So be right back, guys. Be right back. Adventure time, friends! Because it's pretty warm, but the evenings are getting quite cold in Poland. So, let's continue. Let's see what we have here. I, I bet this is a riddle, right? It's, it's got to be a riddle. Just I don't know how to solve it. So, are they the same? Are they identical? 
Maybe they're not. No, I think they might be identical, right? Yep, yep, and... and they, got, they got to be identical, so there has to be a way around this. Hmm. Is it about the pedestals? I have no idea. Okay, let's just get the item sorted first anyway. Let's just kind of go back to that later. There's a crossbow here that works for the um, paladin who just left and the rogue who is gone as well. It actually works on the dwarf actually. That's pretty good, okay. That's pretty good then. I need this on the dwarf. This works on the... Um, yeah, that's actually pretty decent as well. The ogre. 40... Wait, he can't equip it though. Oh, he needs a specific passive skill to equip it, okay. The bandana of charismatic leadership, so this goes for him. Okay, perfect. We have the mining armbands for the dwarf, and this is the thief item, so... Oh, no per. Alright, so... We have no armor, actually. Whatever, I know, it's just rusty dwarven armor, basic stuff. We have tattered cloth belt, so he can actually equip it and get some... Uh, potions on. Uh, we're just so low on potions though. So, combat potions it is. For every ball they I uh, can drop them on. Uh, I think Dwarf is actually okay with a bomb or something. You can actually use food items as well. Like, maybe you could just save the potions for actual healing. Potion. And just. Ah, my bad. Yeah. I don't really have that much stuff yet. Okay, back to those statuettes then. Those dragons are facing the other way around, so maybe they should be just all facing the... No, I did this already, right? I think, that, I think there are like dragons on those, on those flags. They're just facing inwards. It's quite odd though, honestly. Wait, unless they have to be facing those, uh... Oh, yes. Okay, so nothing happened. See, I knew this. So I, I noticed that... Th there are no accidents. They had to face this, uh... You know, uh, training dummies. That was the solution. Okay, cool. Because this one faces this one, this one faces this one. There's another one there. So that was the regularity in the room. Whoa, okay, we have some good items. Holy fuck. Okay, bow of correction. That's a very solid item. And the plated armor for the dwarf. I like it. Booyah, guys. Booyah. We have good gear. Dwarf gets, like, you know, goes up a notch in terms of Can get another one? item tiers. So this is free protection. This is five. And fizz resistance, too. So he's less likely to knock down and such. And this is the okay bow of correction. And this is 15 to 20 toe damage. Uh, this is 10 to 17. It's kind of, she uses different types of bows then. She uses the lame ass bows, right? She can't be using these. So it's, it's gotta go here. And then the barbarian can take the, the weaker bow, because he is still like a, uh, I think, the more reliable character overall. Okay. Now we can go back, uh, we can go to the skill tree as well, just uh, level up the elf. So elf has cheering kiss. It's a healing ability. A long shot which does damage the kind of a long uh, ranged attack, very nice. Plus five precision with a bow. I'll get poison, gains plus six charisma, plus an agility, very solid stuff. So she has a lot of accuracy there. Gets an additional overwatch shot. Okay, that's like heavy from um, from Gears Tactics, really cool. Plus five impact, plus three courage, and as long as the elf is behind cover range attacks targeting her, get 15% precision penalty. I'm, I'm gonna go for this reliable bit here, honestly, because I just need that. 
And again, I think I, like, I have enough healing. She has to be offensive. Like She's going to be our glass cannon here. And uh, she has been missing a bit. So impact works. I think impact has to work on the elf as well. But again, I feel like... Hmm. I think strength will work on her, right? It will improve her impact. Or doesn't it improve the impact? Like, is like ranged attack, our ranged attacks not not possible to improve at all? In terms of damage, that would be kind of shitty. I'm gonna save these, but I just have to go back to the points again. Uh, so does bow have impact? It is damage, right? I don't think this, this, this works as, as ranged then. So... Constitution. Health points and leveling, so plus 5% per constitution point over 10. She's so squishy, right? So maybe just going for this isn't that bad of an idea. I have no idea if this works like this. That's, that's kind of a big question, really, because they, they don't explain this. Like, this is physical damage, right? This is fizz damage for sure. Like, the the bow does physical damage. It's just a question of where strength actually helps or not. I can just kind of... Um, there is no information either about, like, what it scales with, right? Because some skills, like, have this information, like, you know... Scales of charisma, scales with uh, agility or, or something like that, right? It just doesn't do it here. Mm, it's kind of surprising that they don't have it here. So... See this one, its power varies depending on us charisma. Uh, I don't know about range the tags though, so... And it's gonna be 2 HP, 3 HP more. And some stamina per turn, so maybe that's, that's not that bad actually, because stamina, stamina is a, a resource she, she uses. I'm just gonna go for this, because there's like some resource regeneration, she'll be spamming skills. That's not terrible at all, so... Yeah, that's good, we, we did solve a riddle then. Uh, Let's update the map. And we can just go like bottom and we went to co-op before so you can just kind of go through here and yeah. I love this game guys. Yeah, okay, that's true, that's true biker. Okay, so we have kind of decided on a, on, on a few things at least. Okay. Uh, he needs a talent or something for that, I guess. Ha, you whip. So he can't bash yet. He will probably be able to bash later. Uh, important to wait for that then, I guess. I really don't want to get into a fight because I will just instantaneously lose any engagement. Granted that all those guys are really hurt, right? Probably need to rest first. If I can rest at the end, I would rest. I don't think anything bad can happen here, like this is just a, a safe area, right? So I'm just gonna try to explore as much as I can. Get some loot disease. I'm a lot of astral regeneration, that's good for the mage. Basic spell for basic wizards and some money. Okay, we definitely put this on the wizard because she ran out of energy, I think. I think she was the one who to, to run out of energy, so this is important to kind of have this. Mana region always a big deal in games, right? Just keeping the resources available to yourself. Important as hell. We have no trap detection, by the way, so okay, this is also barred. So I can't quite get through this yet. Uh, plot armor on the door, probably. Uh, this was blocked as well by the... Um... Uh, that's also blocked, shit. And there is a guy here. Does he just a god? Villagers, guards and such. 
Jeez. Looking pretty cool. Where are you cool. going with all that stuff? Preparing for the 4th of July? No, no, not at all. We are currently on a very important adventure. Ha! Adventure ain't that easy, what with all these monsters. Oh, by the way, name's Mel Boots. I run this place. <laughs> Another Atlas weirdo, just what we needed. I was once an adventurer, till I got an arrow. Ah, so this here Jesus, no. No, no. Yep. Well, not this kind of reference, you know, please. We knew how to wield a sword and walked a lot more. Never whined about it either. Yeah, well. And monsters were stronger, and we didn't have all this magic. <laughs> yes. And there were no fate points. Yes. Anyway, keep fighting the good fight. Free round? I say no to that. Finally, a friendly person. Still, I think he just called us wimps. You're too sensitive. Fuck off and die, chicken shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is so nice. On, the writing in this, this game, game is brilliant, is brilliant so have far. To get inside the VIP room. Could you help us with that? I'd love to. You're a likable bunch, but I can't. The VIP room is under co-op rule, and only the bouncers decide who's allowed in. What? You just told us you were the boss of this place. Believe it or not, but even I got bounced. They told me I looked like a dingleberry. Anyway, one last round before the road? We're in a bit of a hurry. I've got a fine wine from Waldorg's Hills that'll blow your hey, mind. Hey, that's lovely. If you're looking for some tips, just come to me. I know everyone around here. Tips? The bartender gives clients tips here? Uh, rest is 50 gold. We, we have to rest now. Wait, we don't have 50 gold? That would be ridiculous. They have 275 gold. What the freaking hell then? What is the problem? I just need to rest. Okay, it doesn't yet work. Maybe maybe it has to kind of become an option later down the line or something. I don't know. Okay. Maybe they'll just let for the wizard does. Keep going looking like a bunch of bumps. Well, sir, I bid you to hear that we're awaited inside, my good man. Ha! And I'm Gizor's stepsister. Well, uh, nice job hiding your tentacles. What? Uh, only rich people, powerful wizards, and famous artists can get in here. Precisely. We come in the company of an elven artist. Yes, I'm talented with both my voice and the flute. Just thinking about it makes me want to buff. Go suck a rock, sure. <laughs> Sorry, clowns aren't allowed in. Oh, my Wait, God. We also have a powerful wizard. Yes, um, I've mastered the arcanes of wizardry. Yeah, right. You still have the robes of a novice in acne on your schnoz. Jesus. Go on, get. You're polluting the money bag's air. Ah, that's trouble. I won't get in easily without a powerful wizard. Or we could just bash their skulls in. They look well trained and will sound the alarm quickly. It's the one flicker's fault. She looks like a chimney sweep. Uh, well, wizardry takes a very long time to master. He told us an artist would do. Maybe we could find a painter? My cousin Oilspill was a cavern painter. As he always said, with Oilspill, three coats will fit the bill. <laughs> huh. I think we'd better look for someone more along the lines of a bard. Actually, there's a minstrel here next to the stage. They hate Oh, I knew it. See, I told you guys, there's the, there's the plot device. They, they just did it on purpose. They just get through the bard Which now. You'll just you kind of use about? the bard for later. Oh, again with your imaginary friend who supposedly eats what's in your bags? So by what I've seen so far, I'd probably drop the elf and get the uh, get the bard, or get the paladin at least. Hello, we're looking for an artist who can sing. We don't need a demonstration. A mute singer will do. Oh, what a lovely company! <laughs> Ragtag but determined, courageous yet much. We could, we'd be lost. Oh my god! Like that he has a list, right? Doesn't he have a list? Village. That was a long time ago. The seasoned adventurer. Paul Bard. I'm an ice troll fartist. Chickens, chickens. Shut yeah. up, or I smack you. The massive just can't fathom the works of great yeah. artists. Anyway, he does have the lift guy. The Indeed, he does. He can't do so without the company of. I see. I guess you could help me in return. <laughs> no, 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 please. Do it. We won't join your choir. Okay, the Bard is out. We're not getting to sing with him. Surprising. And you want us to lend them a speak? No, I. Save me from those brutes, and I'll get you into the VIP room. I'm stuck in this inn for fear of meeting my untimely demise. 
Sounds like a fair deal. Marvelous. It's most important that you stay close to me. They could jump us at any moment. Not too close. I don't want to trip over your shower curtain. In order for you to gain entry into this domain of the ostentatiously wealthy, I suggest uh, no. that we find you some fresh garments. You don't want to look like this plebeian. There's nothing wrong with my armor. You would need the robes of the master of the arcane at the very least. Make your That's true. You can judge a wizard by its cover. Conjurers of cheap tricks are often seen moping around halflings wearing tattered rags with crappy staffs and lousy hats. The dungeon's basement holds oh, all the rings again, right? It's all the rings again. It's Beautiful. Closed, Beautiful stuff, guys. She'll open the door if we do the secret knock. A knock on her skull? How boorish. No! I do want to rest now. Can I please rest at the end now? I do get the rest. Perfect. So, all wounds healed, everybody safe and sound. That's good. So, we can go to. Go to the shop. Oh, to that shop. Okay, perfect. Let's see the minstrel. I just want to see the skills before. Okay, he also has a point I can add. No, yeah, he, he has four characteristic points. So, Thunderous Attack that cancels all pos positive alterations on your target. Oh, this gives him impact as well. Initiative. Raises magical resistance, astral regen. This is charisma, so this gives you more damage. Lots of support you can benefit from an attack, it is obvious. And priestesses, there's priestess, see, there's also pri priestess here. I'm gonna go all in on this, though he might be super squishy. Yes, no, he has 55 HP, that's more than enough. And the ability, so we have this harmonious ballad, which is a terrible chord progression, a character in the area. Of it has a 50% chance of getting stunned, it takes like damage. That's very big AoE as a look at this kind of a nice cone. So you can stun a lot of enemies with this if you kind of aim it right. Um, guitar swing, that's just a melee attack, isn't it? Cancels all positive alterations on your target. And so you can kind of remove all the buffs, right? It's kind of good. So next to Elf plus 3 Charisma, next to the Ogre plus 5 Protect. You can actually melee him then, like if you are next to the Ogre, you're pretty much safe, right? It's pretty, pretty cool. And he is using a bow and an instrument. Both very solid items actually, as well, so that's pretty cool. Okay, so far so good guys. Can I open this door now, or is it still kind of locked out for me? I can open the door, look. I think, I'm thinking it might have never been locked out though. Okay, that's the third book of the Barbarian series. A porn scroll, okay. Oh, that's unexpected. Uh, now, we might have some of those books, right? How many Barbarians do we have? Barbarians 1 and 3, not 2 though, right? Not 2, yep. There are a lot of collecting to do still, I guess. Can just lift ourselves down or up, I guess. I suppose that's how it goes. Ah, oh, no, 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 that's wrong. I'm supposed to go to the basement, actually. Shit, that was a mistake. Guy, that was a mistake. I'm sorry. We're loading to the wrong part of the dungeon, apparently. Uh, so, have any of you bought the game, by the way? Have any of you actually tried it before? Or is it like, are you just kind of looking at the stream and trying to decide if you should buy it or not? That's this kind of... Uh, I was actually thinking about buying this as well, because I do love the turn-based games. I was actually disappointing so many times by them at the same time recently, because they turned out to be extremely shallow a lot, but this one looks so exciting. So, yeah, basically that's, that's the deal. I am in the right room, though, ain't I? No, this is wrong. That's incorrect. Okay, so basement it is. So I wasn't really sure if I should be buying this or not. Uh, but it looks very solid so far. It's, it's kind of convincing to me anyway that this is a pretty good game at the very, very least, right? So, yeah. 
pretty happy that you know it did turn out the way it did. Like combat is ridiculously hard, and that's basically the selling point for me. Like, if you can make combat good enough for um, uh, for me to kind of feel challenged, then it's it's already kind of a winner. I hope it doesn't, because like some games had this issue. Like, I know if you guys played the Tower of Time, but that game had this very very big problem Here we are. where let me try the secret knock. Yeah. Where it just kind of lost the difficulty very quickly. Like it was very hard at first, and then like the, all the fights became just extremely easy and just not challenging at all. So it kind of Would killed the some of our magic objects and weapons. The no, pleasure in playing no. that. Well, come back when you aren't. No, no, hang on. We can pay. Wait, wait, hold on. We do have some gold. <laughs> oh no. Ouch! Hey, back off. My gold stays in my pockets. I have idea. My god, the Barbarian. I have not seen Barbarian do anything yet. He's just gonna... You again? Oh, oh Jesus you. fuck. <laughs> I knew it! I knew it! <laughs> oh, it did! Oh my god, this is so beautiful, look at this! Bracelets or some hair bands? Oh my god, that was so good! What could make me look like a master <laughs> wizard? Oh, yeah, that did it so well! I love the French game so much! Look at the dungeon shop, all what's left of it. Thanks to the barbarian infiltration technique, you can just plant the wares at least this time around, but be sure to come back regularly as the shopkeeper will quickly be replaced. <laughs> This place is general style that you can find a variety of words. The inventory will be updated every chapter. Uh, last but not least, you can buy an, any items you sold uh, here if you change your mind, like in every other the store. The ogre leveled up. Oh, the ogre has leveled up. Perfect. The wizardess leveled up. And the wizardess is up. That's perfect. That's cool, really. Because they needed those levels. The barbarian is still level one, though. He's a noob. Scroll of stupidity. Probably invented by some jaded wizard. Bear trophy. A bullseye ring, plus free precision. I know who's gonna get this. My god, this might improve this barbarian finally. Jesus, that's kind name? of a big deal. Ah, my bad. Um, yeah, he needs like a plus 12 precision ring though to be efficient. And now we go to the wizard and we're just gonna get her skill tree sold because she does have some upgrades going finally. It pushes the target back to tiles. It has range of five. It's such a nice manipulation ability then. And a globe of thorns that reflects 15% of damage they take. That's very little damage, honestly. 25 bonus astral energy or reach. I think this is better overall. This kind of serves you right. And if it wizard this, oh, no, 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 no. So we go for this and we go for the push. That's such a nice skill. Holy shit. I love the design of this game. Okay, we get bonus here. This gives me impact magical, that's very important, and again, precision, kind of good as well, but I think this is... I don't think this one has the precision check, right? The abilities, like the spells in here don't have the precision checks, as far as I remember. Though I might be wrong. I'll, I'll see you later, I'll check it out and kind of confirm it. And now we have the Ogre, whom I really dislike so far. He has the AoE stun though, that's very good. We have. Do I have some accuracy? And that's that's kind of not an option. He's never going to be adjacent to her. Plus five impact is good, right? If they kind of work in tandem, that's good. That's a good call bonus. No, we have to take this though. Wooden reinforce. That's that's super important. Actually, I do have to take this. All enemies to around the ogre tend toward them and get courage penalty and are more likely. Courage is like the uh, initiative, right? So it's very important. To have high courage. This is a debuff. More likely to attack and say taunt. But do you want to be taunting with the ogre who is so freaking squishy? I'm gonna take this simply because it's just a uh, stun. That's, that's kind of a lot of control you can get. And he was just short on some ability like this. Again, precision, super. I don't think you can. This is just constitution, stamina. Uh, yeah, this is impact and fizz res. I'm just gonna go for this because he has such terrible accuracy. Uh, wait, uh, cancel. Yeah, we have to save, confirm. This is looking very good for, for us now. Okay, very happy about this. 
Can we loot this store again? Like some more, can we take some more stuff here? Hey to, hey to say, so you're back. 45 people on stream, guys. Remember, follow, subscribe if you haven't yet. Oh, dash it. I think this could Helps the stream a lot. And it's free. You wouldn't see me giving up a coin for some pink fabric. Yeah. <laughs> it's on point. Perfect. We have some lootsies. This game is very good, by the way. I could, yeah, I could. Oh god, look at this. We get some really good items then. A successful hit inflicts minus two courage penalty. Okay, we have some on-hit effects on those items. Runic Staff of Goat Simulation and Okage Claymore of Wallopping. Perfect. Um, I cannot, I'm afraid this might just crash the game. So I'm, I'm gonna, yeah, I didn't know you were actually on Twitch until recently. Sure should. It's not ours. What the fuck are those items? You can actually loot a lot of cool things. 190 gold coins. That's very good stuff. Very good stuff. Uh, let me just have a look at the map again. So those are some natural upgrades. Kind of, kind of showcases the uh, possible loot you can get, right? So that's pretty sweet. I hope there is no penalty for doing what I'm doing because I'm gonna relentlessly ransack the place. No questions about that. This is what, that's what I do in games anyway. Just take everything I can. Classic. Just killing the shopkeeper with the door was was the perfect choice though. I love it. I like this game so much for that. Okay, so we have looted the place. We have taken all she had. And probably pick her up now, right? It's kind of unlikely. Yeah, I can't click her, so that's it. So the shop is done. But yeah, okay, we have the clay more and the Daggers. The daggers can't be used by enemy because the rogue just left us for a while. You can use this. So it goes splat, yeah. That's a lot of damage, by the way. Crit chance, precision. This is precision bonuses. That's very big. Oh, cool. The same as Kra. The texture is different as yes, well. Look at this. This is going to rock. You have the armor as well for the barbarian. That's quite big. Oh, you need a passive skill, son of a bitch. They're not the big of an upgrade. And the elf gets the flower crown. Agility, charisma, and this is just a region for the resources. Maybe the wizard doesn't have anything. It is better. Protection, and let's, let's re... No, wait. There's those good robes, actually. Perfect, that's pretty cool. Oh, she can't use it, though. This is just for that character here. So this is just for the Barbarian, he can't use this. This for the Thief, again, same deal. Um, same deal, same problem with the Dagger, so nobody really has any upgrades now. That's basically as good as it gets. Oh, no, 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 no. That's gonna be combat. Yep. All right, cool, cool, cool. Hi, there's that annoying singer covered in drapes. Let's tear him a new one. My friends, henchmen come forth with their mates. See me past the pearly gates. The f does that mean? <laughs> He's speaking in a precious manner. Gold is precious. This is just stupid. I think she's gonna fight us out and die. Enough talk. Let's fight. <laughs> oh, okay. This game. This game is just delivering, isn't it? Okay, so we need some cover. Uh, this goes by the. I can equip items still, so that's kind of important. I need to get the bombs on those guys. So I, I need to check who goes first in the initiative order, the ranger. So if I blow this up, I, I, I definitely can do it. I do get access to this place then, so it's very important for me. Oh, those are fire barrels as well, that's, that's bad, right? You don't want to kind of have them explode on you. Yep. Yeah. Oh, you play Dungeon Defenders as well. I love Dungeon Defenders. Yeah, the aesthetic is kind of... I was actually about to say that, they're kind of similar in style. I loved Dungeon Defenders. I played 1 and 2. Those are very, very, very solid games overall. Okay, he gets the bomb then. Okay, and you have nothing in interesting, and you get the... I thought I took this bomb away from someone, yeah. She needs some sort of a good item here as well. Yeah, it was an amazing game. Kind of got old at some point, but it was a very solid game, it lasted, absolutely. Hmm. Maybe the potion, the healing potion is not the bad Oh, she has no... Oh, fuck me, she has no belt, actually. That's the problem, okay, I understand this now. Um, okay, they have a mercenary, an archer, and in 10 May, <laughs> Jesus. 
Oh, okay, lovely. So I think we just kind of go through this. Like we get, we pass through the door here. I mean, we just pass through this using the uh, the bomb, and then we just kind of rush this guy down. And yeah, we just kind of try to proceed through here. That should work. And the ranger can, I mean, the archer lady can go here. It's gonna be fine. I think I can just go here like with everybody almost. Just kind of, I need to mind the, the initiative order, so you actually have to go first here. You have to go here. Yeah, so we kind of run him down and try to go from there. Uh, so the elf is in the right position, the minstrel is in an okay position, the mage can go here as well. I know, what the fuck did they do? Hey, fight! This game is amazing. Okay, so the plan is we bomb the the crates. I think this should damage the crates. Also, this this could explode, right? Maybe this does enough damage to kind of kill him. It. Burning character takes decreasing damage at the beginning of every turn. If they get frozen, they lose it. A character can resist the statuses of magical resistance. We exploded this poison. Oh, that was actually a bad idea because this means we can actually. Okay. You can just walk around there, so you can cross the boundaries of... Oh, okay, actually that was a mistake. Because this means I have to walk into poison now. Uh, that's suboptimal, really. Let's see accuracy here. 71, that was very good. Like, compared to what we had before, the... Go on, let's focus. it still misses anyway. Shit. Backstab sir. Oh my god, he crit me for go. fucking 60 damage. <laughs> Ouch! Oh, that's not good. Mm. That's the... Okay, that was a bad idea to start this fight like this. Okay, we have to restart. I, I thought this was a good idea, but apparently they actually used the terrain very well. Yep, maybe this is the good auto... I hope this is a correct autosave. Yeah, this is the, this is the first defeat we got. This is the very first defeat we got so far, so I'm kind of okay with this, I think, guys. I'm kind of okay with this. Okay. May I remind you that, first of all, guys, we do have a community Discord, which I'm going to link to you right now. Uh, and second of all, we do have a YouTube channel. So if you guys are on Twitch, then you can obviously join me on YouTube as well. So I'm just going to get the link now, uh, so I can spam it out every now and then. So, there are some links for you if you're interested, you can support me also becoming a member of my YouTube channel for three bucks a month, and you can just join the YouTube channel, obviously just be there, uh, subscribe to it, that's free, and we have a Twitch if you're on YouTube, all those recommended very much. Oh, this is already during, that's, that's kind of in fight already, that's bad, that's a bad save. That's a bad freaking save then. So we actually don't want to bop this then. We actually don't want to, to explode those uh, those crates. I'm gonna move around here. I'm just gonna get some space for those guys. Maybe I should just walk up with this guy. No, I can't actually, I can't. So we just go back, uh, we just go behind this. I could have actually set up for the assist as well. That was a small mistake on my part. Uh, we go for this melee attack then, just smash him on the back. Please work, please work, please work. 34 damage, that's decent. Okay, yeah. uh, the problem is he's just gonna go for a crit backstab. I didn't know he... Yeah, that's not a crit at least. I just didn't realize he, he was set up back facing, you know, the this side of the room. I mean, that's gonna be painful again. Yeah, that's really bad. That's really, really bad. I, I made a very big mistake here. No, this just doesn't work like this. That's not a win condition that I satisfy here if I do this. So we have to say we have to load again, guys. Yeah, this is unwinnable from this position. I just need to kind of. Uh, I just didn't realize how bad it was. It was really bad though. It was really, really, really bad. So yeah, I just need to kind of fix this. So the positioning is very important. I just didn't realize those barrels were indeed explosives. I just kind of didn't think they uh, would be explosives, and obviously they were. So. 
you know, freaking shame on me, but I just can't be there. So probably I have to kind of fight, fight this in the open, actually, because there is no way for me to... Um, oh, no, don't tell me this is the last quick save I did this game. So let's update the map. Yeah, fuck. Oh, no. Seriously, I didn't save this for so long? Eight oh six and eight seventeen. My God, I wasted all this. Oh, that's very bad. Uh, I'm I'm kind of disappointed. Thank you for the follow, my man. Thank you for the follow, Baron seventy eight. Man, that's a big disappointment. We have to just kind of skip this dialogue altogether. We can just skip it though, because I I fucked up. But that's yeah. We can just make up for this uh, quickly. So there is no leveled up. I know what I, what I did, so it's not a big deal, but still kind of a shame I did not save. I can't believe this. See, that's what happens when you don't save game every fucking minute. That's that's basically all there is. I'm not sure we should. Okay. It's not ours. So we just kind of go through this quickly, get our loot and leave. Uh, very unfortunate this happened, guys. I'm sorry, didn't intend that, obviously, but there is no way I can win that fight from that positioning. Because those, they just kind of always are going to do the same thing, where they backstab my uh, my bard, and they just destroy me. Then that was just very poor selection in terms of you know positions there in that fight. I just I'm just gonna put on the heirlooms again and just go. So uh, this this is gonna be quick because the barbarian gets the sword. Um, and I think he can't equip that, but we can equip the flower crown. Yeah, that's basically all. The bullseye ring as well goes on the on the barbarian here. He can't equip the armor yet, so that's all there is really. Uh, we get the. I think the bomb on the ranger makes sense, so that we can actually get some explosions going anyway. Um, I'm gonna give him a potion as well. And she now we level up skills. That's also I remember this already. So mana region and we go intelligence, intelligence. Confirm, and here we go for this, and uh, next to Barbarian bonus impact doesn't sound terrible though, I think like, yeah, she's never going to be next to him, so that doesn't make sense. So we confirm the changes, we go back, we save the game, so that this doesn't happen again, and we go for the fight, for the combat encounter. And do it the right way now. Oh, that's, that's gonna be the fight right now, isn't it? Or not? I thought this was gonna be it. Oh wait, what the hell? Oh, I know what happened. I didn't search the shop yet, fuck. Yeah, I know, I suck, I know, I know. Oh, man, that sucked. That was bad. But it's okay now. We just get this, we skip it. The robes are on the mage now. And we can indeed go and take it. It wasn't the brightest of me. I I, I swear uh, I didn't intend to do this. We skip. I know. I know it is what. Ah, sorry. I know how it goes now. So, the boys. Um, this is good for me though because this can actually create like double poison surface. Hmm. Thank you for the sub, Nicholas. Welcome to the dungeon as well. We have a decently large crowd today, guys. Very proud of this. 40 people in a game that isn't Darkest Dungeon is really new. That's they're just really new to me. Okay, so those two things are this is explosive as well, right? So we have to just no, this is just a torch, I think. This is just a wall torch. So we stay we stay away from that. We just kind of move here. I mean I could get this kind of poison going here with the ranger. I think he's gonna be fine here. If he just kind of goes maybe because I can start he starts the combat, right? So I can just move him. No, I actually intended to do it here, because this is going to be like more poison surface. Um, but this does kind of mess with this guy, so maybe I can just do it. And the Barbarian obviously has to leave as well, just kind of get somewhere else. I think it is. I think it's where it looks very good so far. Obviously, you know, this is just first few hours of it, so things might change as time passes by. But so far, so good, man. So far, so good. Looks really freaking solid. Like... It is at I would say at this point it's at least 8 out of 10, maybe 9. And I have quite high standards for my games, so this, this kind of says that this is a decent, decent product. And I don't know what to do with these guys. Maybe I should just kind of put them all against the wall, just kind of 
Um, yeah, I get them, you know, into some sort of concealment. Uh, they're all facing the right way now. I think I can save the game. Oh, you can't save before fights. Uh, that's fine. They do have a wizard though, so maybe not the best idea to just kind of clamp up too much. Man, this barbarian is so squishy as well. That's gonna be another issue, I think. Okay, so we go for a bomb. Uh, so you blow this guy up. And this is gonna be creating a surface. I can actually walk next to him, just pressure him now so that he can't attack me. And can't really run. I can blow this up and run. I think that's safe as well. That's kind of the safe play. Just getting the surface. So it forces them to kind of move around a bit more. Uh, I don't really want to stay in the open, but I really don't want to get hit by that either. So I'm just going to take cover here again. Though this is barbaric. He's so squishy though. I'm just going to play the safe with him. Okay, so we kind of get this positional advantage now. At least we are not at a disadvantage. Or not at least at an express disadvantage. He throws gold. My turn, oh god, he... Oh, he buffs his allies up a rank. So they go, they go like a, a notch up in difficulty. This is a buff as well that reflects all damage they do to this guy. So that's not great. They're, the, you know, the AI in this game is actually surprisingly good. Like it plays it passive, but it plays it pretty well. <laughs> this being said, I can actually poison him now with the, with the archer. So. Uh, right, so this is explosive, so I can't really go there. Uh, I can even run up like far enough now. So I can just, I think I can just either protect this uh, he can't reach me, right? So I'm just gonna wait for them to rush up and, and then I'm gonna do something. Hmm. I think I can just... Oh, I can't reach him again here. I can't reach him. Fuck. Uh, I have to wait then again. Like I just need those guys to come in melee. I can throw the storm, like the spell here. How far does it reach? I almost there. So I, I'm definitely gonna be able to, to reach him from here. So we drop the storm and we uh, we get the AoE on him as well. So he's going to be standing on a lot of nasty stuff. Okay, no, this poison actually didn't burst. That's unfortunate. Shit. I tried to snipe the mage. No, not really. So maybe just getting rid, rid of the archer here. 75% chance to hit. It's kind of decent, right? It's going to assist my... Uh, Oh, fucking hell. That's bad. I'm gonna move out because this might open up the Barbarian to, to shoot something later as well. This is not looking great though. Okay, we have this. So this is a singing hero. This is... A lot of good bonuses actually. Parry, dodge, guitar swing. That's melee. And this is a stun. Oh, this is the AOE stun that kind of works on... Okay, there are a lot, there are a lot of melees here, so I can just wait. I'm gonna wait, because there is a way, there is kind of a possibility, at least. Boom! Dodge that one! That they walk up now, and I get, like, chain stun on everybody with this. So I'm just gonna wait and see if this is indeed the case or not. This would really help if I could get, like, AOE stun lockdown on those guys. It would be very good. That's a hard fight though. Those fights are just getting incrementally harder, which which I really like though. Yeah. This is melee. This is melee exclusive, unfortunately. I have minus movement debuff for some reason. Maybe he's wounded or something. I didn't remember about the wounds. No, they heal the wounds in the in the end, but I do have the crossbow, so that's kind of the way for me to go, I guess. Just using the range of attack here. Maybe I can just move up a bit or something. He's the tank though. I can just use Overwatch, right? Because they will have to walk into me at some point. So this means that um, I secured this entire area. He hasn't moved, so he has two shots now. Mercenaries fight for money. Us? Well, there's adventure. Uh, this is good. If I can get there, I can't yet. So I guess we just... I could walk up here and just drop the defense, right? I mean the defense, so... 
I love the music as well. Holy crap, this game is very good. Telling you guys, this game is very, very good. Okay, we can drop this room now. No, I, I, no, never mind. So... Parry dodge, a lot of good stats, right? So maybe the dwarf could use this actually precision. Now I think that the ogre, if anyone could use the the buff here, is the, the ogre actually, because he needs all those stats. Now he's in the front front row as well, so probably a good idea to kind of facilitate that. Um, now, okay, we just pass this as well because there's yeah I haven't really done anything this turn. Just kind of sad. So he will have to move now. He gets shot once. And that, that does 14 damage. I think those shots could have like done could have had more impact overall. Whoa, 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 boy, what the fuck? That was unexpected, really. That was really unexpected though. I can't get behind him because I risk I do risk getting poisoned, right? I could actually use the uh the buff as well, but that's kind of water under the bridge for us, I guess. I'm gonna go to the side here maybe. And that's it. And now the Barbarian. The Barbarian actually doesn't have any... You can use it on an ally, right? I can probably... I probably should actually use it here. Because that's such a precarious situation for me. Uh, like, the Barbarian... I really don't want to lose this wolf here, like, so soon. I'm just gonna heal him. I'm just gonna give him the healing uh, here. They actually... No, Divinity Original Sin 2 allows you to save during fights. And it's good because I played with epic encounters and it was ridiculously difficult. And yet yeah, just saving in the middle of a fight just allows you to kind of salvage some bad decisions you'd make and kind of, you know, this would get like less grindy. But this game, I, I think you shouldn't be saving in, in the middle of the fights. That's fine. Oh my god. I'm stuck here. That's fine though because they, they'll have to walk into me at some point, right? He's poisoned. So... You'll take some damage at the beginning of every turn, and the antidotes can remove this. Can also raise your fizz resistance to alleviate the problem. Okay, he overwatches. Okay, all right, cool, cool, cool. So, I think I can just interrupt this with a uh, with a crossbow shot. Uh, that's fine. Uh, that's not fine anymore because he oh he just rushed B. He just did rush B Suka here. Okay, that's not great. Thank you to follow. Heavy Fliss, welcome to the dungeon. Guys, this is such a big community now all of a sudden. Like, God, like we have like... I mean, for this game anyway, it's, it looks kind of surprising. Uh, honestly, okay, we go for ranged attack here. Uh, on, I think we need to interrupt the overwatch. How many overwatches do we have? Who has Overwatch other than this fucking guy? Oh no, this is just him. It's just kind of the AoE is overlapping. I think I can shoot him right to interrupt it though. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it does take it out. Perfect. So I can advance now a little bit. Just get this guy. Okay, this is fire. I just don't want to step on fire. That's, that's a bad idea inherently to, ste to be stepping on fires. Uh, this also kind of secures my back here. Like, obviously, this guy can backstab still, but these other guys can't. That's quite important. Uh, now, burps. I, I can't really do anything here yet, so we're just gonna wait. Uh, hope someone walks into melee. Uh, ouch, that's that's bad though. Look at this. Like, I can actually knock this fucking guy into the barrel through the fire. Or I can just knock him against the wall as well. Looks kind of decent. I think this is the best thing I can do. Although this is a boss, right? So maybe just knocking him back would be the would be actually best for me. Because he can reach anybody now. Is he's gonna gonna be like out of commission for another turn this way if I do it? I think no, killing someone is the most important thing uh, for this. Oh, fuck. Okay, so apparently spells can miss. We have learned something today, guys. Spells can freaking miss as well. Uh, yeah, and I can't do anything because if I leave that that zone, it's gonna t kind of trigger. She can fucking attack me. Like that's bad. Like that's even worse. I I'm just gonna move anyway. Uh, I just have to take the attack of opportunity here, because 
I just I'm standing in a lot of uh, possible attack ranges. I really don't want that to happen to to, to kind of harm me anyway. Okay, that's that's RNG attack though, because I hit him for sure. I can ricochet to somebody else that I really don't want to hit. So yeah, uh, that dwarf didn't take any damage there, so that's fine. I'm also gonna walk up like this because I think they cannot move across this formation now, which is pretty decent. Um, what is the AOE on this? Wait, not, not on this, obviously. I can move up and just dispel this as well. That possibly works too for me. Mm. I, ca I can't reach everybody, so I'm just gonna walk up here and just do my thing. Because uh, this potentially stands too, right? 50 50 stands too, that's better than zero. I'm just gonna take it. Also, this probably kills this guy. And it doesn't stun this guy though. Okay, that's not great. Uh, yeah, he can probably just keeps smacking me, right? He's just gonna. Okay, he tries to leave. That's very good actually. He's poisoned and burning. He does drop the Overwatch though. Uh, that wasn't bad. That's not a bad turn order for me. Okay, this guy walks in as well, so. I can potentially just trade this a little bit. I can just burp on everybody here and just kind of mean that this means that everybody is stunned. And honestly, I don't need the dwarf that much. Where, uh, like, all the other guys here, they're just gonna get stunned as well. So it's kind of one turn for two. Okay, two turns for two overall. Not perfect. Okay, that's worse than I thought because this doesn't stun anybody, in fact. Fuck me. Well, that's suboptimal. That's just really bad, actually. That's not even sub up to this, just pure garbage for me. I do need to kill this guy before he gets another shot off as well, so... Maybe, maybe, maybe. Oh, this this, this does actually kill him, so that's a small advantage uh, going in my favor. I do need to remove the buffs this guy has with my uh, with my guitar there, using the, the bot, so that's another part of this fight, I guess. Uh, Mm, I can move around him really, just set up for the for the attack. Because I think they get a bonus, right? He gets a the, the ogre now gets a bonus to damage with this. Take Flanked, he missed. Obviously he's missed. Like this is just kind of the usual, the staple, guys. This is the fucking staple of this game. He just missed a lot of attacks. <laughs> oh, if he's a tank, how dare you do something like this to a tank? This is 28 damage onto the tankiest member of this team. Actually, no, the ogre is the tankiest now. Please miss. Mm, nope. Well, that's bad. Maybe I could have just... I, I don't know. That's just looking really bad for me now. Crit fail. Okay, that's good. Good, 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 good. So we get like some advantage now. He could have easily sniped me here. So the crit fail actually means that this is not that bad for me at all. Uh, he goes for a backstab on the ogre. Gets 26 damage done. That's not bad. That's how... I, how I feel about it. this is just not terrible, but yeah, we're in a lot of trouble nonetheless. Because I, I probably can't be spamming those, those all, all those skills have cooldowns, right? So I should probably just drop this. This is 29% chance to work. Jesus, fuck. Oh, that's bad. Like, speaking of bad, this is really bad. And I'm just gonna have to sit here and just wait for them to DPT me like hell. Mm. Another issue is like I can't really get any cover now because I have to. I actually have to resurrect my. Oh no, that's also bad. Bad facing. I just resurrect my uh, my dwarf here. So, yeah. Hmm, that's good. Um, I'm gonna get this shot probably. Not. Oh, I did get this shot. Look at look at this elf. She actually hit something. And here I was thinking that she couldn't hit the broad side of the barn with those attacks, so... I'm gonna wait here. Oh, I can't cleanse this. Because he has no stamina. Shit, so I just have to use the... the like, 70, 25. It's actually bet better to use the ranged attacks than the melee attacks. Please hit this. He oh, that's, that's a miss, right? Yeah, I, I can tell by animations. Like, kill animations are different here. Yeah, I'm gonna box this guy so that he can't actually leave without getting, like, reposted to... To hell, I guess that's that's okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna use the ranger here to shoot as well. So we go for a um, 
Ranged attack in here. Get, probably kill this. Finally kill this. Please just get the kill. Okay, good. Yes. Right, that's, that's good. That's good. That's good. So we get this and we can... Oh, my, look at the damage. What the hell is this? He got the new sword, but this is so much damage. Look at this. 45 damage potentially. 35 done. Ah, oh, that's big. That's really big. Okay, we wait now. Now this asshole is... Oh, my God. It's a dead ogre. Oh, oh fuck. I no, can't help this though. And the wizard is still there. Also a bit a bit of an issue, right? The wizard is gonna do a lot of damage. I do need to like guitar smack this guy, the uh the warrior here, that the one that has those, those heavy buffs around himself. That's that's gonna be another priority. Yeah, that's a stun potentially on someone. Um Yeah, this should be a killing blow. So I'm just gonna go for it because I risk losing the barbarian. Otherwise, this is a kill as well. Perfect. Okay, this is very, very good. I I was I was actually I could use this surge, but mm, not Gucci now. So we lose the barbarian for this. But again, like this is just inevitable, right? I just this just had to happen. I think. At this difficulty level, it's just it's just kind of gonna happen every now and then. Okay, so we have this now. I mean, I can drop the whirlwind on those two guys, right? I have the AOE to do it. I could wait though. I could just wait and first of all, just debuff. And remove the debuffs. Oh no, I can't still. Sorry, bitch. Are you kidding me? Like he couldn't be more useless than this, right? Oh my god, that's actually bad now. I was kind of banking on being able to remove the buffs from those guys, but obviously not the case here. Oh my, like, probably he has a potion. I could have used this to resurrect as well. I need to learn this game properly. That's gonna take a while though. Okay, we get five damage now. That's nothing though. Also get in the way of the AoE now, so that's not good either. Hmm. I think the auto attack still goes. It doesn't shit. Okay, I just have to overwatch this then. Never mind. This is obviously not good, right? This is obviously not a good spot for me to be in, but I can probably try to take down the mage now. Yeah, but again, still not enough, right? He can walk all the way up here, so I just have to go back a little bit before I take another move. The ranger does have healing, but again, he just. Mm, is too far away, so we're just gonna try to spike down the mage slowly now, I guess. Just go, and I can just kind of walk up now and try to set up like damaging strikes on him as well. Okay, we're not gonna be able to heal, I think, any of those guys. That's the problem. Now uh, he's going for the. He's going for the. Uh... No, actually no. That just failed spectacularly as well. What the fuck is this damage? That's just purely bad. This is just atrociously bad, guys. The buff is gone though, that's, that's okay. He's Maybe I get a stun, no I don't. Yeah, like, speaking of going from bad to worse, this is going really bad now. Shit. Mm. Yeah, this is just terrible. I think I'm gonna lose this one again. Oh, I can. Okay, thank you for letting me know then, Evil Fliss. Thanks, so thanks, man. But, yeah, this just doesn't salvage the situation yet anyway. Because I am in so much trouble now. Holy shit. I mean, I probably go for the res now on the on one of the boys. Because this, this, this kind of drops the fours again. And the mage just gets away, right? It's kind of the big issue for me. So I need to try to kill this uh, second melee fighter. Let's say crit as well, very good stuff, very good stuff. So maybe this salvages this situation, at least partially. He can't reach me here, so those two range characters are semi-safe. The guitar swing does a lot of damage if it lands, but it might just not land, right? So, you know, playing with luck here, if it lands, it just kills, though. 
Please land, please land. Flanked, kill. Ah, yes. Oh, the satisfying bop as well. The bop on the back of the head, right? That's, that's, that's really nice. Uh, no. I can just chain resurrect now, I think. So I'm just going to get out of the bar. That's that's good. Like, that, that was very decent. The crit into a bop. Definitely lucrative stuff for me. Uh, I woke up here. I do resurrect the ogre this way, I think. Uh, that's that cool character from my party. He just has to be around. So we just need to get this guy back up. Whew. Okay, we don't lose this fight now, I think. And now it's going to be a crit again. And I'm going to say we lose this fight, actually. Ha, <laughs> it's a miss. Fuck you, game. You suck. Okay, so we can get a heavy buff on this guy. This will take the vast majority of this guy's HP if I land this, so I'm just gonna take this chance. I didn't land this though. Okay, we end the turn, and I guess. Yeah, the wizard does. Yeah, I'm just gonna move her up because nothing can reach her here, right? If she moves up here, it's, it's okay. And she's gonna have healing ready next turn, I think. This is one, two, three, four. Yeah, so next turn she can heal. So I'm just, I might just either drop the overall just try to auto attack. Nope, neither of them work. So I'm just gonna overall just just in case this guy tries to walk up. And now now Hugo's hoping that he doesn't have any obliteration available to him, so he doesn't. Okay, that's fine. Like this attack was okay. I was kind of expecting something way worse than this, honestly. So we can reach here. I'm just gonna walk up and just try to shoot him now. Mm, that's gonna be super slow though. This guy is extremely tanky, so Yeah, that's gonna be a painful painful bit uh, Of this fight now I can walk up and try to range attack this guy probably removing the mage from the fight is going to be Somewhat beneficial in the long run. I can also just walk up I think I'm just gonna walk up and just resurrect the dwarf though because I need to have like all those characters ready To go so we're just gonna get the dwarf back up uh, you know, that's like a turn economy thing, like where we just kind of get some advantages from. Um, okay, I can just play defensive here. Or I can just go. Off I'm, I'm just gonna go all in on this guy, though. Partial parry, not good, not good. If he tries to run now. He's gonna be really like he's gonna be in the world of pain. He backs up my dwarf seriously. Okay, this is okay because dwarf is kind of healthy of a guy. This reflect doesn't work though, I think. Unless it's just purely magical reflect, it just doesn't seem to be working. I'm still, by the way, threatened by this guy. We just go hard on this guy okay, now. now yeah. this oh, the reflect did work, so it just kind of runs, I think runs damage down a little bit. Which meant that in this case, this just wasn't gonna work. Okay, so uh, here goes nothing. I'm gonna try to heal the, I think that's, that's just the biggest heal I have. So just gonna use this on the, Character that can heal for the most in terms of damage. Okay, perfect. I guess the dwarf, that's kind of something I anticipated though, that's fine. <clears throat> so since I'm kind of locked down with this guy here, I could I could go for uh, some sort of an offensive maneuver. I could also just move my archer forward and get some slam dunk on this guy with the long shot here. 50% chance to hit or 77 but a shot at getting my ally hit as well. Here we go for this. This is a backstab as well. So this can be a lot of damage. Never mind, those are 7 damage. That was a big mistake. I should have just tried to focus this guy down from the um, get go, really. So we should be focusing the mage, I think, because that's just futile. Funny, but my range attacks do more than melee here, so I guess it makes sense. 17, very nice. He, they try to retreat now. No, 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 no. There is no way I can allow them to retreat. So they are trying to run that way. I have to probably ditch this. Trade. Yeah, I'm gonna try to take the. I have to take the punishment here, I guess. Because there is nothing that stops this guy from running away. Otherwise, I really don't want that to happen. So I'm just gonna go here and just, you know, call this guy back. Hopefully, this doesn't kill me. Please don't kill me. 34 is a lot of damage. Shit. Yeah, that wasn't supposed to happen. There's a lot of damage actually coming down. 
<laughs> and so he misses, well, very unfortunate if he miss. Oh, he tries to escape. Uh, okay, that's a dead ranger, shit. So I can go here and try to stun this now, I guess. Or just even kill it, right? Man, I would hate to lose this. Like, I'd hate to kind of... I'm gonna save this game now, if possible. Yeah, I'm gonna save this. Because I really don't want them to escape. That would really suck at this point. Because I invested a lot into this fight. That's a kill. My god, look at this. He gets a hit, actually. That's surprising. Can he run now? No, he can't. So... I can just kill this guy now, I think. that's We have two characters ready, and that's, that's enough to just get the kill. Or not. It is! Guys, we got this fight. This is over. We got this. Can't fucking believe we actually got this one. Barbarian leveled up. Barbarian leveled up as well. That's very big. Dwarf is still level 1, though. That's sad as hell. Oh, this weapon's attack... Okay, well, well, okay, these daggers, ignore protection, very good for for the for the rogue who focuses the weaker throws. This goes on the ranger, this shield can go for the go on the ranger. The fear of trials is a book as well they can use. Very cool. Mm. That's good. That's good shit. Her words cannot express my gratitude. Meanwhile, let us compose an epic jest for this epic battle. The battle is only epic if you have crushed your foes, and you can watch them die before you, and hear the lamentations of their women. That is epic. <laughs> Jesus, yes, the barbarian also. I'm actually getting... Only to praise Krom. Hey, you again. Wherever death strikes, I clean up the mess. And by the way, I see you've made a mess again. Yum, yum. He says he could eat some of the corpses, if that helps. Does he care about anything but food? Well, he does like poetry. He's delicate that way. <laughs> so you cared. We're looking for a statuette. Maybe you could tell us where it is? Helping adventurers is not really my thing, you know. Enjoy your job? Picking up all these little gory bits? No, can't say I do. Why? Guys, this game is so good! Well, let's say we wander aimlessly in circles and don't find the statuette. We kill a lot of monsters. <laughs> Catch my drift? Oh uh, yeah, I catch your drift. Hmm, I remember vaguely that this dungeon used to have a master. He kept some ugly statuettes, but everyone seems to have forgotten about him. Strange. We've been mm. told this place was run by a co-op. That's right. Well, seems like my memory is not what it used to be. Yeah, we get a save as well. We did it. We made it through that ridiculous fight. You can level up the barbarian, which is very important. Because the guy really needs accuracy, like, seriously he does. Okay, that's very good. Precision buff. Mm, no, we need this, because... Frankly, like, no precision is... He has, like, three different, different types of this Warcry as well. Okay, now, heavy leather armor. Adjacent to the Ogre and gains plus 5 stamina regeneration and plus 4 impact next to the wizard. I'm just gonna go for this because that just kind of unlocks a lot of items. And again, agility, very important here, I think. Constitution gives me stamina regen, fizz res, and HP. Intelligence is useless here, I think. Determines initiative, uh, support. Mm, I'm gonna. I'm gonna say agility, very, very big here. Precision, right? And anything helps for this guy. Like, he's in such a dire spot precision wise that anything really helps here. Whew. Okay, this is going well. So, we can equip the nice item as well that we got before the frontal plate. Oh, cool. The same as Krah. Oh my god. He looks like there's this game about barbarians that I remember playing. Sorry, there was a movie about barbarians. Like, it's kind of a cartoon. Terribly vulgar one at that. I, I love that one. It kind of reminds me of this game. Oh, sorry, this barbarian specifically. Look at this. No way I'm giving it away. Oh, uh, no, no, not Conan the Barbarian. No, this, this is a parody of Conan. It's like an animated film. Like a 3D animated film. 
We have another level for the ogre. What the fuck? No, this is just uh, just the points here. So it was something the barbarian, yeah, but it wasn't the cone and the barbarian. It was something else. It was kind of similar like to this guy, like the the protagonist of that looked exactly like this. He was kind of wimpy though. Also, there was like a very similar character in How to Train Your Dragon, uh, like to, to this barbarian. There, there, you know, there was a brother and a sister, and the brother looked exactly like him, I think. Very similar, so... Man, this game is just... fucking sweet. Now you have the ability to open heavy doors now, so you can just take the ogre a floor up uh, to, uh, to the ground floor and try to break those doors. Very cool game. Very, very, very cool game, guys. Again, quick reminder, follow and subscribe if you haven't done this yet. So you can follow me on YouTube. Yeah, no, you can subscribe to me on YouTube, follow me on Twitch. Both of those uh, are basically equivalent. If you are on Twitch, you can check out my YouTube channel below. There's a link below there. And I'm mostly a YouTuber, so if you want to kind of get the content updates and such, you'll find everything about this game in a few weeks once I'm kind of, you know, once I've managed to produce material on it in there. So I do suggest that you guys go for that. Um, the Donita map. And drop me a follow on YouTube indeed. So there are two doors I can open now. There is door here, door, door here. Though. Both of them very important uh, to, to get done. You can smash this wall now, I bet. No, okay, this is heavier. There's, there are two types of heavy doors. This is the less heavy door, and there is like the heavy, heavy door that you need. So I'm just gonna go, uh, go the, the other door probably is openable though. Uh, so I have to go like uh, through this bottom alley here and take the road through that place. That was a nice encounter. This is probably the most interesting one so far, the, uh, the amulet fight. That was really cool. Look at how they walk it by the way. Oh, that was bad. I should not have done this. I forgot, like, I, I thought, like, if you... I thought that if you were to disable the traps... They would just go away for good. Apparently that's not the case. Although you, they just kind of go away for a while. It kind of asks, it kind of makes you ask another question, though. If you can disarm them again, does it actually allow you to get the bomb, the bomb from them again, because if you disarm a trap, you get a bomb for free. Oh, it should work. No? Still too heavy for you? You serious? Man, I did take the talent for the ogre though. Or I didn't, like, oh no, the second time around I didn't take it. I just took the wrong talent here. Oh shit! Because I was kind of doing this in in a hurry, and I didn't take the right talent in the end. Fuck! So this is completely pointless again. Oh, you hate to see it. That's bad. That's really bad. What is the place of traps now? Hey man, I'm so disappointed. I thought I had taken the the, the door opening talent. I just didn't. So this will be hard now. Let's update the map. I know that I think that the movie that I was kind of trying to refer to was called Roman the Barbarian. It was Roman the Barbarian. That was the, the kind of comedy animated one. Which in Poland by the way is kind of kind of funny because in Poland it was advertised as a child's movie. And there is a you know, it's a kind of translated in a mild way as well for the cinemas, but it was so so vulgar. It's just, it's just baffling. Now, those are disarmed again, I don't know what happened. Anyhow, yeah, it's, it's kind of funny that they try to ad advertise it, you know, the posters were aimed at, you know, younger viewership, younger audience for some reason. I have no idea who came up with that idea, but it was quite funny, actually. It was quite funny, not gonna lie. So, we need the freaking Ogre to level up again, unfortunately, for us to be able to do this. To kind of make it uh, through those doors on the bottom floor. I am very, very annoyed by that, but again, you have to kind of live with this. Okay, cool. Thank you, Everflix. How do you know all those things? Are they like one of the developers or something? Or I just kind of experienced with the game. There is a demo that, like, there's like a demo period that I missed. So maybe that's what you mean. That's, that's, why, you can, uh, that's why I know those things. Okay. 
Okay, we go for it. Game save to go to the VIP lounge now, and we get served. You there? No trespass. I am a powerful wizard. Behold my robes, you bumpkin. Uh, sorry. You're a developer. You You're else. kidding me. Well, I mean, please come in. Okay, welcome Those to the, welcome to stream then. It's my own Glad to be hosting you. Well, if that's the case, then sure. We allow wizards' minions in if they don't cause any trouble. Wait, what? I'm not your minion. Shut your face, you're gonna f this up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what? Never mind, he just uh, stepped on his own beard. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah, the, the writing in this game. Now, is there a way to disable the censorship? Because I, I would very much prefer to, to disable the censorship if possible. I just need to go for the options now, I think. Well, my friends, it has been a pleasure. I'm expected at the tavern, but I'll gladly team up with you. Oh, there's beauty in his every word. Team up? Uh, sure, why not? Or we could step on his hat and piss on his instrument. <laughs> yeah, that's... Let's find help, not unwanted attention. That purse is everywhere. They're even dressed like women. Let's sack this place. Unrestrained fool, you'll get pulverized. There are powerful wizards in here. Cut the bullshit. We're here for the statuette, and... Hey, who's the special snowflake coming there? Good day oh, to there's a priestess, the finally. ...with great skill in battle. Well, uh, we're on a quest at the moment, but uh, maybe we could... I'm a priestess of Euclid, and I come from noble blood. Are you the leader of this heterogeneous and rustic company? Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely heterogen... Have you? I... Leader my butt. <clears throat> You're a priestess of the god of healing, is that right? Absolutely. Healers are for whips. Our foes should be the one with wounds. Jesus. Oh, Actually, I've yet to be ordained despite my respectable blood. Studies are a tiresome endeavor. To become a priestess, I was sent to triumph over a strange monster. A wraith wearing a hood haunting the halls of the dungeon. His form is that of a wretched thief. Oh, the thief now, back. The thief. The good of friend, though. Who? <laughs> the, the thief of our party. We've yeah. lost him. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Right, yeah. I still don't remember him. Assist me, and I shall yeah. deign to be a part of your band of rogues and ill-bred people. I've always had a soft spot for unshaven scoundrels. Men like you, in fact. Really? It just so happens that I, uh... No time for you to turn on the charm. The thief going missing <laughs> smells fishy. Well, she's making a bad impression on me. In that case, I like her. <laughs> anyway, we came here to ask around about a statuette. Oh, looking for some art pieces? Thanks to my noble roots, I have great knowledge of everything expensive. Men tend to cover me with costly gifts. We can talk about this later. Huh? Yeah, okay, so we'll take you. With us, I mean. By the sandals of Navlu, that'd be perfect. Spending time with commoners is always so quaint. Let's deal with this evil beast. He's been spotted on the first yeah, floor, floor again. Perfect. I mean, not perfect because I just came back from there. Let me just see the priestess then and her... Uh, set of abilities and such. We have a staff on her. Mm. Oh, this gives her additional HP as well. That's pretty good. I just wonder if this wouldn't be better on the on the wizard than if I couldn't just make a little bit of a switcheroo. Oh, I can't unequip the main weapon though. That's a bit. That's a big issue, right? So I can't do the switcheroo yet. It's impolite to search the royal lady's dress. Unless she invites you. Jesus. The pervert priestess. Perverted priestess. Okay, so. Uh, precision goes up with the... Physical in... What the hell, no. So she gets a lot of precision from this. Wait, what the hell? So single point of charisma gives me gives you an accuracy. Impact as well goes up. Spiritual impact is a bonus to damage or healing. Very good. So charisma looks very decent here, and the amount of support also goes up. Here, this is just precision of charisma based character, so it's kind of the same as the minstrel. So we just go all in on this, don't we? Because. It's just way better to go go charisma than maybe the, that's kind of too much even. Okay, this cancels all status and alterations on the target. Uh, this is 
Uh, possession, which raises the target's protection and charisma. So you can possess an enemy with this, I guess. It's pretty cool. And this is healing ability with a short cooldown. And gives you protection as well. It kind of drops protection on the ally. Wizard Desk, they, she gains astral regeneration. They can kind of stick together. Very good. And finally, adjacent to Barbarian, Ranger of Thieves, she gains plus two charisma. Very decent as well. Astral energy regen here. Um... It's a Divine Lightning Bolt, so she does have damaging abilities as well. Maybe like not as strong as the... Uh, wait, cancel. Not as strong as the uh, as the Mage or the Wizardess, but it's still pretty decent. I like this. I think it got it only gives precision, otherwise they would have kind of stated this. By the way, Everfliss, can you tell me, if you have an Archer... Do you scale because since, since you say you said you're a developer, if you're if you kind of stand out, stand, stand by this, how do you increase the damage that the archer does, the elf does? Do, do I actually need to pump strength, or does it actually not make any difference? So does making that like, kind of does putting points into strength here on the elf actually give me any results? Because I think it should, right? I think strength does give you that, like by, by the by the wording of the abilities and of the skill points. Yeah, thank you then. Perfect. Thanks for the for the answers, man. Very glad to have you then. Very glad to have someone, uh, the, the developer of the game, kind of coming over and and talking about the game with me. Perfect stuff, guys. So, uh, I'm having so much fun with this. So go to floor one now to get the uh, get the encounter done. Okay, so far I love the design of the characters, I love the strategy, the depth of the game is just all super cool. I really hope you guys make a DLC to this game, because it will be a shame just kind of, you know, know that this game is gonna end at some point. I'm really kind of in it, I would like to see some maybe, I don't know, second campaign or something? Like maybe with different characters even, it's just, it's just looking, or even like a second part of this game, it just looks so good. I really have very little to say about like the bad parts of this game so far. Like the items could have customized icons, that's one thing, I think. That's one big issue. I mean, that's not big, like it's kind of a visual thing, right? It kind of would be nice if we had this. Okay, there's the thief. That's gonna be nasty. That's gonna be nasty as fuck. Huh? You guys? I've got a bad feeling about this. Oh, the garden, the garden, the garden, perfect. I was actually wondering what all the deal was with you the garden. That? You look like someone we've met. Yes, but who? I don't know. The elf, maybe? No way, I've got way better hair. What about the ogre? The Kalas Balaf. I think it was the thief. Oh shit, How this game is freaking value for money, absolutely it is. My lowly companions. Can we track down the thief then, huh? Hey, we have some exterior area as well. That's that's sweet. Kind of too glowy perhaps, but still very good. There's the thief again. By the holy stitches, it's him! Let's destroy, destroy him! him. Obviously let's destroy him, right? Leave me alone, would you? You ignored me when I was alive, and now you won't quit following me. Stop mm. it! Yeah, the editor will be amazing actually, yeah, because then people will make mods. I think you can mod the fuck out of this game, seriously. There's just so much cool stuff. There, this was moddable. This is just Second Darkest Dungeon, I think. Seriously. Mines have low ceilings, you douchebaggit. That's not logical. But, man, that's just so good. Should you have a shorter head? Or maybe it's the floor that's too high. Douchebaggit. Perfect. French games, man. You should keep her distance from us, too. Hey, Shepard, nice to have you again, man. We're playing this game still. And. First of all, we have viewership first, like first time in a long time, we have very, very high viewership uh, on game that isn't Darkest Dungeon, which is very, very freeing for me. But second of all, more importantly, uh, it's just a fucking good game. I am so surprised to see this is actually so good. Look, there's that ghastly character again. Drat is toast. Let's break all his shin bones, even the ones in his arms. Ah, there's so much that can explode here. Holy shit. A finger when I was burnt to ashes. 
Mouth to mouth on a pile of ash? <laughs> Not so easy. We could have swept him under a rug. Much tidier. <laughs> yeah. That oh, maybe. People are just tricked into watching this now. I'll make you regret these slights. Yes, it was mean. Not at all. I'm just saying it's better to sweep the floor. Are you still ignoring me? I hate you. You'll pay for this. What are you going to do? Attack us with a butter knife? I'm going to yum yum spoon off. Um, he says he likes butter. You just don't get it, do you? <laughs> You've just stepped into the deadly trap I've devised to enact my vengeance. I've lured you this far to bring you down and feast on your entrails. Jesus. Yeah, obviously Shadow Warriors. What else could it be? We have a spider, we have a rat. Mutant rat, mutant spider, ruined skeleton archer. Looks like a spellcaster of sorts, and this is a 160 HP boss. Vanquish the evil thief to make his allies disappear. Oh, cool, cool, cool. So there actually can just... You can actually take him down and you're okay. That's nice, that's sweet. So, we can't stay next to those. We can probably try to figure out the way of spiking this guy down before he does anything nasty. Uh, but he has 160 HP. I can use the long range shot with her so she can just stay back. Again, the dwarf, kind of okay wherever he is. Um, the barbarian is healthy as fuck as well. So there's a good part of this. I probably can just... Uh... I wish I could like knock him in somehow. Those, like, that, that's kind of a skill I'd really like to have now. Uh, so we see this guy being here, that's correct. Uh, the priestess, probably out of position by, by far, so might just move her back a little bit. Eh, I think they can go. Because frankly they can't reach me, yet, except for the rat. And the rogue, I think he's just gonna move forward, I hope he's gonna move forward. I hope I'm making him move forward anyway, right? So. This formation might just kind of force him to do it, which uh, would be very cool. And uh, those expl those explode that are those explodey barrels. Yeah, those I think those explodey barrels. So I don't really want to be there. Uh, kind of let me reevaluate this a bit. So maybe the ogre can kind of take the blow. And I'm gonna move that. No, actually, shit. That's that's kind of getting messy now. I'm gonna eat some sort of AOE. I think. Yeah, it looks a bit like fell seal in terms of like the you know the the system, but it's just so much. This is so, such a fucking complex game, man. Now you can't ignore me. Hey, are you listening? You can't see me. Oh no, selfie, huh? Evil Fliss, because I think I didn't read this. How do you remove stealth? Yeah, we have to drop defense here, I think. Although he is very dodgy, so maybe just getting the accuracy buff is going to be better. We're just going to buff double accuracy here. And we wait. I, I mean, we have to end the turn here, I guess. Uh, again, the war cry. Okay, I have to move in the middle of those guys. Probably a bad idea, because some something is telling me that those guys have AoE. Uh, yeah, if I'm good... Oh, never mind. I can't move, move the second time use ability, so there's a mistake. Yeah, use Rolling Flare sadly doesn't work here, I guess. Mm. I'm gonna move here, just take- I'm gonna block this passage completely. And yeah, and defend. Though, I could've actually- oh my god, that's bad, that's actually, I could've done this better. I'm just gonna drop a ranged attack, I don't care. I think the rat doesn't do that much damage. I assume he doesn't anyway. I get like a lot of accuracy here altogether. Just so you hit but I don't see where he is. So I just have to wait for him to kind of reappear then, like to, to so he has to attack me or something, right? Okay, cool, 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 cool. Right, so I'm just gonna I think I just walk up honestly, uh and and just use the defense here so that they can just pass by without getting shafted by me. Uh, so I'm just get, I'm actually they, they can get by, get through anyway, but I just need to kind of get some protection. Okay, cool. Uh, right. 
So it's gonna be kind of difficult to spot that. To spot that, because he has like a lot of mobility, I think. Uh, right, I can probably can kind of wager that he's around here, right? I could guess that he is here. And just try to go for like uh, a... Uh, that's kind of costs me. That's gonna cost me a lot of uh, resources. So, okay, we just probably kill this rat as well. This works right now, oh my god. Uh, yeah, that's done. So, detox cure. Protection, and this is possession, which raises targets protection and charisma. Also, like, it would be nice to see the duration of effects. There is, this isn't in the game as well. Like, I'd really like to see, like, how long this effect lasts. I remember, like, using the Paladin's Bath, and I couldn't tell, like, how long this was gonna stay around. It would be really nice to see this. Oh, it, it shows it here, right? It's three times for the accuracy bar from the, um... From the Barbarian. It just doesn't see on... I don't think it shows on the skills anywhere, right? Mm, I should have waited, because this is just a wasted turn again. Oh, this is an ally. I thought I was gonna possess an enemy. It actually gives uh, you some stats. Yeah, that was my mistake then. Charisma. I think I'm just gonna buff herself, buff her then. That's such a good model, but I really liked how how, how it looks graphically. How this game looks graphically. Okay, attention. That uh, he buffs uh, damage, I guess, in protection. Uh, that looks like that. You know, I'm just gonna go like berserk on this. Just gonna hit, try to hit this. I, I hit myself here for sure. I was hoping I was actually hoping this would burst into into my opponents, but it didn't. Oh jeez. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, that's exactly what I would say if I were the uh, the elf here. Sorry, indeed. Oh my god, that's, that was a good idea to drop the defensive back here because she's gonna take so much punishment. It's like big, big mistake for me. Uh, she's behind the boxes. She might be fine, but she might not be fine. Oh, that's... that's not good. Okay. Thank you. Okay, if he's in the free... Okay, thanks. Oh, that makes sense. It's kind of a bit, a bit Dofus-like, really. That's a bit Dofus-like. Okay, he's here. Oh my god, he does drop the dust though, shit. A double attack! I'm dead. I am Danzo now, I think I'm just Danzo. What happened? Hmm. And the rat is just gonna attack me as well, man. That was bad as fuck. Uh, seven isn't bad. Yeah, they're really strong. Yeah, that was a lot of AoE indeed. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring my guys back though. And maybe we can just still fight this, because actually I thought I took more damage than I did. Uh, so maybe there's still kind of a way around this somehow. No, not sure, but like kind of guessing that might be. He does so much damage, I think I can just eliminate a lot of monsters using just his attacks. Because Barbarian is just super powerful, actually. I could have waited for him to line up with everybody else, though, but yeah. No, this is 65% chance to hit. That's 70, that's half of this guy's HP if it lands. That's a classic fuck my life moment. Alright, so we pass. This is a stun. That's a knockback, actually, it's a knockback. Alright, so... I think I'm gonna move up and just try to get the stun down on these guys. 100% chance to get that's new. Actually, see, investing in accuracy works. Oh no, my, ro my, my archer is dead. Oh shit. Yeah, now I, I have to heal with someone, right? I think like this is better to just do AoE damage with this. So, uh, yeah, she just does damage, uh, and I use the Priestess to heal because she's just better at healing as well. That was amazingly bad. That was amazingly bad. That was very little damage, actually. Hmm. I can't get around this either. 
Because you can move your... Uh, that's kind of annoying, right? You can move through allies, so... I have no way of getting out of this spot, so I'm just gonna have to stick stick around. Probably should have killed the rat, because it's just gonna be a lot of trouble now. Okay, Elf is back. Mm, I'm in trouble. I am in so much fucking trouble, guys. I mean, the rat doesn't hit for much, so I can just kind of move around, I guess. And try to get a shot off, but... Uh, I have to go here. I, I think I have to go here and just heal the, heal the priestess, so... Okay, she actually Those didn't take damage here as well. I just need to use the potion on her, just so that she, so that she doesn't die. Because losing the priestess here is just going to be absolutely brutal. Maybe I did this prematurely, but this is like probably the best move I had anyway. Yeah, she was, she was going to die. The knock-up though, the, I mean, the knockdown doesn't help. And it's such a hard fight. Maybe I made a big mistake, maybe I should have just tried to break this, just kind of go left with everybody, because this is like a huge trap that I'm standing in right now. And they have AoE, so it's not gonna get any better for you know, the foreseeable future. Uh, I gotta get assassinated on as well. Okay, no, he sprinted, actually, he just sprinted. What the fuck are the chickens? The fuck are... Oh my god, what is this? You can't see me. What is this shit? Can someone tell me what the chickens are? God, that's looking bad. Uh, righty, so we move to the right, perhaps. And the priestess is gonna die, that's the problem as well. And that thief is invisible again, so... And all my healing heals are on cooldown as well, so... Yeah, this is the biggest threat. I think you just have to go for this. That was supposed to happen from the get-go, though. St I don't need stamina. I need him to stay alive, actually. That's the biggest problem. So I'm just gonna guard here. And the ogre can get the kill. Doesn't have to get the kill, but can get the kill. 82% to smash. Wait, he can't attack this? He can. 73% to smash. Go smash. Oh, smash he did. Okay, perfect. So we got rid of that spider at least. And the rat is going to be major pain in the ass. Yeah. He's actually so weak at... Most of the time, he's actually not that great. We have another heal available though, so this is not all over yet. This means we actually salvage for this is the most important bit about this. We do salvage the turn of this um, of this priestess, which means that she can actually do something useful now. And we did get rid of the spider. Might might not be over because of this. Actually, I thought this game was like this fight was done, but it looks better now than it did before, admittedly. This is less hopeless than it was anyway. So we can try to take down the mutant rat here. That's a guaranteed kill. This kind of salvages the left side of the fight as well, but this can ricochet as well, my guys. Or we can just do a lot of damage here. Uh, 59, 98% to hit though. And this is 90 because they are stunned. So I'm just gonna go for this, uh, for this rat here. They're just kind of stabilizing this left part of the fight is very important to me. Um, Hey, this rat doesn't do much damage. I'm gonna get out of this. That's 9 damage only, so that's fine. I know I'm kind of still stuck here, but that's fine, I guess. What the fuck are those chickens, though? Okay, perfect. Crit failure. He knocked himself down. That's what you like to see. What the fuck are the chickens, though? They just, oh, they just kind of keep bopping those, all those explosive... They're my chickens? What the hell is this? Mm. Man, look at how many things I can hit now. 
Can we just get out of this first? I'm just gonna try to kill this. Ah, 12 damage. Oh, so they are like hostile towards each other. That's cool. The ogre though is in trouble. Admittedly, oh, he's dead. He's just dead. I didn't expect him to just drop dead from a single shot. Those spooders are really scary. Like, I think those are like more dangerous than the spooders in the darkest dungeon mode. Like, those are the real spooders. Man, those are the real freaking spooders, man. And there's gonna be someone else dying as well, I think. That's kind of the... I don't know. Also, the music is great. Like, the music is very Dofus-like. I don't know if you guys played Dofus before. But the music is super Dofus-like, actually. Which is a good thing. Yeah, we have to just kill this Pooder before it gets to smash us, so... That's 19 damage. That's pretty good. And yeah, that's just freaking dofus, guys, for you. In a very good sense of the word, by the way. I think I'm gonna wait for, for a reliable heal as well here. Mm. Can I kill this? Kind of? I can kill this, actually. I can just kill this, look. If- Oh my god, you barbarian piece of shit! Come on, are you kidding me? Man, that barbarian. Oh, I might. I might go. I, I think I need. I would need Eratus to get some updates for me to play it again, though. I'm def. I'm actually going to finish this game. I think I'm gonna just play this from from the start to the end. Because this one just looks fucking ingenious. I'm gonna. I'm gonna defend this again because I don't want to lose this character. This rat isn't a big deal. Like, this just slowly does damage to me, like, this spider is gonna kill me on a single shot, so that's the, that's the big issue, actually. I could play Iritus again, yeah. But I would, I would have to start from, the, from, from scratch, though. Because I we need to play on higher difficulty, it was just way too easy for me. Like, the base, base difficulty Iritus was super easy, actually, I was so disappointed. My god, are you kidding me? Oh, you you suck so hard. Please hit this. Please, 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 please kill this. Oh my god, the XCOM flashbacks, guys. Hi, everybody. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. It's just, it was just very easy at start, because the lowest difficulty was super, super easy, and I'd like just to have the challenge, right? So, um, I could use, if you have the save game, for the, that has access to this highest difficulty, I would just like to try, because I feel like that's something I would really want to do. Like getting the highest difficulty run would re would be really cool, but getting the lower difficulty run is just really bad. Okay. Oh my god, there are more chickens there. No, no chickens, please. No, 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 no. That's bad. Oh, this is looking very scary, guys. And GL, this is looking pretty scary. Oh, that's trouble again. I do need to kill the spider now as well. It's all the fault. She gets debuffed for this. Minus two strength, that's not a problem. Hopefully just kind of ricochets across the monsters. That's better than nothing. Now we know that it can ricochet on the on the mobs. So if you chef if you if you could send me that uh, the save game of the highest difficulty axe, I would just love to play that. 
Oh no, frozen! You bitch! You're kidding me, you can freeze me as well here. Ouch. This is bad. Now this is this is bad, right? That's that's trouble. You can just try giving sending this to me on Discord, and we can just play this as the next game, I think. That's reasonable. Ow! Oh my god, this is so much damage. Eh. No, this looks un like this is just I took too much damage at the start then I was forced to reset like to sorry to resurrect too much. It just shows that it's just impossible to almost impossible to win this fight. Man. I thought I had this, but apparently I just don't have it at all. Looks ridiculously scary for me right now, because I think I'm just gonna lose this straight away. I think I have to kill the rat first of all, because this is just a big threat for me. No, no, not this. I just need to auto-attack and kill this very soon. Uh, yeah, four turns missed. Look at this. All of those guys dead. And the rat is just gonna kill my... Oh, uh, this is over now. Man, so the rat was a big threat initially. I should have probably just taken it out, because this was the only thing that had access to this kind of room. I'm gonna keep trying, right? I'm gonna keep trying, but this is looking super hairy for me. The dead should stay in the ground to feed the trees. I have no map. I, I I can still use the healing potion though, so that's fine. I'm gonna heal that mage up because I can't lose the mage here. That's just not gonna fly. If I lose the mage, it's just over. That's big. Okay, so we are kind of in it still, maybe. If the chicken gets this archer, at least threatens it, it's, it's gonna be good. Why did you go for the chicken? Why did he go for the chicken? What the hell? Oh, I know a chicken tried to move. Okay, that's what happened. Okay, okay, okay cool, cool, cool. Alright, so... That's also absorbing some hits. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, my God, she's dead. This is impossible difficulty. This is the highest difficulty that there is available in the game. Unless you're talking about the, the Iritus game. Oh, my God, he sniped my priestess from full HP. Now, this hurts. Attention guys, attention, you're about to get shafted by a crazy bunch of mobs. Yeah, 86 backstab and we're done, so now this is over, man, this is over, shit. So... I'm gonna kind of, we're gonna load before the fight and uh, because I do need to get like the proper fight set up for this. So I know I actually have to rush rush left and fight in this kind of open-ish field, because otherwise I just get AoE'd by this rogue. But on the other hand though, if I do not fight in this kind of enclosed space, don't I just get destroyed by the, uh, by the backstabs and such, because this might just be a bad idea as well then. I really can't, can't, I can't hold against those spooders, the spiders are like the biggest issue here as well. Like one of the biggest issues. I think they are all fully leveled, right? So there's like nothing. I, I just need to get some equipment on them, like get some items, potions. Definitely, I need some more uh, of those defensive items here. What do you want, peasant? Hands off my gold, my precious gold. If it states, yeah, it's my yeah everyone just gets potions now. I don't care. I, ju I think just they just all need potions, that's and nice that's it. Else. So that we can just kind of stay alive in this. Strength and courage, but minus agility, that's bad. Hmm. The broccoli looks shit as well. So we have. I was just not prepared for this fight completely. Oh, that was such a 
shocker really that we got into such a very very difficult encounter. Look, that's the first one that actually beats us, right? Like, like rightfully beats us. Hmm. I guess the plan here is again to create this kind of a living wall, but without sticking the priestess in there so that she doesn't just randomly take a billion gazillion damage and die, right? So. I think that the dwarf is actually all right in here. Those are explosive barrels. Those are just poison. I think I can just stand near the poison barrels even and be okay with this. For, for the experiment's sake anyway, let's try this like that. Um. Yeah. So I know that I have to fo focus the spiders because they're ridiculously hard to kill. So they're, no, they're they're just ridiculously threatening. So we just need to get rid of the spooders first, and hopefully the chickens just kind of do their job from behind for us. Also, like breaking those cages could be good, right? If I could, if I were to just break the cage there with the chickens, I could I could actually give myself a decent advantage. I'm just gonna go for it. Because this is just a, that's just kind of a big distraction for me if I can get those chickens out. I know it sounds ridiculous, but it's just what it is. I'm gonna. I, I know my. I might just kind of regret this, but I just need to get this on everybody. So there are no misses. I should have probably just done the same with my uh, range. Now that I think of this. Please, please, please target that spooder. No, I can't, so I'm just gonna shoot this. And that's bad RNG. I get to live with this though. I, can't, I have to wait now, I think. I'm just gonna wait for this spooder to walk up. And then we just take it down. Potentially we take it down again. See, so those mobs are, are fighting with the chickens, and the chickens explode, I think, so it's another, like, kind of funky thing about them. Um, I'm gonna just head this way and just try to focus this spider down. So I know my priorities are anyway now, so it's kind of the big deal, right? If you know what you're doing, to some extent at least, it's just kind of going to be easier then, right? It's just going to be a bit easier. Plus four protection is kind of good for the ogres. I'm just going to drop this on him so that he kind of stays safe. I am not sure yet if buffs actually make sense in this game or not. Uh, I hope they do. I mean, four protection is decent. Like, looks quite good. Oh, my oh okay, look at this AoE. Oh, it, it also takes down the rats. So it's kind of looking okay now. I think, no, it actually blew that trap. I think that's what happened there. It just blew that trap. I'm just gonna go for this. And just hide in the corner later. So this 11 damage could have been more than this, but I'm just gonna have to kind of accept it. Mm, yeah. I thought I actually did pass on the ogre. What did I do with him? I thought I actually I, I waited. Apparently I just didn't do anything. Okay, this is gonna kill the chicken. This, this should explode it then. No, actually, so they don't explode. The traps explode. Half bite. Okay, that's just immobilized, right? That's not big. Oh, I can just AOE them down with a stun and just take them down instantaneously. Or just kind of quickly, anyway. That's such a good fight, actually. It's such a good, good fight. Okay, so... The mage is semi-gone, I guess? Yeah, semi-gone indeed. And the priestess is also semi-gone. Oh my gosh, the priestess is dead. Okay, this should, this could be a way better animation, though, than this, but... Uh, that's fine. So I have to kill the spooders now. There's no other way to put it, we just have to kill the fucking spooters now. Guys, let's just kill the spooters.
Oh no, please don't kill yourself at least. Okay, he didn't kill himself. That's the good part of this. This is a good cleave AoE, right? So I'm just gonna go for it. I'm gonna try to use the push attack of the ogre, perhaps. Oh my god, this is with accuracy buffs as well. He just misses this completely. That was a big whiff. Actually, it's a very big whiff. It's still salvageable because I can just push it right now, but... Oh my god, this was supposed to almost kill them and just didn't do anything at all. Oh, this is depressing. This is just straight up depressing, actually. I have decent AoE setup here, so that's what I have going for myself at least. But uh, yeah, that was just kind of that's kind of underwhelming overall. So that's that's good AoE, right? I can just kind of threaten a lot of those opponents. Yeah, I could, I could, I could, but that's kind of indeed risky as hell, right? Because. Hmm. I'm gonna try to take this down. Maybe, maybe she gets a kill. Man, she just never fucking hits anything. Seriously, that's so sad. I hope it doesn't kill the priestess. Okay, this did one damage too little, by the way. One damage too little. That's a dead barbarian if I ever saw one, so kind of sad. Uh... Okay, that's a miss. So a single move ahead anyway. The, the dwarf is alive anyway right now. Oh, never mind. The barbarian is dead. My god. And this one HP spider is just gonna get a very large attack off. I, I bet this is gonna happen. Look at this. All right, it just passes, right? Because it can't reach anybody. Because I have a full wall here. Uh, that's that's just Starcraft for you. Like if you defend against Zerg, you know what you're doing in those games as well. Because you just kind of have to keep every entrance occupied. Okay, they, they just broke out anyway. So this is kind of a natural proc, I guess, at some point. Just kind of happens uh, organically, almost. Okay, I just need to resurrect this... Uh, Ew, this... I hate spiders. This barbarian now, and it's gonna be Gucci. I'm gonna get a res off, it's gonna be fine. Though the next one, just, I have to remember the rotations of the enemy. Because that, uh, that assassin is going to have the uh, the full rotation of attacks next turn as well. So that's kind of the scary part. Right, I'm just going to stun this way, I don't take too much damage. Oh my god, what the fuck are you doing with those dodges though? Please just get this hit, please, 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 please. Oh my god, that's a crit! He blew this fucker out of the water, look at this. Mm, I'm not gonna use this because, honestly, I, I kind of want to get the healing available. Uh, that will just kind of suck if I didn't have it now, because this just kind of allows me to salvage a very bad, a turn going very poorly, right? So, 72%, like this accuracy buff is actually huge. It allows me to kind of get a lot of control in those fights. If we just get those two guys, if, even if they die, there'll still be corpses that's, you know, they, they, that are in the way. So that's still kind of okay. That's still good. I have to kind of keep keep that assassin uh, miss. Oh, she crit something. Look at this. That's fucking new. Okay, so I can just get her here. I know that was actually big, but, uh, that was a big mistake, actually, because... I'm gonna use this as a as a healing spell on myself. And I'm actually gonna move forward. This means like they they kind of spread out a little bit at least. So yeah, he just lost its head. 
That's going way better. This is a clean fight now. This is a very clean fight, guys. Right? That's, that's as good as it can be. So there are no spooters left. She gets a lot of damage done as well. I think they're as nicely spread as one can be. Yeah, it's possible. It's possible to smart. I don't know what the base, what the base accuracy is. I think it mostly increases the number of monsters. So. It adds like a lot of enemies to the battlefield. There are like way more monsters here than there normally would be in the base game, which is a very cool addition. And it also gives you uh, like more HP on the enemies and more damage on them. So I, mean, I think those are the biggest things. Oh my God, he crit killed me. No, he didn't kill me at least. See, that's kind of sketchy in fact. Like, but we have nobody in. Like the last time we had this kind of the rat, I think. The rat was plundering the base here. And we, we have no rat here, so we're kind of safe for that reason. I'm just gonna save the, the berserker again, because it's just a free move for me. Almost. I was thirsty. Okay, perfect. I'm just gonna go tank mode here. No need to go kind of funky. I can stun all three guys here though. I can just use the burps, you know, just get triple stun on these. Probably a kill as well. Uh, yeah, this is stun on the assassin. It's very big actually. You can just go for it now. I can go for the thief. Look, we can just take him down next turn. Just use the, the, the bonuses that we have accumulated. Maybe, maybe, just maybe to burst him down. Hmm. I'm also gonna wait because I'm afraid like I might lose somebody important. So I can just wait for her, for, for the move. And I click oh fuck, I click I ended the turn instead of oh no, that's bad. That was super silly. That was so silly. I don't have to turn my back on those guys, I'm just gonna go here, I guess. Uh, this could have been like a burst turn. I, I'm not gonna get this now though, probably. But that's 40 damage. Alright, this barbarian just fucks. Holy shit, this barbarian just demolishes people, huh? Miss. Oh, 25 damage. Holy shit. Hey, the healer is doing jaw. Is doing some real work here. Okay, the chicken stays because it's stunned. Could be worse. Uh, Sixty-three percent to hit. I'm just gonna move and get like a different angle on this. Mm. I think I, I made a small mistake, honestly, because I could have just used my uh, my barbarian to just kind of boost his uh, turns. Maybe I don't know if it works like this. Maybe it just depletes the entire bar, though. Maybe I just don't want to be using this now. I think I'm okay in this fight without kind of wasting any of those. Because this kind of, I think this persists over uh, over fights. Oh my god, the barbarian is down. Dying to rats. Feel like Path of Exile again. Where you know those two stuff maps just kind of mean that mobs just one shot you, like even rats one shot you. If this explodes. It doesn't matter. Okay, so those. Okay, so those those cray. Those, sorry, those. Um, Pits here, they just kind of randomly explode, they explode on given turns. Yeah. Thank you for the wonderful game, guys. Seriously, they're just all on, it's all thanks to you, sir. I'm just enjoying myself so much playing this. That's a burst turn now. We just have to kill this and it's gonna be Gucci, right? Come here, vermin. And this is most likely the kill. 83%, that's over. Snoochie Boochies, guys, we got this. And the dwarf, guys, the dwarf gets the level up. That's the most important part. Thank you, man, for being here anyway. The gauntlet. Full leather. Leather is stamped with the phrase professional quality. 
I have like one last note if you're still here. Like the items could be like if I think the items could be more universal than they are. Like it would be really nice to be able to kind of equip this, like to kind of decide who gets this. So maybe other like weapons and armor, like the gauntlets and the helmets as well, could be kind of more universalized. Maybe I'm just I didn't get there yet. Maybe some of those are. Uh, so I'm not really sure. We take everything and we're back. We are finished. Perfect. What a fight. Amazing. Despite your lowly roots, you've been very helpful. Kind of like my father's dogs. Huh. Maybe, but she has healing spells. Really huge arguments. What's <laughs> a huge argument? That's how those pigs refer to what's under our dresses. But I'm not wearing anything under my dress. Jesus. Stay cool. Surrounded by ladies, they're naked under their clothes, but I'm cool. Well, then I'll leave you be. I'm off to get all day. French now. sense of humor, guys. That's something else. Friends. Ta ta. And wow, we are done with this section I here. I'm... Embarrassing. Wait, wait, wait. What, what about the statuette? Uh, later, later. Okay. Okay, I still have the ropes, so let's go back to the VIP room. Once there, we can... Ah! Good gods! <laughs> I am back! <laughs> hey, look who's back. Thank you, my friends. <laughs> you dealt with my evil double. The uh. amulet. It is cursed for real. I picked it up to see if... He tried to steal my precious loot. Even if I don't really want it, no. Let's toss it then. Fine. Anyway, doesn't anyone want to hear about what I've been through? Nah, I'm good. Huh. Uh, oh, astral energy seems to be concentrating around us. This, uh, this can't be good. Oh no, he says that the amulet has reappeared in his bag. This means that we've been cursed! Cursed! Krom hates curses. No, I don't want to be cursed. It'll burn my beard. Men have beards! Maybe, maybe, some sort of dispel magic could... This pelt, or another, or even ten of them, can't do anything about this, my dear. What? Who's that? What the f***? <laughs> going around in circles, aren't you? Oh, Might yeah. these adventurers, in trying to square the circle, be circling down the drain? It is now my task to drain you! I wish I had... I, I actually knew how... I, I wish I knew... Sure sorry, I wish I knew French. Because... There really is something cosmically wrong with this artifact. I think there's a lot lost in translation as well, which, you know, regretfully. Go Nobody's listening to me. Could you stop it with the size? Try being helpful instead of whiny. Despite your amusing qualities, I can't let you have this amulet. My paladins of fail will take it back from your smoking corpses. <laughs> I should have healed after that fight, shouldn't I? What to do with those tin cans? Damn it! Cursed knights! No, 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 that's so bad because I have not healed. Oh no. They're super heavy as well. Like, look at the HP that they have. Oh my god. I should have just auto healed. Ow, oh, that's very annoying. I could probably just try to re equip the potions or something. Everybody's potions back. Oh my god. Something to jot down. No, some stay out of my pockets. A potion and potion again. And they have extra HP now, so at least he has a level up, right? So that's not bad. And he's like super heavy tank, so we could just kind of skip stay tanky then. That's a spin attack, raise the dwarf's parry chance and grasp him to additional attacks of opportunity. Um uh, Gold for saying gold economy sounds good, but I think I, I just need the HP here for I now. Your socks off. And if I were to choose this or this, I'm just gonna go for a bath. That's very decent. Move out, losers. I'm the best. <laughs> oh, but this is good though. Like this is something you miss out on then, because this kind of Because you can get repose from Perry, though. Beatai, lovely. Okay. Um, so either the the tin can, which gives me like basically repose every time. I 
I think I'm gonna take this, because he's primarily a tank, though this is also so good. This is more damage, this is also this is so good. That stun, I cannot pass up on the stun, so this is kind of something that will uh, cost me otherwise, I have to just go for it. Again, I, I'm gonna go for agility, because I do need to have like some sort of guarantee that things hit. I think I can heal before fights still. All right, I think I can still heal. Just realize that you can just use potions before fights, so... Yep, perfect. <laughs> I'd rather have a nice gallon of ale. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna heal everybody up to full HP. Um uh, how those those cursed knights don't lobotomize me there. That'd suck. Don't mix the potions or boom. Ugh, reminds me of potions. Oh the rogue has a level up as well, so uh still Looks good. The caltrops, that's good. The blinding powder is like really far off, so. Immobilizes, and this is. Poison, and this is uh, something that doesn't interrupt stealth. And that's very heavy damage overall, so I don't know, I feel like stealth is gonna be better though. You probably want to take both, honestly. At some point, so I think I'm gonna take the... I'm getting better. Until so heavy leather, no recent allies plus crit chance and disarming traps during combat or exploration. New I'm just gonna skills, go for this. New dangers. And then obviously, I'm gonna go one one here because he has decent accuracy. So okay. Now I think we just have to funnel on someone. Like they are all really hard opponents, though. Paladin of the Fall, Warrior of the Fall, Paladin, and Champion of the Fall. So I think we can just try to funnel on one of those champions here. This guy goes first, so I'm just gonna kind of set it. So that he actually attacks one of the tanks rather than somebody else. Um, yeah, we just funnel on this guy, so we just kind of go left, everybody just goes left, and tr we try to kind of um, survive this, I suppose. This Barbarian has such pathetic HP though, look at this. So, so, so little HP. It goes like the... This guy walks up all the way. He's gonna get here, right? And this guy here... He can... He might just not be able to get my Rogue though, that's very important. He doesn't get the rogue now, he still does get the rogue. And this guy gets the rogue then as well, so. You know what? I actually can do it like this. So I move him here. Move the rogue here. And then the uh, the ranger stays around here. That's gonna be good. Because now we're all safe from all the monsters except for this one here. And I just try I'm gonna try to kind of control the fight. I really wanted to finish this, but like I, I can't can't stop now, right? Can I? I think I'm just gonna buff my parry and dodge again, because this is pretty important. And I'm gonna stay around here. Because I do want to kind of leave. I, I want to kind of Hopefully, yeah. First of all, this just kind of forces this guy to move forward anyway. That's funny. Oh my god, that's so much damage. Jesus. That's, that's kind of unsavory almost. I have to say, that's just a lot of damage. Holy fuck. I'm definitely gonna be healing this. I mean, I'm gonna be using my, my points. It's good I actually left them around. 
Oh, he actually sp oh, he, he just sprinted. That's fine then. Sprint is okay. Please work. It didn't work, but I can just assassinate this guy though now. I think I can just assassinate him quickly. I think this this only okay. This is two turn cooldown. This gives me a single attack more. I can just try to kill it now. Okay, that's a crit, 40 damage, perfect. So you can actually just kill this thing before anything bad happens. I'm just gonna walk around here, just kill this first. Just, we just kill this guy very quickly. And it should give me like a nice opening to continue this fight later. No crit fail, that's bad. Invocation. I mean, the rogue is screwed. That's a problem with him. As another issue is Noiseless, but that the barbarian. Uh, we'll have to either attack from here, like I think I ju he just has to attack from here. So I'm just gonna wait here. Um, she's not threatened by anything, that is very good. That's actually the, one of those very few bright sides that are here. I'm just gonna move her all the way back here, turn her around. And we're just gonna try to take down this asshole over here. 85% accuracy. That's actually pretty good. It might have been a mistake though, because I think I think he can still reach me. Yep, yeah, that's that was a mistake then. It's eighty percent chance. Though. I'm just gonna go for it. Fuck it, I'm gonna go. Wait, doesn't this mean that he this explodes? Yeah, it does mean that it explodes. Did look weird. See, this actually costs very little. This adrenaline surge, it costs so little. It's actually fine to use it like this. Okay, this guy here just doesn't reach me, so I'm just gonna. The thing is, he's definitely gonna do 24 damage, right? That's the problem. So, I mean, that's the best thing I can... I, I think sacrificing the Barbarian is that He's super squishy, that's a, that's a big deal. I should have used the, the bandage, because he has, like, ma a lot of, like, HP penalty for just having the, the wounds there. Mm. Okay, so what I have to do now is probably just focus on one of those. So either this or this. Um, I guess this guy is, is a bit bigger of a threat. You know, obviously just kind of go here and try to ricochet this like that. I mean, I have to finish after this fight because I do need to eat something later, right? But yeah. Could have actually used the, uh, the bonus here. So this tries to... Okay, this guy tries to walk around. Just, oh, wait, he's going to go for the backstab attack. This is dodged as well. It's very important. Oh, the music just went away. Unfortunately. So, okay, so... I go, I'm gonna go for damage again, like there is nothing else that's kind of like I can really do here. So crit! Like, look at this uh, look at those crazy crits today. Like the, they were just it was looking so grim this fight. Uh, it's like it kind of got turned around by the by those crazy, crazy crits. That was absolute madness really. So um you know what? I mean He has very high physical protection though, right? So and I'm just gonna go for pure damage here. Hopefully this hits and hopefully this just does a lot. Okay, it obviously misses when you when you say hopefully, like those games just serve you right, right? It, that's just what really happens. I'm gonna heal him so that I don't miss out on his turn by any mean by any like un unfortunate or you know circumstances. I'm gonna move back. That's just gonna be a safe play. I have to remember those those kind of things explode as well. He kills my 
Barbarian. Oh, okay, he stays alive with one HP. That's crazy. That's actually so sick. Mm. Yeah, and doesn't work. No bueno here. No bueno. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna go for double attacks again. I, I have a lot on this bar. What is with those crits? Jesus. Adrenaline surge, and we go for another like set of attacks. I'm so happy. Actually, this is a very hard fight. So I'm very happy. <laughs> They actually realized that I could indeed heal while in the kind of the lobby for the next fight because this allowed me to really uh, really take over this fight. Like I, I would have really been in so much trouble had I not known this. Okay, she wastes the attack. Mm, this thing here, he can move up all the way, so I'm just gonna have to escape this. And the barbarian now. Yeah. The Barbarian is in, is in the world of pain, so I'm just gonna go do some damage and die. I think there's nothing else I can do here. He can absorb another auto attack. That's really important that he can. I mean, let's say Dead Thief is in it. Shit, single attack, he, he just dies. I hate to see it, but that's, that's still okay. Those guys can definitely resurrect him before his turn, so. Well, that's not bad. See, I did move the elf around so that they didn't actually harm, harm her that much. It's obviously a pretty nice addition. Uh, we're gonna go for another auto attack here. <coughs> Honestly, I might just use my, my resource again and just go for a secondary auto again. Because if you want to kind of get rid of this as soon as I humanly can, it's gonna be very painful, right? Our music is back. Partial parry does 7 damage. Kind of as good as I, as I could have bargained for, right? Yeah, the Barbarian is dead, uh, but I can just move my wizard away, so she's gonna be saved, uh, more or less safe anyway. Um, oh no, I, I didn't mean to provoke that, shit. That was a mistake, I didn't realize this was gonna happen. I should have, but I didn't, so... We get the Rogue back on the track here. <coughs> I still do need to kill this guy. Good morning. 55%. I'm just gonna go for it. Close your eyes. It's gonna be a miss, right? No, she gets a kill. That's lovely. So I can just get out of here now. No problem there. Like, the rogue probably dies again, though, because he is really out in the open. Oh my god, backstab. <laughs> He's a very sad corpse right now, isn't he? That's, that's my fault, because I didn't heal the wounds, right? I could have just healed the wounds there. I can go there and just use the basic attack, yeah. Boom. Okay, that's going pretty fine. Mm, obviously, the con and the Barbarian not really in the, not in the best shape in the world, but I think I, I did kind of win or persevere through the Battle of Attrition here. So whatever happens now is going to be kind of a slow, uh, I think, at least, I hope, it's going to be a slow victory. <coughs> 21 damage from range, that's very solid. Oh no, he has some... Please don't... Okay, that's just 24 damage range, that's fine. This could have been way worse than this, I suppose, so... Yeah, living the dream, huh? I'm gonna just use him to absorb some damage. I think that's... I know that's kind of cruel, but still, I just need to, to absorb some. I can stun these. I, I can try to stun them anyway. It's gonna be over now. Job the birds. Guys, remember, if you're new to the stream, follow and subscribe. This kind of gives me a lot um, as a streamer. It just helps me, so... Yeah, the links you can also become members on my youtube channel if you want to support me that's basically the same as twitch subscription so if you are feeling generous indeed you know you, you actually know what to do now and yeah that's it it's three bucks a month guys and i get way more than i would get from twitch by the way so it's kind of big it's a big big deal oh my god she crit fails this yeah yeah that was bad Oh no, oh, this this thief just dies for the fifth time this fight, I think. It's not trouble yet, but it's kind of getting to the, within the trouble territory, I think. 
Slowly but steadily. She misses this, I'm gonna be in small trouble again. This did collateral damage at least, huh? A 16 is okay. I'm gonna be fine with this. So we move her back. I could probably just overwatch this so, so as to prevent the movement and attacks, right? That's gonna be 10 damage, that's not bad. He takes 7, that's, he's also very safe though, so that's not a problem at all. You know, the Tumult is kind of shafting me here too, though. So I'd really love to get to the Barbarian and just resurrect the guy, but that's just gonna not go I don't think that's gonna happen this fight at all. I'm just gonna be using the, the Ranger to resurrect the allies that are not the Barbarian, apparently. He's gonna move, right? He, yeah. He did 30 damage from the Opportunity attack. That's so big, actually. And that's not even that much damage in return. So the dwarf lives, which is, you know, quite impressive uh, at its own right. I should be using the hotkeys, by the way. And obviously miss. Uh, that's fine. I can... No, I don't want to absorb any damage here, honestly, because I don't want to be forced to heal or resurrect the ogre. It would suck. That's a nice bop on the head, though. That's very good damage. 23, perfect. So, only one foe left. I think you can just take him down. That's. I think the elf can't reach him, though. That's the problem. Uh, she can't. I don't think she can get uh, anything done here. No, she can, actually. Crazy stuff. She's super squishy and has very low damage. She can actually hit from very far away and quite accurately so as well. <coughs> she didn't even miss. I was expecting her to actually miss like once I, you know, praise her for accuracy. Okay, so... Ranger it is. 20. Yeah, it's looking quite good. Okay, the dwarf is dead as hell, but he did his job. And that's gonna be last hit of the battle, guys. Let's see this. Let's see it. Hopefully. Da, 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 da. Yes, okay, perfect. So the ogre takes over, and this means that the fight is over as well. Our boys are safe. That's a, that a level for the for the ranger as well. Perfect. Look at this. So the ranger did level up. Vital support. What the hell is vital support? I know what this means. Maybe you get like bonus experience or something. We get the okayish claimer of butt kicking and the picnic loin club for the ogre. That's good. I guess that's kind of. I Maybe this is a small upgrade. And this belt is good. Like it gives you a lot of slots and a lot of protection. Parry is, does have a minus movement penalty. So it's cool. Like they have those, you know, penalties as well in place. Pretty, pretty good stuff. Guys, we are through this, actually. Well, there was nothing under those suits of armor. They were naked under their clothes, too? Cursed Jesus. knights are spectral minions. I knew this was going to happen. some powerful wizards. Or worse. But then why didn't we give him the amulet? If those evil beings want to take this cursed object from us, it must mean it's important. Uh, a hidden quest, perhaps? Hidden quests are with a lot of experience. Well, looky here. Looks like you've made a fine mess again. Luckily, only bits of armor to clean up this time. Uh, sorry, it seems that everyone wants us dead. No need to get paranoid. It's part of our job as adventurers. If I can't clean up faster than you splatter corpses around, Zangdar is going to be furious. Who is this Zangdar? The dungeon master, obviously. Oh, wait a minute. We were told this place was run by a Again. Oh, right. And yet, I have strange memories about this. Gotta get information on him, too. But first, we gotta find out what we're gonna do about that cursed amulet. The plot thickens, so it seems. Ah, he says that you have to mix the gravy with flour to make it. <laughs> Beautiful, okay, this game is just, it is just something else, guys. It's just something else. We made it through Act 2, I guess. Looks like it, I think it just kind of sends the party back to the inn now. 
And this is gonna be it for today, guys. So once this kind of, I think there's gonna be like another short cutscene potentially, and then I do have to go. So thank you for watching. Please remember to follow me on YouTube. No, sorry, follow me on Twitch, subscribe to me on YouTube. And uh, you know, I'll be keeping, I'll keep streaming this game until it's over. So we'll probably stream tomorrow, maybe tomorrow morning even. Uh, I'll see about that actually. And then tomorrow evening, I'll probably Third try to chapter, finish it off. Tricks at the tavern. So it's, I think it's like a lot, it's a long-ish game, so I hope it's gonna kind of keep developing. To companions, find work, do business, or else we've plots and plan expeditions to distant lands with Thank you, Tsumate. Thank you for being here, guys. I had a blast today. This situation might indeed smell stale to the player. You mean it smells ale? It's a tavern! Still, we've learned many important things. Two of us were replaced by evil doubles. We can't get rid of this stinking amulet. An amulet that sparked the interest of evil beings. You gotta think about this. We won't get much further on the quest for the statuette if we keep dragging around this amulet with all these monsters on our ass. We've also learned that there's a janitor that works here, so it's important to keep this place clean. We should pick up after ourselves and not leave trash lying around. Jesus. Jesus. Let's touch you with the rest of the trash. I'm not the one reeking of sweat and ale, you walking ball of doo-doo. I'd rather smell like ale than pony shampoo. Oh, just shut up, will you? Personal hygiene aside, we should investigate this Zangdar guy the janitor was talking about. Maybe he's linked to the amulet. Look who's here. Oh, please don't force me to make a choice here. Anyway, why don't you? Oh, she gets it. And she brought us the bounty. Precious companions, I would be delighted to offer my... He's elegant and he... Go date and hurt, you stupid bitch. He says he likes the minstrel. I'm surprised you'd mix with such sketchy characters. I can only pick one of them. Of common sense, you should recruit a noble priestess. Oh yeah, you could totally bandage our wounds. It's a very attractive skill. Sometimes my whole body gets sore and... Ugh, here he goes. I think I'm gonna go the paladin. Well, this is no easy choice. We could recruit them all. Are you crazy? Our shares of the loot are small enough. So? If we add more companions, our individual proportions will get slashed by the moving average. Oh my god. Acquired by the addition of participating adventurers' levels. Is that clear? Uh, explain like I'm five. You divide the profits and you multiply trouble. We could use another companion. This dungeon is way more difficult. Warning, this choice is permanent oh, until no. the end of the game. How did Minshaw? Oh my god, no. I wish I could have chosen more. I could choose more than that. I, I like the Paladin the most, but you have like a sturdy melee frontline as it is, like these three guys. Mm. I think I feel like Priestess is the smartest choice. And... Minstrel... I feel like he was the most underwhelming of them all, despite like the obvious bonuses he, he was bringing to the table. Uh, the Priestess was... was just strong. Like this is another staff healer, right? That's kind of good. Paladin is kind of repetitive because you have a lot of this kind of melee fantasy going on here. But she is like she just kind of works with what I uh, what I kind of like to see. She probably has some healing as well, since you know, Paladin after all, right? I'm gonna go with the Paladin. I think the Paladin is. Sheesh! Sure took you guys long enough. Okay, let's get on with it. We got a lot of shit to deal with. She's kind of rude, isn't no. she? We need to find someone who can identify the amulet. The lawn wigglers in the VIP room are done with their grub. Let's ask them. Perfect. So we do have the paladin picked. Yeah. I like her the most as well. I, I just like the, fan the paladin fantasy overall. So it's got to be her. Guys, so this is it now. Thank you for watching. See you around. I hope you enjoyed yourselves, this is gonna be kind of posted as episodes as well, I think I'll do like a short video on the game later on down the line. Thank you so much and see you around, I had a blast with this game. Let us host somebody now, so maybe someone else who is playing the same game might enjoy the host now and we shall finish this stream on that indeed. Uh, let me just say what I could potentially host. If you guys have any suggestions, obviously, you know, very much welcome to say that. Take care. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, I thought you were saying that was the name of the stream. Okay. I just find a. Uh, uh, Nahelbuk. Dungeon of Nahelbuk. Uh, and let's.
say okay Kaldor sounds epic let's host Kaldor maybe or maybe someone smaller actually there's just French guys huh Jaws the French guys I guess like most of you are French anyway right guys uh, quite a few people from France must be watching because it is a French classic after all huh but yeah is this uh, it's kind of doesn't give anything to a you know if you host a large streamer as a small streamer it just doesn't give them anything and they never host back because they like they have their own arrangement, so this just doesn't work. Let me see. Maybe I have someone on my friend list I'd like to host. Oh, I do. It's gonna be Dag again, I guess. Dag is a nice guy. He's playing Legends of Runeterra. You'll enjoy yourselves there. Unless you want to play, like, if you want to keep watching this. Uh, I just have to find someone else streaming this because like most like if you want the English speaking stream anyway Thank you for watching then see you guys uh, so let's host um, Let's raid actually Thank you for watching see you guys and probably see you tomorrow for more uh, for more fun with this crazy, crazy ass game.